dude, I know you're excited, but you're going to have to call the Raging Boner, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying not to knock over any of my fine china here. You're fine, China. You just took over your Xbox. Threw over, sit on my uh, futon here, my deteriorating and piece of shit futon. You're gonna know one. Yeah, I'll pay for one later on. Yeah, fret not, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are not playing the PlayStation version of Final Fantasy VI. I figured I added the Final Fantasy VI intro though to make things a little more cinematic. But I remember that when we when we first met in high school, you know, we talked all about Final Fantasy IX front and back because we love that game so much. So I did a, and I started talking about other other Final Fantasy to see if, how much you actually played in the, in, from older series. And you said you mentioned six, but you I, said you never had really interest in it. And right. then I told you, you know, six is one. And you told me to go ones. fuck myself. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, suck it. I don't want to be friends with you anymore. <laughs> so I told you, oh lord. But yeah, folks, this is Final Fantasy VI for the Super Nintendo. So meanwhile, you are sent off to war, commanded by a clown. <laughs> the clown works for a bunny man. This makes sense. <laughs> hear me out. Hear me out. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm also editing in the Final Fantasy VI logo because uh, for those who played this game since '94, which I have been, uh, you Easy guys with the boner there. <laughs> you guys know this. Okay, it, it, the more I talk, the more the boner quells. So I got to keep my pace right. going. I'd imagine just keeping up with Final Fantasy in terms of chronology, chronology and numbers was a pain in the ass. And you know what? I think Nintendo Power wasn't helping at that point. Yeah. Uh, because when it was in their preview magazines, I think they initially labeled it as six and not three. And it was like, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> it's like, I just finished playing two on my Super Nintendo. Uh, excuse me, Nintendo Power, who's Bart? Butts? Hmm? Bart. Bart? Bart? <laughs> yeah, <Kurt>. said butts. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so the story begins here, basically. Magic, ha there was a great war once upon a time called the War of the Magi, which completely eradicated and blew up the fucking land. However, now magic is pretty much non-existent. There are forces that are out there to revive the power known as magic. Yeah. And here we are with three people in giant mechs. <laughs> yeah, there was a one there was one point or another where civilization prospered until Vicks. the war of the, until the war of the ride. Yeah, I'll get into that in a second. Wait, who the fuck's Vix? Where's Biggs? Biggs didn't come until after the retranslations, uh -huh. but yes, that's obviously who these two characters are based off of. So, the B Biggs and Wedge, two things you don't want to find in your underwear. <laughs> By the way, this is Terrace theme that's playing right now. It's a pretty great track. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of variations of this theme that is considered Terrace theme. You know, one of my personal favorite Terrace theme variations is Dissidia. Just because of the uh, the giant, the gentle melody that it overlays with the hard pound. Like, yeah. there's a big weight on the step. I the love only that critique character. about the Dissidia version is that it loops too fast. That it, it, le does. it leaves out the second part of the song. That it does, but small tragedy. It's the same thing with Dancing Mad and Dissidia. Yeah. Oh, 16 minutes worth... Why am I only getting the first bit? <laughs> but people only like the last part. That's <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> so we sorry. are being sent to investigate the frozen Esper. Unfortunately, With giant fucking battle mechs. Yeah. Okay, because we're the Empire. So we're looking for the frozen Esper. Unfortunately, it's in a town of Narsh, and Narsh. Let's burn it all down. Yeah. Oh no, it's more like Narsh is a stubbornly independent town. They a stubbornly no independent town. Yeah, How dare <laughs> we fucking have our freedom? <laughs> Bio I'm giving him a bioblast. This is a all I'm pretty sure Tara just ripped a big yeah. eggy fart. No, the Magitek ripped a big meaty fart from the chest. <laughs> I think she may have a condition. God damn. That or it's just exhaust. Yeah. <laughs> that majestic little sparkly thing that we just blatantly ignored as a save point. Right. So save your game there if you need to. I like to get a move on, so. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny has shit to do. I really do, because I just recorded this last week. <laughs> <laughs> what is its real name? Valamu Garner? Valamu... Uh, uh, it. Yeah. <laughs> because if we're going into, like, differences in, like, Japanese and American uh, translations, Kefka was just kind of a generic psychopath uh, yeah. in Japan. And in America, they I'm really... I'm pretty sure which is Spanish for Joker. <laughs> in some languages, I'm called this. A mysterious young woman, controlled by the Empire. Her name... Terror. So you're probably was asking. Would be one of the protagonists of Birth by Sleep, a fool that was manipulated into doing bad things? Hmm. <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> Does she have a slave crown too? Does Tara have a slave crown? Yes. No, he just has a firm grasp on the dum dum ball. <laughs> it's so wonderful. 
Vapor right. New enemies. Tara, do you have it in you to beat up a ball of gas? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I can see they hit it with my sword. <laughs> Where basically, if you don't open the chests now, you, they become better items later in the game. Absolutely, you're right. And I will show that off. It, 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 it's not exclusive to Narsh, though. It, it excludes to a lot of places. I kind of like how you just sort of murdered what could be an innocent repo, man. <laughs> Oh, oh, you, look, are you kidding me? Come on, green coat, hunched over. He threw a wrench at me. Good point. He could have been a creeper. Yeah. With a wrench. You got a sleeping guy? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's very interesting creepers in this vicinity. Uh, what should we call it? Why'd you remove your mithril shield? Why did I remove mithril shield? Because someone might need it. Oh. And because I played this game and I have the hindsight. <laughs> <laughs> this is Kafka. Uh, long story short. The Kef Kefka here was once was a renowned tactician and general amongst the Empire's ranks up until he volunteered himself first for the Magisite. Magitech Infusing. Magitech uh, Infusion, thank you. Yeah. Basically, when that happened, Kefka's mind went... <laughs> and he went batshit nuts. You like breadsticks? Imagine one snapping in half. <laughs> <laughs> what was the name of the voice actor in the city that voiced Kefka? Ah, uh, I don't remember his name, but he did a really good job. Dave... Not Dave Wittenberg. David Hayter. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it, the name is on the tip of my tongue. I was just looking it up last night, too. You made a decent Kafka. Anyway, we got a new what character. A, what, a, what an image to welcome yourself into. <laughs> it's like he just got caught in the shower. He looked like he peeped in on his mom. <laughs> Unintentionally, hopefully. <laughs> Unintentionally, of course. Six, six is the only game, I think, that has the names in all caps. Which would make sense, because at least you do this, you know, you can convince yourself you're actually sneaking around when you're trying to do that. <laughs> all right, we have to be careful here, all right? I'm going to sneak around the back. Fuck, you all right? <laughs> Dude! <laughs> Great idea. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> so we got to protect Terra. Luckily, we have help in the form of Muggles. Or are they just picking my pockets? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, one's willing dead. to help me, the other's just sort of ready to pick... And run. Food! <laughs> no! In Final Fantasy VI, they emphasize the language when naming the mo the Moogles. Mm -hmm. Notice how everything begins with Ku. Yeah. Kuku. Kutan. Kupan. Almost like you're speaking well, why Klingon. Why Mog? Why does he stick Except out? Mog. Mog just sticks out. Which means he may be important later on. And or he was just abandoned. Yeah. <laughs> or this, like, uh, you, you know, instead of the prompt that said that we learned, we mastered a new dance. What the hell does oh, that fuck mean? Yeah, the two step. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody do the truffle shuffle with me, guys. <laughs> we'll confuse the enemies. Trust me. Uh, what should we call it? Usually you're supposed to raise the roof when you dance. Mog brings it down. <laughs> <laughs> He's stepping too hard. <laughs> I love the boomerang animation. I do, too. Yeah. <laughs> it looks fucking nasty. Like, wee! It looks like a flying whip. <laughs> So you're gonna strip the Moogles clean? Mm-hmm. Well, play. I, the only you can only access uh, Mog's equipment. Smart Every, play. I mean, what's the Moogle gonna do with his spear? Yeah. Pole dance? We're not gonna. <laughs> the Moogle cha cha. Oh God, already. <laughs> anyway, all right. Here's the boss of the sequence. We got two Lobos and Marshall. Marshall's pretty much a beefed up guard. God you... damn! He feel it. He fucking hits you from cra like crazy from the back row. Damn right. Now you can first try. Awesome. <laughs> Now watch when we now can we replicate that in our ninth playthrough when we go for the fairy flute. <laughs> oh, we rescue Terra. Unfortunately, she has amnesia. She has amnesia. Yeah. Well, a slave crown will do that too. <laughs> I guess Locke just had a coughing fit. <laughs> One thing about the sprite work in this game is like a love hate kind of thing. Is there are times where you can have the characters have have what facial look on them. But because of that, you can come up with two different totally responses. Like, if Tara were to look down at the ground, she's either contemplating the weight of her crimes that she did, or she just found a nickel. <laughs> <laughs> of Cecil Butts and all the other Bart's. characters. Yeah, well. You Why go, not Burt's? Let's, uh, 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 let's go for a compromise. Let's go for a compromise. Yeah. How about Burt's? Uh, Burt's. <laughs> yeah, Burt's. Better not the Butts. <laughs> <laughs> that was a, well, I can't believe they actually called him that in Japan. Probably one of the Maybe main reasons why we didn't get five. It, it probably has a different meaning. Butts. Butts. Yeah, with a Z, it changes the meaning if you add a Z to it. In the same way that, you know, rollers goes from R to Z. It's kind of means, no, it doesn't mean anything. It just means that you're dumb. <laughs> it's just butts with a Z. Locks going to get that cough yeah, like that. Yeah, really, I see. Here, I have some halls. <laughs> I don't know why they're in my pocket, but you clearly need them more than I do. 
<laughs> I mean, did you ever see Amano's designs for the seven characters? No, I haven't. You really you take a look when you get the shot. It's, you know, I, I can at least identify those because they're so out there. But it's like, dude, it's like you got a taste. It's just not mine. You get auto crossbow automatically when he joins your party. Oh, don't know why I keep fucking that up. <laughs> so I was wondering why I was down seven hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Buyer beware. <laughs> So this is Figaro Castle. You say you like this thing? Figaro, Figaro, Figaro. You say you like this theme? I love it. I get kind of tired of it after a while because it loops too fast. It loops too fast, but that's usually the problem with the earlier Final Fantasy soundtracks. Yeah. But at the same time, this one just has that... This one is good in short bursts. Yeah. It's regal, it hits hard, and it gets right to the point that you're in the presence of a king. Love it. So we got a new character here. This is the king of Figaro. This is he is off. He's flipping us off, you yeah. fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck everything. I'm the king of this place. That will be the attitude for a king. Yeah. <laughs> Which a makes it possible you see more of a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say that Edgar's uh, kingship wasn't uh, given to him by rite of passage. It was forced on him. Well, that's usually how it goes with families of dynasty. As soon as the older one falls ill, the next in line, psh, you're up. Yeah. Actually, the same could also be said of organized crimes. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> by the way, I got a kick out of that dude. He's like, the Avar is using something called magic, and you just get this idea of somebody going, focus, focus. <laughs> it does he, a lot to set up a fart, too. It really does. Because, look, they're, they're driving through the desert. You get sand in his boots, so he wants it out. And the iconic laugh. I don't like how his face looks after it's done, though. <laughs> uh, but Kefka, along with two Imperial soldiers, we never get names for those. Bigs Figaro two and the Lace Empire two. are allies. Uh -oh. oh, okay. Well, we don't have anything to worry about. Yeah, we do. That guy's missing a few buttons. Yeah, his shirt was undone. <laughs> what a slob. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about it. Did he fall into a scarf bucket or something? <laughs> I thought we burned all those down. <laughs> but Kevin did a really miserable job of hiding that. It's like, a girl of no importance stole something very minor from us. Okay, so it's really not a big deal. That's why they sent their general. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you know, uh, kind of like how a hacktivist is considered, you know, a fucking criminal. Yeah. <laughs> you know how it's like people, yeah, yeah, you're an environmentalist or you're an eco-terrorist. <laughs> Whatever, one or the other. Really matter, well, see, here's the thing. They would, she would have said no, and then he would have went, okay, fine. Please. Yeah. Pretty please. <laughs> they just nag him. Pretty please. Give her a, that shot guilt tripper. Come on, set up a fire. Okay, you don't have to join us. Just letting you know that all the villages and people are going to die if you don't. I'll just have you beheaded for your yeah. crimes. <laughs> but we're, we're not going to do it too hard. Otherwise, you're no different than the Empire. Uh, so, if you want to see this little special cutscene now. <laughs> I want to tease. Yeah, use magic here. It's a nice little throw ah. line. Meanwhile, I just like wondering what the magic soldiers are wondering about. It's like, what are they doing? Either they're swooning or they just got sucked into quicksand. <laughs> And there are four hearts here. <laughs> <laughs> so now we are heading to South Figaro, our first town of the game. Rodox and already with the re-sprites. Grease bunk. Yeah. I mean, I know Narsh was technically our first town, but we didn't really do anything except run away. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> so, uh... And it's also a huge interface spoiler telling you that he's not really an Eastern ninja. Considering it's a completely made up of a spaghetti western. Yeah. Definitely get that vibes here. Well, what is he hiding? We'll find out later. Until then, we just know that he's a ninja with a dog. I had to reset a recording attempt here because I accidentally named Shadow Shadow. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I was tempted to keep it, but I was like, no, nah, I gotta reset. But you than me, I probably would have named them things like Odd Little Expletives. <laughs> Not expletives. <laughs> like, how I, when, when, how I had one run through of Final Fantasy VIII where, um, where, where Squall was just named You Dick. <laughs> <laughs> I just you kept really have a lot of fun with the names of these games. Absolutely. Yeah. You dick! No, my name's Richard Leonhart. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's Squall. No, it's Richard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that was Shadow that we were introduced to earlier. Western Ninja. Who would slit He'd his, slit his mama's throat, throat for a nickel. nickel. <laughs> a nickel? God damn. Yeah. I imagine Shadow here and I remember going, well, fuck. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> I thought a nickel was worth a lot more. <laughs> oh, I can get that Bazooka Joe gum. And I didn't know about, I, you know, just to rub it in further in, I didn't know about some of these things until, like, further playthroughs. It was my uncle that told me, uh, Figaro Cave, don't open this chest now. 
it'll be a thunder rod later. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool, but what would I need it for? Tunnel armor. Well, I could be tunnel armor just normally. Yeah, but you haven't been tunnel armor with a thunder rod. Mm. Okay. <laughs> it's like, I believe you. <laughs> Whoopsie. And there are a lot and of things to find. Steal all everything more. not implanted in the game's coding? We're the king. We can, ah. we, we, we can do what we want. That's my soft now. That's the king's soft now. Drop the king soft. Gee, why don't you rename him Simba? <laughs> everything the light touches is my property. <laughs> <laughs> and here's something I didn't know for a long time. There's a secret basement here. You get Holy a hyper fuck. wrist and running shoes. Equip those as a relics. Gives you haste. Nice. I'm going to give those to Edgar. Uh, not Edgar. I'm going to give it to Locke. No, I'm only giving it to. Fuck it. I just recorded this game last week. You just yeah. gave him four pairs of shoes. Damn right. <laughs> Two on his hands. Yeah, yeah. He's a spider thief. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. But now he can't steal. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna have to use my teeth. Oh, God. If you talk to the girl in the second floor, she mentions of a draft. It's like, it's an awful draft coming. I wonder where it's coming from. That's pretty much your only hint of saying that. From the fucking jail? Yeah. There's a... Yeah, I don't know why there's a there's a dungeon here. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, Probably there and they couldn't renovate over it quick uh, enough. Uh, hey, maybe they're into that kind of shit, you know? Where are we supposed to go, by the way? Oh, we're supposed to head to Mount Colts next. I'm just taking... I'm just really exploring everything for Girl Castle because it's pretty much the only time I'm going to do this. But we you're have two more places. Stripping try. Yeah. We're <laughs> Our stock went down after this asshole came in here. Who is it? It's King Edgar. <laughs> Fuck it. We can't do anything about it. So anyway, we got access <laughs> to... Oh, it. Now you just gave me this image of Edgar being the asshole who blackmails everybody. <laughs> And steals. Yeah, I have a nice building here. It'd be a shame if the uh, king closed it down. You're a worse thief than luck. That's treasure hunter. You're a fucking thief. <laughs> and that's another reason. And that's the reason why I didn't buy any hats for Locke and Terra. You can steal bandanas from brawlers. Much better hats. I find it utterly disgusting that the pervert gets a pike that expends from his groin. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, ladies. You want to see my pike? If you touch it, it extends and deals 98 damage. Sorry. No, it does 69 damage. <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> uh, so, you know, you can do that there. Hey, he didn't like that. <laughs> Man, I remind you, he wasn't confused when he did that. It was the equivalent of two deers clashing heads. <laughs> two pigs fighting over a milk dud. That's petty shit. <laughs> and worst of all, that's not a milk dud, that's just a rabbit turd. <laughs> Jeez. I think it was uh, Tetsu Nomura who was the monster designer in this game. You know what? I will say this about him. They, even despite that wall monster, he really does great monster design work. I agree. The guy really knows how to draw beasts and just threats. But I agree. Latrillium is like, here's an open canvas. Here's a paintbrush. Go at it. Got yeah. any music? Da, 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 da. Would have been more fitting if it was Tortador. <laughs> this is more like... Yeah, Ted just broke a mirror. It, it broke a... No, that's Ted. Yeah, as I said, that broken mirror. Okay, I thought, I thought I said uh, which broken mirror. Uh, no, like uh, four, five, and six was more like uh, we interrupt this broadcast to bring you a battle. <laughs> <laughs> I poo. I the poo. new product from Apple. <laughs> the, the new laxative from Apple. <laughs> no, Pooh Bear from Apple. Pooh Bear was bought out by Apple. <laughs> <laughs> and what an upgrade! We're talking magical powerhouses. We got Terra, and we got. Uh, Little Miss Sunshine. We'll get later. Uh, Seven well, because Sunshine. of that. Uh, <laughs> but it has no effect on anything. It's just there. One of those little... We want you to make up your own mind. But we'll block off gameplay until you <laughs> fucking say yes. <laughs> We're the good guys. However, if you reject Bannon twice. <laughs> and head up to the cave and talk to that wandering soldier. He gives you the Genji Glove. To try and persuade you. Which is a much better relic because that allows you to equip two weapons. So you get two strikes. You get two strikes, yes. You go Artorgus on the motherfuckers. <laughs> Damn right. Uh, really useful this early in the game. However, you can also get the Genji Glove by rejecting Bannon three times. Right. But if you do that, you're not going to get He slaps you with the Genji Glove. <laughs> it's like, maybe you need a little more convincing. Ding. Oh, it's the Genji Glove. Ding. <laughs> but if you reject Ganon, uh, Ganon. If you reject Bannon three times. <laughs> If you reject that, is as hairy as Ganon. Yeah, you know, I'm pretty sure we got Saban. <laughs> plan Plan A, Terra. Plan B through Z, Saban. What the fuck? Is that Saban? <laughs> I just got here. <laughs> uh oh, the Empire's on to us. How do they find us? Someone's been tailing us, I guess. 
Uh, you know, <laughs> no, we did we did suck South Figaro dry. And they were annoyed by that. <laughs> like, yeah, we saw them. The fuckers went up Mount Colt. The king, they, yeah. they died on their king! <laughs> oh, there's going to be a lot of beheadings. <laughs> Alright, well, we got to make a getaway. Getaway? Getaway. We have no time to dilly-dally shilly shelly. Fuck we, you, you don't. <laughs> who rejected the Who rejected the uh, call to action twice for a glove? <laughs> Bannon Especially. cannot die. If he dies, game over. Really? Yeah, because uh, he has an extreme allergic reaction to Phoenix Downs. Uh, I wonder how he feels about Calamari. <laughs> I was there for the Phoenix Down incident of 86. We agree that the Bannon is just no longer allowed to die after that. Phoenix Down has this image of a Phoenix falling to Earth in a, cra- a meteoric impact. <laughs> so at times, you are given a choice of which way you want to go. If you want to get through this sequence as fast as you possibly can... You choose left twice. I hit up there because my D-pad jammed. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens? You just flick the light, no safe, no heal? No safe, because I have things to do. I'm just that confident, damn it. <laughs> Meteor? <laughs> <laughs> and now you fight. <laughs> I imagine at the end of this, the game just fucked up its coding. <laughs> Insatiable humans. What? This is a place for wayward souls. What brought you here? What the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, but look at look at that goofy ass grin. I like hate has, that. He, he's By the way, if you actually look at the full sprite later on, it looks really gross because it looks like his tentacles are bar are coming out of his mouth. Yeah. So how the hell does he eat? <laughs> Osmosis. Leafer. Yeah, we fought them earlier. And you left that in. <laughs> uh, because that it, it's suicidal like, overconfidence. Yeah, yeah. So it's <laughs> I'm going nuts. The game did not expect you ever to run into a chocobo stable with Bannon in the lead. Okay. They expect you to just go straight to Narsh. So, if you attempt to ride a chocobo with Bannon, <laughs> his sprite glitches out. <laughs> you look like Tower Transformed. Yeah. And he loses his head. <laughs> what? <laughs> riding a chocobo. <laughs> and Tower... <laughs> Tower and, it's, and Eddie grabs like the biggest bug-eyed look next to him. <laughs> It's a, the steampunk, uh, what was the, the headless hunter <laughs> from uh, Ichabod Crane. <laughs> the headless horseman. The headless horseman <laughs> with the chocobo. I like it. Tara, what if I like? What if I hoist you up on my shoulders and we can pretend you're in a magic tech armor? I'll make the robot sounds bleep yeah. bloop. <laughs> bleep bloop tech missile. Press my right nipple for bio blaster. <laughs> <laughs> Bee! <laughs> Get out of here. If you don't, pow right in the kisser. Wow, you really God. went fucking far. God damn! <laughs> <laughs> Hold uh, it, I'm the King of Figaro. Oh, no, you're fucking not. <laughs> That's pretty much what they just said. Yeah, the Frozen Asper is still up there. And they're probably still pissed at the walk death. It's probably their town mascot. <laughs> or the mayor. Oh, God. <laughs> mayor Welk! <laughs> no! <laughs> they're gonna pay! Well, yeah, you're also in a pincer attack. Yeah. By the way, I've had at least one instance where I try, where I was caught in a side attack and I suddenly set my team on fire trying to get to the other side. <laughs> Dang! <laughs> no, Terra, no. <laughs> so we got a secret Moogle cave here. This is where all the Moogles came from. There's wow. Kuku Kuchu, uh, Kutan, Kumog, Kupapapalus, Kupa, yeah, <laughs> Kupapalotamus. <laughs> now the second part of today's part, we are doing Locke scenario. Locke is infiltrating South Figaro so he can try and slow the Empire's movements down. That guy was after us. Okay, he's not after us anymore. That's it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like the abnormal from Doug? <laughs> yeah, like the abnormal from Doug. <laughs> I don't think we're dressing up as the abnormal. It make him glass the other way. It's like, what the fuck is that? I don't know, but we should probably let him through. <laughs> They're a little tight, but the person was right. right. But the guy was like three times your size. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want bed sheets. So let's head into the cafe and go back to where that merchant that delivered the cider to us were. Uh, he's right below the right staircase. Okay. And yeah. Shadow's gone. Yeah, so, well... He's probably out doing a morning chalk with his yeah. ball. <laughs> Checking his pulse and shit. Yeah, right. I like that. Doesn't even take the ninja gear off, which probably <laughs> means he doesn't shower. It's kind of gross. Ew. So now we can get to the secret passage of the rich man's house. We just got to give his son the password. Unfortunately, he forgot the password. I confess I thought the password is I forget. I fought the, I forgot the password two times in the playthrough. You got Rosebud, Courage, and Failure. Go for the most optimistic Rosebud. one. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> the password Citizen Kane. Uh, no, it's Rosebud. I don't get you. 
<laughs> yeah, the password is courage. It's always courage. I never had a playthrough where it's failure. <laughs> Did they try to kill you in your sleep? No, because they just think you're a lowly green soldier. First day on the job. God damn. Oh, yeah, he's green. Yeah. <laughs> Good eye. I didn't really think about that. That clown is on the verge of a fucking arse. Oh, boy. I guess they don't like him either, huh? No, they really don't. Honestly, if like if villains want to trade horror stories, they tell Joker stories. <laughs> <laughs> mm. on. So the guard's sleeping, but he has a clock key. So we take the clock key after wondering whether or not stealing is wrong. <laughs> yeah, the clock key is a rare steal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you only got one shot lock. Tonic. Fuck! <laughs> and no, now we God gotta start over. Now. <laughs> he went through as a kid. Uh, compared to Terra, who was naturally born with the gift of magic. Uh, that's something they elaborate on later down the road. So, uh, we're, we have managed to escape South Figaro, and we noticed even on the outer edges of the Figaro uh, town, if you talk to the guard that was chasing you, he doesn't realize you're on the opposite end. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's a scram, you blockhead. <laughs> okay, if you say so. <laughs> Thanks for giving me the plans to the Empire, douche. Well, the cave of Figaro. The Figaro cave. <laughs> the, south, the, ca the cave in South Figaro. Figaro cavern. Now. Cavern South Figaro. <laughs> that cave? Yes! <laughs> Tara's spells focus more on healing as well. Yes. She, she also has Break, Graviga, Life, Arise, Meltdown, and Ultima. Yeah. Ultima is the last spell she learns. And 99. Yeah. <laughs> Goddamn. <laughs> The gimmick for this fight is that they really want you to use Runic with Celeste. Please they understand how this works. Yeah. <laughs> now we have to rescue Saban from Purgatory after he drowned in the river. <laughs> is this the real life? Or is, it or just is this just fantasy? Jenk. Caught in a let river, no escape from reality. <laughs> so put Shadow in the back and leave him there. Right. He also doesn't have much items too, so give him the buckler. Then just travel light. Yeah. <laughs> it's Shadow Light. <laughs> now with less the calories and <laughs> half the guilt. Oh, <laughs> uh, you're talking about Shadow's Riddler. Shadow's the only one with the interceptor status on him at all times, which is the dog. But yeah. the thing is, though, is... It's considered a status effect. Right. And if you get hit with an enemy that does Rippler, I think it's called. Yes. You get suffer... It this The, the uh, status shifts. So if you don't Rippler it back or something like that, you lose the status <laughs> of the dog forever. I'll get you, Shadow. And your little dog, too. <laughs> <laughs> Cyan has been with Doma for a very long time. He's in his 50s. He's fucking old. Yeah, he's, he's pretty up there, but badass all the same. He has the strength of 100 men. Or so the so description says. <laughs> Reports of my physical strength have been greatly <laughs> exaggerated. Greatly altered. <laughs> We're going to show off level 2 sword tech, which is retort. Unfortunately, it's a counterattack, so you got to get hit first. <laughs> and you almost always get a black belt from that enemy. I say almost always because Black Belt is the common drop for that. A rare drop, I want to say, is uh, Phoenix Down. I was going to say Magisite. <laughs> Bahamut. <laughs> Black oh, Belt. Fuck. That saved my time. <laughs> I like to suplex dogs. You like to suplex dogs? That's some bad segue, dude. I don't know. Suplexing dogs seems more humane than throwing ninja stars at them. Not quite as you. Uh huh. <laughs> you disagree? Uh yeah, it's like huh? Oh no, actually we, we could do we could do like uh, the Dudley Boys 3D. <laughs> Saban lifts them up and Shadow comes <laughs> up. <with the> enemy. <laughs> and then Shadow and Saban just belly bounce. Yeah, <laughs> off the top rope. Or at least they try to belly bounce, but, Sa but Shadow just stabs him. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love the little shock reaction. That's like the only times you can see Shadow shock reactions if you talk to that soldier. It's also like a reaction, like, what the fuck are you doing? Why are you talking to him? He decided just tried to pants him. Yeah. <laughs> Got caught in the process. He slapped the ass. <laughs> nice job there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> wash up, Jimmy. Really wash up. <laughs> Shadow will be the kind of guy that towel whips you in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> the towel whipper? Yeah. Nah, that's totally saving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Leo's like that dumbass who works at 7-Eleven who knows he could do so much more with his life but just chooses to stay there because he can't seem to muster up any hope for finding a better job. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, I know General Leo, and you, sir, are no General Leo. Fuck you, I get shocked. <laughs> oh, you, you like getting stabbed in the back, do you? 
I got stopped in the back routinely. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Or at least just following their orders without really thinking about the consequences of their actions. Kafka has none of that shit. No. Oh, hi, Ninja. Yeah. <laughs> Ninja. I'm off now. Don't do that just yet, though, because there are things we can explore uh, around here. We're gonna go What did you north. say? Uh, how long do you uh, how long do you think that we're gonna keep this up? Next time I see you, you're a goner. I thought he said something about a boner. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, a barrier ring, nice. Barrier ring. Uh, when you're low on HP, cast shell on you. Oh thank God! I thought nobody would get me out of there. Hello, friends. Let me give you a hug. <laughs> Shadow, what do we say? Shadow, I think you have a drinking problem. Hey, you see the clown boys in the fucking river? Yeah, I say you have a problem drinking. Up yours, faker. <laughs> oh god, not that shadow. Sorry. <laughs> the shadow's much cooler. You can throw ninja stars. He's also a western guy, so Yeah, he's and he faker. has a dog. Shadow doesn't have a dog. The hedgehog anyway. Soldier, <laughs> 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 you'll take the suplex for me. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, you were just a little too <laughs> you weren't fast enough to get the remedy inside the tonic the pot. Damn. <laughs> Uh, I need a drink. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> the poison also took Cyan's family. Elaine and Owain. Owain didn't have a name in the Japanese Owain version. Owain Moat. Owain Moat. Owain Moat. Oh, God. In the Doma, the poison Doma. The children sleep tonight. Oh, God, we're going to hell. I feel terrible now. I'm going to hell. Kind of has a deeper connection to the relations here. So Cyan's, you know... Either. Rightfully pissed. <laughs> He's rightfully pissed. How you doing? <laughs> I'm saving. Ow! <laughs> Be you friend or enemy? I'm friend, I think. I'll forgive you for that little tackle you gave me. May I give you a hand? Absolutely! <laughs> High five! <laughs> <laughs> oh, now we have cadets. What do they do? They're just another color of Templars, honestly. Okay. Ow. Shit. <laughs> Judo <laughs> chop axe. <laughs> That's a good thing I was in the back row. <laughs> Otherwise, that axe would have really hurt. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny, but also it's a really poor whiplash. <laughs> because, yeah, there's a good there's time for humor, not when a man's family was murdered and he's on a rampage of revenge. <laughs> Great. It's sort of like having clouds slip on a banana peel right after Eris died. <laughs> Or complete with the cartoon. <laughs> <No. laughs> or in the process of lifting Aerith up after her death, he forgets to lift with his knees and oh. throws his back out. <laughs> oh shit! Oh. <laughs> Barrett, help! Fool! <laughs> Zap! <laughs> Does Shadow have any thoughts about this? Where's my money? <laughs> when are you gonna pay me? You'll get it when you leave. <laughs> we'll definitely not be able to run away once we get to the next area after Phantom Force, but uh, him running away, the 1 in 16 chance of him leaving the party, I think only occurs in the uh, in the overworld. So by the time you get here and he's still with you, congratulations, you got a ninja for the rest of the scenario. Cool. But uh, just in case, just to elaborate further. I would hate that if he pulled that shit throughout the entire fucking game and he had to go <laughs> keep digging him up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. I'm going home. We're fighting. The f <laughs> We're fighting Kefka for real. <laughs> yeah, I, I know, but Kefka doesn't pay bills. <laughs> Kefka pays better. Yeah. Shadow, what say you in that? Where's my money? <laughs> it's the, your paycheck's in the train. <laughs> where my Let's office. celebrate with a drink to our health. <laughs> it's like we didn't see any train tracks in that forest. Doesn't really seem like the train has anywhere to go. It's the hype train. Yeah. <laughs> And once you crumb aboard it, there's no getting off. The Phantom Ain't no getting off train. this train till the end of the line. That's where the hell those metaphors came yeah. from. <laughs> it's like mm. some sort of ghost arch rival to S.H.I.E.L.D. <laughs> where no escape. Nothing. Over. Eternal. Scary. Fuck. I'll come up with it later. <laughs> Working on it. <laughs> we'll have a full name by the end of the playthrough, hopefully. Over mine, huh? More like over done. <laughs> eh? Uh, <laughs> you killed me in Narsh! No, that either. wasn't me. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that, a poltergeist with a grudge on the wrong person. <laughs> Oops. Mmm. <laughs> I don't taste it. It tastes so good, but it feels so light. It just melts right off. <laughs> 
can't wage war on an empty stomach. <sighs> yeah, I notice how. I won't have you eating ghost ham. <laughs> It's Snap. all on your mind. It's like the imaginary food in Hood, a hook. And the status helmets, like poison, <laughs> yeah. cured. <laughs> <laughs> you dumbass. <laughs> Too bad, bad. I like how the ghost has human fists when punching. <laughs> yeah. You look inside the cloak's face, and the fist just comes right out. <laughs> <laughs> that room that we just got the tent from yeah. is in two areas. Like, we're about to go to the next train compartment, and that train compartment has a room just like that. They're considered the same room. So can you get the fairy ring in there? You can get the tent there, too. But if you get the tent from the right room, you can't get it on the left room. That's which rude. makes me think that the they room shares the, the coating. They used to see yeah, they reused the coating. Wowzers. <laughs> <laughs> or, no, it's just a phantom illusion. Would be a nice touch, but I don't think they really went that hard but with it. But the phantom illusion is stingy. One tent only. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But he's not having it. So I figured, okay, fuck it. This is not working, so I'm just going to do it the normal way. Unfortunately, since I'm hitting him with physical attacks, he counters with lightning. And right. because I waited so long to try possessing him, I'm not in the best shape of my life here. Because the ghost didn't want to do his job. I am now giving the ghost the meanest fucking glare <laughs> of my entire life. <laughs> I was like, look, the Phantom Train's kind of my mom. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I really don't want to piss her off. Doot doot! You will slow my progress. Doot doot! And now the phantom train is attacking! Son of a bitch! What the fuck? <laughs> oh, that scared like... the fuck out of me! Evil toot. <laughs> Evil toot. I haven't been watching this thing in But weeks. the best part about this Woo! fight is what I just did to <laughs> the train right there. You can suplex the fucking train. Rizopos is dangerous for one attack, and one attack only. He has an attack called El Nino. And at my level, can kill me. Because it does like 300 damage. And it's, it wipes the entire party out. God damn. It looks pretty. But it's it also looks pretty, very, but I die. But it's very dangerous. So, well, it's like it's called El Nino. <laughs> which is Spanish for... The Storm. The Nino. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite Chris Farley joke from SNL. <laughs> yes, I'm also showing off the advanced stuff. Um, we're playing the game primarily on the Super Nintendo, but when I need to cut to the advanced version, I will do that to show off the exclusive content. I'm talking optional bosses, uh, newly added bosses, and optional areas that are added post-game. So it's like our Final Fantasy IV playthrough, only with six. By that, I mean Gal's Rages. I'll get more into that soon. Because uh, here he is. Knock him out! <laughs> Hello. Oh, I'm hungry. How about some steel? Eat fight! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eat a blitz! How about a suplex? You're suplex, a suplex a kid. <laughs> suplex city, bitch. Right on that rock. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> so, because he's so critically injured, he can't write back to Lola. But, we can help him on that one. And you still on Elixir from the Alar Clock. Yeah. <laughs> in the meantime, we got a lovely budding couple up there. Duane and Katarin. They're in love! Aww. They're 16. Teenage love. Probably won't last. I'll give it a It won't last, but it's innocent. Yes. So I say let them have the good times now while they can. Gonna have a good time. Easy credit layoffs! Good times. What? <laughs> <laughs> I never got the lyrics to that song. <laughs> There's a lot of uh, things going around in the town. Mother's taken ill. She needs a tonic because she doesn't have even 50 GP to buy a tonic. Things must be really bad, Miranda. Yeah, they probably have Obamacare. <laughs> so for 500 GP... You can send her a tonic. The tonic comes from the guy. He doesn't take it from your inventory. All right, cool. <laughs> Otherwise, why the hell would you even pay him 500 GP? Post shipping and handling. <laughs> <laughs> tonic tax. <laughs> oh, the dreaded tonic tax. Well, I, I always think the Green Beret is probably like military. Yeah. So who would look the best in that? Any of the military figures. So. Hell, maybe even Locke. Maybe nah. Locke is a free roamer, f treasure hunter. He's a dirt ball. He goes to go with a green hat. <laughs> That's nice. He's a scumbag. Well, you're not. It's me. So now we can send her a book. Was the Bushido in the bedroom? <laughs> what the fuck is I this? I really want to do position 52, but I can't feel my legs. Mispronunciations are plentiful in sort of games like this where you're not entirely sure how it's pronounced. Oh, I'm not even sure if I'm getting Sabin right. Or Sabin. In Japan, he's known as Nash. <laughs> One mile after Kevin Nash. 
Don't suplex too hard. It might tear a quad. <laughs> now on his Mr. Zhao. <laughs> <laughs> Call him Mr. Zhao. That's, That's his name, name. That name again is Mr. Mr. Thou. Thou. <laughs> so what is saving the Thou King? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> the Thou King of a dead kingdom. <laughs> so basically, what's your plan with Gao? Uh, just grind up some lords until you get straight yeah, cat and all leave. Right. The imp is going to tell us how this works. Let me break it down now because this is the end of the part. All right, so Gao's special ability is rages. Pretty much, he, he's a wild boy. He was raised by wolves. So he <laughs> adapts where it's impossible to learn the rages of one of them. Aww. <laughs> That's why I didn't draw him with the flies. <laughs> we won't see our friends again. My friends are dead. <laughs> My family died. Yeah, take a number, buddy. <laughs> My father's dead. And this Gal, guy's father. Yours? Holy shit. Gal probably ate his. <laughs> He was mimicking a behemoth that day. <laughs> Let's go. Bye, kid. <laughs> I hope you can swim. So yeah, this is a little cursor. It's automatically pointing right. Don't touch anything. Just let it go right. Because by going right, uh, we get an at random encounter. <laughs> there we go. The ass pick. What's he doing? <laughs> ass pick. <laughs> um, oh. <laughs> I'm really showing off primarily Templar and uh, Stray Cat. Templar. Okay, here's Aqua Rake, by the way. Ow. Love, glove, motherfucker, you're dead. <laughs> oh! You're in an underwater area. How about some more water? <laughs> ah! Or, so you know, you have a gun. We're going to the Nikea. Nikea? Yeah. Oh, uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you notice there, she said to Cyan, like, like, stop whispering, my ears are burning, baby. And Cyan had, a, like, a violent reaction. In the advanced and original Japanese translation, that's actually where she's introducing Cyan to her breasts. Which she gave names, Humpty and Dumpty. Ah. And Cyan has the appropriate reaction. Is like you, like let me tell you what's wrong with you. And then he just goes on a rant and rambling. Killjoy. The <laughs> Saban, on the other hand, is wondering why is she hitting on me? I'm the monk. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm fucking repressed. Look, don't get me wrong. I'll get to the I'll unlock the night's chakra later. Right now, I need some fucking puss. <laughs> Part of my bluntness there. So the guys in the boat saying, oh, "Listen, we can leave you on South Figaro, but you got to hide yourself in the treasure chest." Wow. So they can get you inside South Figaro without the soldier stopping them. Open it up and you give them a tonic with a handout. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Open it up and it's Saban's uppercut. <laughs> So we're really trying to get them to side with the Returners. I mean, after all, you saw what the Empire did with you guys earlier. Yes, she was there. It's kind of her fault. But, you know, that that was then. This is now. Okay, now look. All right, so Saban brings two people back with him like he just found cats on the street. This here, <laughs> this here, this here had everybody lost to him by a poison attack. And this boy was raised by wolves. <laughs> I call it Gal. <laughs> you committed, and that's a good arc for me. I love that arc. Yeah. Well, Terra's arc is more of... Yeah, well, like Kafka does, what the fuck? <laughs> the sidestep chop. <laughs> and, and all the soldiers are like, oh, fuck, I'm like, just, 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 just go with it, go with it. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to argue with if that. If you don't let him have these episodes, who takes that on us? <laughs> You're not doing that, buddy. I promised. Here we learn Celeste... Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Celeste tries to tell her about her past, and she goes... Have you, you ever loved, loved anybody? <laughs> That's a good to Patrick from SpongeBob. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Gal could carry one by his own, so I really like... Not it. on his own. Because once he goes into rage mode, you're not healing him in battle. So that's kind of reckless. I will give him the benefit of having Celeste and Locke. Celeste because she can heal, because she has cure magic. And Locke because uh, he's a thief. That's why I went to Edgar and Tara. Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. <laughs> My knee! <laughs> But I didn't kill them exactly, so Terra will inflict the Terra will run him through with fire. Terra, Terra form! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Peekaboo! <laughs> <laughs> if I don't look at you, you're not there. <laughs> la, 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 Go over there, go. But now we're getting the brown soldiers in here, too. The brown soldiers can be troopers with, uh, Fidos. Like, uh, th they're dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see you keep struggling through that explanation. That was funny. What? 
They're uh, photos. They're, 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 they're dogs. dogs. <laughs> they, 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 well, there's no other way to photo them. That, that, that's what they are. I'm not lying. <laughs> yeah, the screen automatically shifts to the character that encounters a soldier. Right. So. <laughs> a terror is surrounded by four guys <laughs> wanting to get her attention. Help! <laughs> I've committed a genocide in, what, in three cities. How many have you murdered? I have no idea what love means. Can you tell me what love means? <laughs> Oh, baby, like you wouldn't believe. I don't know. You sound like a lech. You don't know what a lech is. You're right. <laughs> Edgar being one of the contestants. <laughs> Do you know what love is? <laughs> uh, heavy armors are, you know, just regular uh, mech armors, but they have uh, bigger defense. Mm -hmm. uh, fire pierces that, though, so you don't have to worry about that. I also think auto crossbow uh, ignores that, too. Uh, the only other thing that of any notice for heavy armor is, is that they have a reflect barrier. That's right. The answer was fish. <laughs> <laughs> if any of the soldiers reaches ban, it's game over. Fuck! You can't even heal. No. Well, no, <laughs> because ban. <laughs> Get away from me! <laughs> you fucking pussy! Hey, where's your god now, Oracle? <laughs> Towards Kafka. That guy's one of the. Uh, yeah, this guy's a rider. rider. Yeah. Holy shit! Yeah, that's a pretty fucking evil-looking guy. Seriously, what is he? Who pissed in his Cheerios? <laughs> uh, the Beast, but uh, he's riding it, so he doesn't want to piss it off. I don't blame him for that. And uh, Locke will steal. And uh, occasionally he's a tonic. Yeah. Because, you know, he needs to drink for this shit. Yeah. <laughs> Kefka, huh? <laughs> Bottoms up. Ouch! Son of a bitch! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Watch out, he scratches. <laughs> we thwarted the Empire's attempts at reaching the frozen Esper. Now we have to hope like, how oh, this thing wants to work with us. <laughs> if we rub it, it's good luck. <laughs> Terra has transformed. Terra's just the ex broke. Yeah. <laughs> her, uh, she's transformed. Uh, she's losing her mind. She's flying around. Uh, it's really cool. I wish I could do that. <laughs> well, later. Don't need an airship. We could just, you know... Hop on Terra. <laughs> yeah, just, just tie a rope around Terra's waist. Take off. <laughs> Oh, wait, we need the catalyst. Frozen Esper. <laughs> <laughs> what, are they dangling in front of her like a giant freaking <laughs> like carrot, a, like stick? A carrot stick? Like a carrot stick. This is morally wrong. Fuck it, it's still a free airship. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome! Because <laughs> I can't to, see... Set, is Spoonie an expletive? Huh? Is Spoonie an expletive? It could be a, it could be a uh, rather colorful invective. <laughs> uh, colorful, I think is a better word, yeah. Remember, you can be a spoony bard, but never try to spoon your bard. Yeah. <laughs> That's just inappropriate. <laughs> uh, no reason to go back to Ellis up besides the elixir on the clock. So you let's can... get the hell out. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, we're not just the wet bandits. <laughs> we're the elixir bandits. <laughs> Sticky too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're going to do the right thing. That's why we're going to steal elixirs from your clock. Yeah. <laughs> what was the true knight relic? True knight is this game's guard. You, got, you remember the cover material in 7? Yeah. Pretty much the same thing. When someone has the true knight relic on, whoever is low HP, they'll they'll stand in front of them and take the brunt of the attack. So basically, it's like a magnetic pole, except they get pulled, attracted to the enemy sword. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I'll save you, Terra. Uh, inadvertently. Here, hit me as hard as you can. <laughs> Don't hold back. <laughs> We are traveling back to Figaro Castle because it's you know, immersion in the sand again, like a beautiful sand phoenix. Really? I would have thought we were just digging our way in there. <laughs> uh, King Edgar, uh, we had a bit of a jam. <laughs> but thanks to our numerous soldiers and the 86,000 shovels that you pre-ordered beforehand, <laughs> it was great hindsight of you, King Edgar. Hey, in case I have a backup plan when the machine fails. Yeah. <laughs> if you travel into the castle with Saban and your party, along with King Edgar, you get this bit of backstory... Uh, you get to learn how the Savage Brother, Savage Brothers, the Super Savage Brothers, brothers. <laughs> the Savage Brothers. We are Savage Force Five. <laughs> Savage Force rules. No. <laughs> Finally, we're pronouncing it wrong. It's supposed to be Sabine. Anyway, yeah, Savage here sits on the throne and chooses to figure out what happened between. Since it's all different, Savin's all Savin is all alone. <laughs> Love the sad remix. Yeah, the, the name of this track is called Coin Song. Coin toss. Coin song. Coin song? Okay, I'm pretty sure it's the coin song. It could be coin toss. Uh, I would you know, I've run through like three different name. variations of Final Fantasy VI soundtrack where they do have different names for everything and it confuses the fuck out of me. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Here's to a bunch of confused grown-ups. Here's to dad. 
You know, my dad had all the answers. My, I, I thought my dad had all the answers by the age of 30. Now I'm the age of 30, and I still don't have no what the fuck I'm doing. That's adult life in a nutshell, yeah. dude. <laughs> New Encounters, Red Fangs, which are pretty much the stronger versions of the Lobos. They have something called rabies. No, fuck. <laughs> you know, just a little thing called rabies. Is it an attack, or is it's it... A, it's an attack that induces HP sap. I fucking love that. Yeah. <laughs> Take us there, Chocobo. And I'm going the wrong way. Son of a bitch. <laughs> by the way, you know how many times I kept walking... At one point, it's not now, but I, later in the game, I found myself at the fucking Empire Capital while looking for the last town. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Locke is keeping his girlfriend, Rachel, in suspended animation until he finds a way to bring her back to I life. I guess the rose is sort of off put the scent because she's got to be fucking funky. In the, yeah, I know. I don't know what. The, I'm pretty sure, like, the medicinal herbs are doing wonders for her skin and complexion, but that doesn't do anything for organs <laughs> yeah. or skeletal structure. I mean, when she gets up, it's going to hurt. <laughs> she's going to die when she gets up. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> so, Rachel came out splunking and ready to go to exploring in a dress. Yeah. <laughs> well, Locke can't no, take... seriously, look at his back. Oh, you so... can see the two... Oh, yeah, you can definitely look. Yeah, the two black pixels and it looks like a mouth. Yeah. And little, two little specks on his cheek. It looks like... I didn't really notice that until now. I gotta see if I can get a zoom up on that. Christ, I can't unsee it now. <laughs> <laughs> That guy is an as as in. S as 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 in. S as in. Oh, that guy. I thought he was an assassin. <laughs> I like to show off the encounter because ah, I really like Omega that. weapon. I really, yeah. <laughs> ah, uh, shoot. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Which happens in Final Fantasy V. Fuck you. <laughs> I hate that. Like, I play Final Fantasy V and I'm like, I'm wandering through the forest to see what encounters I have. I run into Ramu of all people. I was like, what the fuck is he doing here? <laughs> and, and then, like, later down the road, I think it's in, like, in the second or third world, you do that again with Shout. I was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> like, I'm just running into random sub Yeah, you're the playing the game with a randomizer. Yeah. <laughs> so they'll finish off the job for you. Oh, no. Okay, good. He's confused. <laughs> Be confused and dead. <laughs> <laughs> he just closed himself yeah, on the just, rock. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> like, ooh, candy. <laughs> so now you went from jack shit jack to just jack shit? Yeah, hmm. pretty much. Why Jack twice? <laughs> no, because Jack shit Jack is pretty much one half, j half of Jack shit. Yeah. And his name is Jack. Alright. Yeah, I thought it was Locke. Okay, Locke shit. Yeah, Locke shit. <laughs> We're all wrapped in You're fire. not a locksmith, you're a Locke shit. <laughs> <laughs> the shipment's late. <laughs> oh, fuck. The Empire hijacked it. <laughs> Fucking FedEx. Fed you old FedEx Empire? <laughs> yeah, it's a subsidiary of the Empire. Son of a bitch. We're just going through some tough times right now. Yeah, Amazon got us uh, shut down. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, it's, it's amazing how like a little piece of accessory just prevents that. So while I have this ring, it's a mood ring. <laughs> while I have this on my finger, I cannot possibly be enraged. <laughs> <laughs> the finger just clamps on you. Ow! Okay, okay. <laughs> no. Oh, okay, okay, fine. What about the uh, picture of Ultras there? It looks like somebody took a time out of a way to skill to dress an octopus. Yeah, like, like what if they had the time to do that? <laughs> do you think Ultras is the hand for that? <laughs> he stops what he's doing for a picture shop opportunity. Wait! I have to draw you. <laughs> Gang signs. <laughs> anyway, yeah, another Chocobo stable. They really want you to get a move on in the western part of the concert. Yeah, like, come on, get the fuck out of yeah. here. <laughs> it's like, what the heck? Peasants! Philistines! Damn it. Bad enough I'm a peasant, I'm a Philistine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He eats fireballs for breakfast. He eats everything for breakfast. breakfast. How the fuck do you fit this thing in this town? <laughs> <laughs> All the enemies in a fight. Sorry. Wrong words. Rasta shut. No, I don't know. Here, nobody's home. Yeah, nobody's home. You're just being polite. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Celeste just flipped them off and they don't really like the big finger. So they just one of them just went right to heaven. Okay, <laughs> we gotta stop this at some point because we may be in reaching someone. That doesn't take the joke. No, absolutely not. They're all smart people out there. They can <laughs> read and understand what we're doing. <laughs> this is the town of Zozo, folks. It's the only town in the game that has random encounters. No, they're fixed. Well, actually, no. That's a lie. It, but uh, That's an unintentional <laughs> lie. Yeah, but, right. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, sure, buddy. Next you're gonna tell me this guy's blue. I kind of like this dichotomy here. Like, I tell the truth and Matt tells a lie. Or is Matt telling the truth and I'm telling a lie? You oh, wait. Know. Welcome to the Let's Play the Truth or Lie, guys. <laughs> I guess these people are here just getting ready to play Duke Duke of Forever. No! Run! 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 You don't want to fight against a single slam dancer because they do tier 2 magic. 
So what? You have Celeste. Celeste. <laughs> Get up, buddy. Shake it off. <laughs> Who's got the smelling salts? <laughs> That's what Phoenix Down is, smelling salts. Yeah. <laughs> you just oh! actually, you have a, you re, actually, what you do with it, you always take the feather, you just go over there, it's like, goochie, goochie. Yeah, you tickle the nose. <laughs> exactly, you wake him up that way. <laughs> or maybe it's an adrenaline shot to the chest. You ever seen Pulp Fiction? Uh, no, I haven't seen the full picture. I imagine that's what they probably had to have done in Final Fantasy VII, though. Whenever they tried to complicate the fuck out of it. <laughs> so this is how you progress. This threw me off on my first playthrough. Like, I... I figured that out on my first playthrough, no problem. Uh, because there are... Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there are times where I can't tell if Matt's telling the truth or lying. This is a really fucking elaborate way to get through a town. I gotta jump through windows. Not really, it's just a piece of shit town. Remember Silent Hill 2? Where yeah. how they had to hop between the two apartment buildings? No. Nope. Yeah. Well, we had fire escape, yeah, though. Yeah, that was uh, Harry. Yeah. Not Harry. James. <laughs> I even not can't keep it right. <laughs> Good day, gentle folks. Can I be a service? I hate fighting. So I better let you pass. I thought you said you were going to let us pass. What this the is, fuck is this, is this sprite? Donna Loop. Wait, he's in a perpetual flying motion. It looks like he just pissed fire. Is he a squirter? <laughs> <laughs> he spits hot fire. Shockwave is a non-elemental spell. That's about it, though. Bullshit. Eric. She's scared, you know. The chair talks. Oh, thank God. It's just him. This here's Ifri. <laughs> no, it's Gandalf. Gandalf? <laughs> yeah, it's Gandalf. Yeah, this is the game that broke Square Soft. They had to pay off some huge royalties to Mr. Tolkien. <laughs> After that, they were never allowed to make another Final Fantasy game again. Oh, Terror is building up a rave. That's yeah. a rave, my ass. Yeah. <laughs> so he, so Locke gives her a reassuring high five. Yeah. And Rama <laughs> says that she's undamaged, but believe you me, she is fucking totaled. <laughs> <laughs> she's got more issues than Time Magazine. Uh, I thought you just mean she's wasted. <laughs> Man, Could what make. a rave. Humans apparently stumbled upon the truth upon Esper's and sought to use their magical power. They began to recruit Esper's peacefully, and only in that way could Emperor Gestalt create his army. Yeah. To ensure a, mutual a, trust was a mutual trust was agreed upon, and the Esper's and Emperor Gestalt have worked together side by side to create peace that lasted throughout the world. And to commemorate that, the only people that are sealed gate. Yeah, but the goddamn resistance fighters keep getting in the way. Now we have to go after Bannon. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Locke goes for a high 10, thinking a high 5 would yeah. be better. And she's dragging her through the face on the rug. <laughs> like, come on, Sarah. <laughs> that a girl. <laughs> Anyway, Edgar and Kyan here have a stroll in the rain and are about to break into a lovely rendition while Gao just fell to his death. <laughs> Speaking of boosting, that is also another secondary trait to Magicite. Some Magicite had special level up bonuses that you can Except determine. For, he seems to have trying for him. But in the meantime, I got everyone equipped with their own Magicite. Everyone's good. Everyone's going to start learning magic now. Oh, well, shit. Good. I accidentally went back to the door again because Why? I think I forgot something. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm tired. So you just chose to take a nap here instead of the fucking bed? I don't want to sleep outside. There are iron fists out there. They throw yeah, rocks they're... at you. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> That's all the way to ruin a captain fix trip. <laughs> the Empresario just got word that sets her plans on kidnapping Maria. And I think the game had a bug there, or Maria had a stroke. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 oh, you're talking about... Yeah, but here's the thing. Celeste just so happens to look remarkably like Maria. So they're going to set up a decoy. They're going to have Celeste <laughs> dress as Maria. Yeah, she's singing in the back there. I, do I like get a that. kick out of that. <laughs> yeah. And this is the sequence of the game that is often the most talked about when it comes to just, like, SNES production values and just musical choice. This is the opera scene, ladies and gentlemen. And that dude is just, like... <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, we do hope... I would have loved it if Mario was a fucking composer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the worst of the East! We're very racist toward each other. <laughs> they were waging war, don't you know? And war is very, very bad. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing, I tell you. Nothing! So Draco, the world's greatest hero, or the only one we could find to fit the bill, <laughs> thought of his love Maria for all of about three minutes. Technically, Draco's just blue ball that he's in the friend zone, but you know how they're trying to... You know how those guys delude themselves. All oh, that dreaded friend zone. Is she safe? Was she waiting? Is she at Wendy's? Got him. <laughs> or she had hobbies. She left her phone. <laughs> Meanwhile, you see the background scene of the final boss battle. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Hey, Gal, 
the way, jerk. <laughs> Seriously. And that's our play is, And that's our play is come to an end by the hobo on the chocobo bird. Oh, Maria. Dude. Oh, Maria. Of the East. These lawyers don't match the words, by the way. Hear my voice. Voice. Oh. They really stretch out these lyrics. How I long to be, be with you. Hold that note, bitch. <laughs> the lyrics were better suited in the advanced translation. That's right, you already gave the play a fucking review. Yeah. <laughs> Like what? You already gave the play a fucking review. Yeah. See, I thought this was better than the advanced the version where they better. had time to fix it. Yeah. So I give this a four out of ten. Yeah, the book was better. <laughs> the book was better. I fucking hate people like that. Uh, hey, Rachel. <laughs> is that you? Is that you? What the fuck is the Italian? <laughs> hey, oh, buddy, uh, is that you? Hey, Rachel. It's Celeste. Hey, Rachel. What is this West Side Story? <laughs> Because you know you can't. Because you really cannot tame a woman's heart. Was Rouse? Is Rouse a jet or a shark? Fuck anyway. if I know. Dead am the war exterminating sun, slipping through the trees, strangling the breeze. She's not sticking to the script. Dead am I the sky watching angels cry while they slowly turn. Conquering the world. What is she doing? <laughs> Dig through the ditches and burn through the witches. I swear I'm in the back of my Dragula. Empresario's down. Dead <laughs> 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 oh, I am the pool spreading from the full. We got what you need. Nowhere as you bleed. Say, um, um, sir, at what point was you replaced by Miss Piggy? <laughs> Dead I am the rat feast upon the cat. Tender is the fur, dying as you purr. One of the rich folks is like, get totally getting into it. <laughs> and Kai into it, just like the dead. This is confounded. Rock and or roll. <laughs> I dig through the ditches and burn through the witches. A slam in the back of my Dragula. Do it, baby. Do it, baby. I don't know how to apply CPR. <laughs> 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 so the composer has just shit himself completely and has just already started applying for new jobs. <laughs> <laughs> the furnace he's getting after this, let's face it, is fucking ye old Walmart. Yeah. So Draco here just sort of transformed into flowers? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I don't get it. Yeah, this is one of the this is really one of the best scenes of Final Fantasy VI, so fuck me for singing Dracula over it. <laughs> so now but, she uh, looks right up at the moon here and is she contemplating suicide or something? Uh no. <laughs> Please don't need like, you're, you're crazy. <clears throat> anyway. The lovely moon. Indeed, nice Dead I am the life dig into the skin. Knuckle crack the boat 21 to win. And so she tosses her roses on there. <laughs> oh gosh, she's singing again. She toss her boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Dad, I am the dog hound of hell. You cry, devil on your back. I can never die. Dig through the ditches and burn through the witches and slay them in the back of my drag you love. Dig through the ditches and burn through the witches and slay them in the back of my Dragula. Do it, baby. Do it, baby. And you see Ultras right on the top going, I don't remember this, uh, uh, this is, Like, this is fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> this is totally absurd. And I'm a giant octopus. <laughs> a talking octopus. <laughs> But the monsters outside seem to be enjoying it. I imagine somebody out there just... <laughs> the dead cat. The yeah. cat <laughs> <laughs> so meanwhile, somebody dropped a two-ton weight on Celeste trying to think, fuck it. <laughs> Everyone's a critic. <laughs> Probably like the highlight of the fucking opera house at this point. I do love this piece. 
So now they're just like sort of spinning each other sprites around you. Yeah. <laughs> We're all red super for this one. I fucking know it. Cha cha slide. <laughs> huh? No, it's, it's the electric slide. Can you feel it? It's electric. Boogie woogie woogie. You can do the electric slide. <laughs> I would love to see this entire scene remade in an HD remaster 800 years from now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the first of never. Attack! Hey, it looks like a Berserker Sprite for five. Yeah, I can see that, sure. Just a different color. This is some of the, This is like when two... Like, this is like when a four-year-old has two action figures and he just slams <laughs> them together. <laughs> Sup, bitches? I'm the Bad King! Maria! I'll sing Dracula again! Please, God, no! Please, no. God, no! I've had enough of that fucking song. You have no appreciation for the death We will finally sing Dracula together. Let's go. We'll oh, see the... you on the Supra on the 23rd of November. <laughs> <laughs> it's on iTunes. <laughs> Forgive us, please! <laughs> please understand! <laughs> We're trying to avoid the copyright strikes! Copyright strikes! Okay. Copyright strikes! The opera <laughs> is finished! It is? Oh Ultra shit! Ultra intends on moving this four ton weight above, and he knows exactly how long it's gonna take him to move it. I think it's like that's the whole slapstick part of it, but you can yeah. imagine after my wretched ass singing, that's what's intentional at this point. <laughs> At some point, Kai, it's like, go, go, go! <laughs> <laughs> so we have to flick the switch to the far right. Fuck that. I want to experiment. The middle switch turned up on the <laughs> I like how the, compress the uh, composer's there. It's like, fuck it, we gotta save this. Ah! A trap. Why is that there? <laughs> Why is there a Batman shoot in the opera house? I had no idea. He uh, just popped on everybody. Uh, unfortunately, this place is infested with vermin and sewer rats. You would think they've killed the monsters before you come in here? Yeah, maybe. Well, then maybe they're part of Ultra's posse. Ultra's has a rat posse? Yeah. The rat pack. <laughs> Son of a bitch. You. No. I, I, punish yourself for that fun later. <laughs> this, this area is also the, <laughs> the location of a pretty nasty glitch in the Japanese version. Where. If you leave one of the rats alive in this sequence, and you go to the world of ruin later down the road, you head back up to the opera house, and that rat's still there. You can encounter that rat, lose to that rat, and it warps you back to the world of balance. You save the world by dying to a rat <laughs> <laughs> in the Japanese version of the game. It's the fucking butterfly yeah. effect. <laughs> that, that was a pretty nasty glitch that they removed for the American release and every other subsequent release, but that is fucking hilarious. Given the coding of this game, I'm surprised that was taken out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but why there was some quality control they fucked up still. <laughs> well, come on. Let's see who ever fucking Stretch. winging this. Stretch. Stretch. <laughs> Sets are still watching. <laughs> Silence, you are in the presence of octopus loyalty. And impresario says, well, might as well make the most of this. Music! <laughs> I love this. Yeah, this is the. I fucking love it. He, they just saved him. Unless the curtain closes on that tragedy of a play. <laughs> Presario's like sweaty buckets. He's like, I'm never getting a good thing. Wait, he loved it. <laughs> <laughs> now it's a martial artist, a samurai, a thief, and a general against a gambler. <laughs> Unless we gotta play some games, I don't think we're gonna lose. Unless we settle this with the children's card game. He's a Yu-Gi-Oh player. <laughs> or some sort of gambler. That would explain the whole fucking Esper. <laughs> we were told your ship is the finest vessel in the world. It's the only vessel in the world. Hear me out. I would, but uh, you activated my draft card. Yeah. <laughs> you know, in, in the advanced translation, it's like, you know, I'm a, I'm a wandering gambler because I, I fear nothing. I take risks all the time. So yeah, I would say Nihilus. Does he eat at Ar Nihilus Arby's too? <laughs> oh, <God almighty. laughs> You know who ain't coming back to life after this one? Daryl. <laughs> Eat it, Arby's. She's dead. She's Can't dead. You and Locke should both take the hint. Yeah. <laughs> what, do you got her in cryogenic stasis too? Somewhere around here. Oh, God. Probably under the checkerboard floors. He diced her body into little bitty pieces and made her into chips. No, I would say more like the beating heart. Oh, God almighty. 
Who wants to play for the Daryl Cup? Ew! <laughs> so, Celeste has to become his wife. And Locke gets blue balled. <laughs> Go back to your dead girlfriend. <laughs> and you know what? It pains me to say that I mean that physically. Because you keep her in the basement of her house. Seriously. <laughs> Are we going to Hollywood? <laughs> Hollywood. <laughs> no shit. I think I, I almost thought I was about to start hearing Shadow's theme for a minute. <laughs> well, well, Shadow's theme got a lot more upbeat since the last time. <laughs> Did he get over his past? Hit the lottery. <laughs> <laughs> now he's a rich assassin. Is this the one where um, Kanye gets you introduced to the Wonder Twins? <laughs> that was in Ikea. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's um, let's show off Stray, also known as Ketchy. Meanwhile, Cat Rain. Oh. Right. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, put him in there. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, put him up. Put him up. Put him up. Does he have an attack called Bam Zoom? Bam Zoom? To the moon. To the... Oh, to the... <laughs> Power right in the kisser. Hummin, 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 hummin. Power right in the kisser. I swear to that, I can't fucking watch Honey Moon or something. I see where we're going all the way uh, down there's there. A tor there's a tornado warning going on. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Or Seth is just playing the air horn. <laughs> <laughs> the siren effect. Yeah. Except for Final Fantasy 13 2. Metal Chocobo. Metal Chocobo. So you think you can ride this Chocobo? I don't know. Do I really want to ride this Chocobo? In this Choco Rodeo. Are we in hell? I don't want to know. <laughs> You should walk around with Celeste as your player leader. Uh, if it doesn't, if it changes anything, I don't know what it does because I, I, yeah, that I think no, I don't do that. End up, end up doing that. But come on, even if you do, just do it for like the asshole like <laughs> thing of it all, just from the perspective. You can be the biggest dick as having Kenshi test this sight in Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you want a chicken lip? Chicken lip, you almost like a, always. This looks like a terrible monster. Chicken lip, you always almost encounter in. Uh, groups of five. What kind of what kind of eggs? These things look like they self feed. They lay their eggs and then they eat them. <laughs> ah, protein. I'm pretty sure I just scrapped this out. Nom nom nom. <laughs> but it's so delicious. <laughs> look at Savage trying to fuck. <laughs> what we trying to do? What? You see him like trying to just root root kind on. He's like, come on, buddy, you got it, man. I can't believe it. You just gotta lay that good old sword chop and cut the head off. They'd be like chickens with their heads cut off. <laughs> and locks down. No! What am I gonna do without my thief? Oh, treasure hunter. That's thief. <laughs> it's treasure hunter. There is a good chance this guy will leave his station and rob you of 1,000 gil. That fucker. So you're essentially paying 1,000 gil to stay at this place. However, like I said, this doesn't always happen. Right. And I don't know what causes it to happen. I'm gonna just say it's just random chance. But fucker, you just took 1,000 of my GP. When I totally was that, that's totally not cool, dude. Luckily for you, I can time travel. So fuck <laughs> you. I want my thousand GP back. So you get too close. Hell! Your returners. Hey, you! Yeah. Nope. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> you, step, you step your toe, lad. This is a place where Edgar really shines because his tools ignore all that shit. Auto, uh, no, Auto Crossbow, I think, doesn't. Auto Pierce crossbow defense. doesn't auto. I mean, flash flash does. and drill does. Flash and drill and chainsaw if you want to feel a little raunchy with uh, the insta kill sort of shit. Raunchy? Yeah, raunchy. You, you oh, he's so, he's so dirty. <laughs> yeah, I know, I saw what I know what I said. Proto armor. Like I said before, it's pretty I much. I don't just understand a... why prototype armor ends up being better than the real thing. Well, maybe it's prototype armor for a different class of Magitek armor. Okay, that answered that one perfectly well, actually. I'm good time with that answer. <laughs> Okay, so this is how we infiltrate the facility. This is how we do it. Hang <laughs> on. <laughs> That's early 90s appropriate. And Diablos learns Gravija. Yes. Exclusive to that version of the game. Yeah. We'll be talking more about the advanced stuff when appropriate. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get into the advanced stuff until we get to the World of Ruin. But, um... We can't get into the advanced stuff until Johnny blows up the world. <laughs> Barabam, sorry. It's one hell of a summon cost. <laughs> that evasion boost looks nice, but evade stat's broken in this game. Except for advance, they fix it. Oh, and that battle turned uh, lock into a capital. <laughs> what was I doing last night? Yeah, I'm gonna see my Moogle dancing in the fucking sky. Come on, a Moogle with Kane's armor on. 
sell millions. I would like fan art of that if we can. That'd be great. Moogle, uh, Mog with uh, Kane's equipment on? Yeah, sure. While well, he's backstabbing someone. <laughs> oh, <this> shit. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the backstab blitz. <laughs> it's like the ballroom blitz, only a backstab. Considering you could get Mog confused in the game if he didn't wear his, his little trinket. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, that'd be really good, yeah. <laughs> Treachery. <laughs> the treachery tango. Yeah. <laughs> the traitor is twosome. Like I could have sworn I saw a fifty-year-old man here. I'm all powerful, hee <laughs> haw. And he's going to restore the statues. The statues? No! Not the statues! No! They're in their art place uh, where they belong. Johnny? Yes. What statues? The Warring Triad. Oh. So now we got two things down there, or are we gonna just sleep in the goddamn refuse part department? Okay, we're yeah, gonna sleep in the I'm goddamn tired refuse department. We just need to take a take a, take a rest. Yeah, so Kefka is talking and about. And had night terrors about the Doma failure all over again. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh! oh. <laughs> Wait, uh, hey, hey, I actually felt really good. Can you do that again? <laughs> They're like running in like a tag team. <laughs> The sheep was behind the ring. <laughs> tag me! Tag me! <laughs> and you forgot the tag! And Locke comes a bar guardian tail fifth on the yeah. neck! Off the top rope! And Shiva starts clotheslining everybody. That's a kid. Okay, uh, I, I just got the fuck. I said it's a kid or spirit. You have Ramu's power? Wait! We're espers. By the way, it should be said that even if you should summon Ramu in the middle of that fight, that doesn't snap them out of it. By the way, I like how you're now known as Kindred Spirits after you kick the piss out of both of them. <laughs> I guess And uh, Save is having a nap. Yeah. Well, right, he'll be fine. He's earned that nap. We're going to take another nap to wake up the napper? Yes. <laughs> goochie, goochie, goo. Time for bed. <laughs> <laughs> Did we win? <laughs> And welcome to part 12 of the Final Fantasy VI. Let's Hot play, ladies and gentlemen. Buns. Hot fuck buns. <laughs> They're so delicious. Hot fuck. Whatever. <laughs> but uh, yeah, look at that. This guy gives no fucks because I want to give him a suplex. <laughs> ah, booyah. Oh. You suplex the rhino. Da, 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 da. How was your Saturday? So you can wail on him with magical attacks or Saban's blitzes, or, or a bolt anyway. But he's also susceptible to imp. <laughs> So put That's him to sleep. Tragic. So put him. So put him to sleep. Transform him into an imp and let him just wake up. Right. <laughs> ah! What have you done to me? What's happened to me? And then he trolls you by having imp armor equipped. <laughs> oh. Oh shit. I see a rapid dash. <laughs> Pokeballs ready. <laughs> Castles the fan club president. <laughs> He comes in with a bike. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Stop that! Don't you, don't, don't you dare hurt my rapid dash, dash, dash. Yeah, he's also kind of the reason why Kefka's the way he is, so I would connect, kick the banana man. You know, actually, looking at his sprite, it kind of looks like his green pants are down at his ankles. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you came in on my uh, down. Oh, go, Grandpa Sid. <laughs> <laughs> Locke is in complete dis you know, disbelief. Disbelief. She doesn't want to believe. He doesn't want to believe that Celeste is a traitor. But now it's egging him on. I was like, "Oh God's sakes! I put my life on the line for this girl, and she was a spy the entire time." Where did they go? Up. <laughs> <laughs> Ask a simple question, <laughs> get a simple answer. <laughs> but for added bonus, again, Edgar is the king in this sequence because of his tools. And you left him behind. I left him behind because, fuck me, I want to be different. <laughs> and, you know, speaking of which, one thing I wanted to bring up for the Let River sequence when you're on the raft is that you can run away from paddles while on that thing. Yeah. Do so you just run to the other side and the enemies just forget where you are? <laughs> <laughs> They're not very aggressive yeah. monsters. <laughs> but, uh, it, it, you know, it's good. Oh, no, it's not fine. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Okay, no, no, I'm fine. Woo! Way to go, Cyan. I guess now you'll be using me in your ed parties, huh? <laughs> no. Why, you really do hate machines. <laughs> <laughs> and the winner is Silhouette. <laughs> the winner is, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Cyan, stop. <laughs> oh, I'll no. kill you all! <laughs> or my name isn't Mr. Thou! Who poisoned the river? <laughs> Somebody poison the water 
I was starting to worry about Celeste, my prize. <laughs> Where is she? Have a drink. I already have one. <laughs> have another. <laughs> Just put it through your vein sensor. We got a story to tell. Oh, shit, but uh, apparently... How about, they... to, how about over our classy game of seven card stud? <laughs> Now we're getting a flashback here about the Esper world when Tara was but a wee uh, dog pup here. Dog pup? She's not even born yet. Yeah. This she's, here she's a, is... She's a twinkle in her father's eyes. Funny. Uh, good reference, by the way. Um, <laughs> now this is... A... <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> seriously, I'm yeah. trying to laugh and I want to explain it at the same time. Fuck you too. <laughs> no, seriously. It, it really is funny when I'm trying to explain this at the same time. So anyway, uh, in terms of this backstory here, this is the Esper world. A long time ago, a girl, a human girl, managed to find her way to this place. Her Actually, name... her and her name was Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> After getting away from the wolf and the locksmith, she, she found a door in the middle of fucking nowhere, and that led to the demon realm. A uh, demon realm. De Oops! That's <laughs> for world. <laughs> Why did I say that out loud? So when a music artist and an esper bake babies together, they form a half-hybrid. <laughs> And hey, if you ever wonder where Madonna got the idea for a drill brawl, oh Esper my world. god, Esper World, there you go, because they wear that shit naturally. Oh my god, no. <laughs> uh, dead, we'll sleep. Anyway, so both of them are dead. No, Madonna's still alive. Uh, no, both of them are still alive. It's just that they're unconscious. They so Madonna hands the baby over to Emperor Gastel, saying that please take look after my baby, and then she wakes up saying, "No, wait, actually, don't do that. That was a mistake. I just realized who you were." <laughs> And now we are Gastals. And the gate sh has closed. By the way, I like the, the little backdrop of that area is a forest area. Yeah. That is near the sealed gate, which is all mountains. Ooh, wow. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> little inconsistency there. <laughs> so, so the, question. Does this thing have HD? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, must, I must inquire, uh, why did your mother run out with you instead of staying at the house? You're going to shut up right now. <laughs> Fuck Terror? you, guys. I'm looking for the answer myself. <laughs> now, by the way, you going to answer the question or not? Does it have HD or not? <laughs> now we have the airship. The Blackjack is ours to control. By all means, take a turn at the wheel. Are you qualified? No? Fine by me. Neither am I. Hey, let's take a... I guess you could say we're going to take a... Gamble? <laughs> <laughs> I love you already. <laughs> Locke Lock has to go laugh kind. It's like, you're one of those fuckers. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> I wish I drank that poison. No. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, every time you get a joke item, the rich guy with the rich kid always buys it. In essence, it's a waste of time. But it is humor, so that's why I left it in. So that, well, wait, the joke bit repeats, don't it? It does repeat. So the kid just orders the eat, the talking eat, the eats to, to talk a joke about, and then next thing you know, boom, they're back here. Yeah, he's a real fat down. fuck, too. Fat fuck loves his chicken. Fat fuck eats chicken. Fat fuck about <laughs> bitch me the goddamn trying to walk his house. Fat <laughs> It, it, it's the most aggravating thing. I'm in the auction house. I'm looking for my real item of interest. There it there is. There we go. And then suddenly a chocobo pick. I was like, fuck. It's like, I'm going to waste 10 minutes now. I'm kidding. <laughs> Cass. Wait, before we get into what you're saying, this is kind of, don't this feel kind of shady? What do you mean? You're selling off Magisite and shit like this at a goddamn auction house. Like, do these people, are these people fully aware of what they got their hands on? I would say so because I would agree this is highly unethical. It's almost like slave trading. It's about ethics and George. It's about ethics and auctioneering. I thought you said it's about ethics and George Foreman grills. So I was like, <laughs> like I don't what? <laughs> Grease skate. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> anyway, he doesn't know Exploder. No. The, Thank uh, God, because that yeah. would have that. Imagine that kind of shit coming up with the fucking HD remasters. Go go boom! <laughs> Not again. Such as we are now. Going to get some good steals from this guy right here, the Suffler, the Suffla, the Suffler, whatever that is. Suffler, Suffler, blah blah blah. Suffler, the Suffler, Suffler. <laughs> We're not playing a six hack. <laughs> so it's not the Suffler that had it. It was actually the big guy up there, the basketball. The basket, yeah. It's like the Suffler for uh, is the little. It's a squid. Cephalopod thing, yeah. Cephalopod. <laughs> it's. A, hey Matt. Is it a kid? <laughs> hey Matt, do you? <laughs> <laughs> How fucking long is this going to take you? It's six minutes. God damn. I timed it. You know? <laughs> timed it? And go! <laughs> and go! <laughs> suplex! 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 <laughs> you know, Samus got to have like the best bar story of any Final Fantasy hero aside from Tifa possibly to this date. Hey, did you guys know I have suplexed an invisible behemoth? I powerbombed the monster on the bottom of the ocean floor. 
Well, shit, lady. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you about how I suplex a train. <laughs> uh, I still think Saban got everyone beat with that one. I don't know why nowadays, but I'm really hoping Saban shows up for the soup for the Olympus Coliseum World of Kingdom Hearts 3. That'd be awesome. He would totally fit. Him and him or Jack. Saban versus Hercules. <laughs> <laughs> he suplexes the Doom Train down Greer and Hades has a jaw drop animation. Clonk. <laughs> Anyway, now we're going to continue with plot, because we've pretty much done all we can at this point in time. So we're, we're heading to Narsh. We're plot. Aw. Yeah, so I'm going to spit my bucket. There's a ghost! <laughs> were you the one I killed? <laughs> the day I encounter a game that doesn't have anything behind the waterfall is the worst game I ever played. Then you will not like Final Fantasy... If I can go behind the waterfall in the first place, I, I should uh, be a little more... Okay, yeah. Because I was going to say, Final Fantasy 8 ain't your cup of tea, then. <laughs> They're fucking good for nothing. Oh, Pickpockets. Who the hell is that? I think I just saw a Sasquatch. They don't exist. Must be the drugs. <laughs> Sorry. I am recovering, Esper. You're a recovering, Esper. <laughs> I thought you were talking about, you know, you're... you're That's like a recovering alcoholic. <laughs> That's like a recovering alcoholic with added fur. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the encounters inside this uh, area of Narsh is nothing new. Same even thing? though we haven't been here just yet. But we gotta high tilt. We gotta tag this pickpocket. We don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think this was the same pickpocket that was in the Figaro jail. Right. It got away. How? It pickpocketed the gate. <laughs> it pickpocketed the gate. Yeah. <laughs> Good joint. <laughs> it's like the villager. It just stuffs it into his pocket. It's okay, man. Wait, what am I saying? I don't even use villager. You don't know why. <laughs> Only because I fucking hate him. You know it's fucking. You know what makes it. That makes it all the worse. Whenever I lose uh, when I'm playing by myself, and I lose, and it had to be to the fucking villager. <laughs> because the pickpocket was holding a Moogle captive. This is Mog. We've ran. We he was part of our party earlier when he was helping Locke protect. A fast Kara. talking, street smart, slam dancing Moogle. Fuck which, yeah. thanks to Square Enix's trivia, I learned is now just a mole bat. <laughs> really, sort of sucked some of the fun out of me right there. <laughs> sucked some of the mysticism away from it. You know. Now, that's like waking up one morning and finding out Santa Claus ain't real. Oh, son of a bitch. You're going to turn me Big Bird. is not real either. Oh, uh, Big Bird's Matt. real, all right. <laughs> Mog can dance. And Mog also makes a really fucking good Dragoon. Of all things. Yeah. <laughs> Doink. By the way, did, we did see that fan yes. art. Oh, it's terrific. Major kudos. That was an I awesome love that. The Doink art. was just the icing on that cake. Yeah. <laughs> he speaks human language. He dances. He does elemental attacks through his dances. And it makes a damn good Dragoon. Yeah. Huh? It's like a cocktail. <laughs> it's a cocktail by a bartender who don't know what the fuck he's doing. <laughs> I'm going to throw this drink against the wall. We, <laughs> Whatever's left is what we're serving you. I imagine that's what they do with some real drinks. Mixology's just throw, throw four drinks together, see where it goes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, look, I don't know what your plans were for next week. Cancel them, because you're going to help these guys out now. All right. It works for Vincent. It works here, too. <laughs> Vincent, what are you going to do? A chill for my crabs in a box. How about you come along with us? Fuck you, you're sleeping. <laughs> How about you come along with us? Okie dokie. Sir, you're not lamenting, you're napping. I know the difference. <laughs> <laughs> but I think how dances work that if you're in a territory that's similar to the dance that you're trying to mimic, you have a better chance of using that dance. Right. In this case, I was trying to do wind song because it's uh, open earth, it's fields, I'm in a forest. Close enough, right? No, I fell down. <laughs> <laughs> what if Bach just has two left feet? <laughs> You don't know Moogle. You don't know Moogle biology. I don't know, up until the, up until the Square Enix conference, I thought it was mythical. Nope, mole rat, mole bat. Moogle, you will get those dance moves right. <laughs> and up until I played, um, what the fuck? <laughs> that, was, what? that was cockatrice. <laughs> That's wind dance. You summon a fucking. You throw a fucking you bird, throw at bird at him. him yeah. <laughs> it's like a chicken lost shark on that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here comes the chicken cannon. In terms of musical ability, uh, I remember tales of, um, fuck that noise, you just, <laughs> you just summoned a massive lightning bolt while you're in the water, that's a, like, that's fuck, you're a fucking current! Yeah, actually, Mog didn't jump to do an attack, he's jumping to breathe, <laughs> he's just jumping <laughs> to get some air. <laughs> Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part 14 of the Final Fantasy VI Let's Play, and this is where I need to go. <laughs> you, you pretty much did a plain push-up. <laughs> I teabagged the town of, uh, Albrook. <laughs> Apparite, these things still drain their own health? Yep. Which I found out, thanks to uh, some helpful comments, is by the result of a glitch. Uh, originally, uh, these ghosts were supposed to have auto-regen. 
But because, because they're also undead. Yeah, because of an oversight in the programming, they're constantly losing health. Because they're undead. Yeah. <laughs> that's not on, that's not the programming fuck up. That is, I forgot the rules of my game. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so here you go, the revivify strategy. Boink. Little what drop, a baby. <laughs> little drop of sunshine in the morning makes the zombone go. Ah! <laughs> And By the way, most fucked up zombie monster I've seen, nine, uh, rather, well, yeah, technically revelations, one could count, but zombie whales. Zombie whales scared the fuck out of me, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see what encounters I can run into in this content before I go to Esto Gaza, and I'm in the beachside, and I fight this gargantuan fucking undead thing, and it's, it's like, oh my god. <laughs> it's, it's about as, um... It was an eye opener. Yeah, it was an eye opener, but Quinn can eat it. That's how you get level five death. Yeah, if you want to go for that complete rage, oh, rage list, <laughs> blue magic list. Or if you want to see Quinn eat a zombie whale, much to Zidane's horror, <laughs> that would have caused my breakdown harder. Than, that would have caused yep. my breakdown harder than anything Garlic could have ever done. That's that. That'll do it. Ing is a goddamn suffix. Yeah. <laughs> Suffering. <laughs> Uh, Deathening? Unliving? Because they are undead. Revenenting? <laughs> Reckoning? Disappointing? Re disappo yeah. Disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> you fall in the lava, you take damage? No. Okay. It's a little puzzle area. It is, you know, you are greeted with a loud... <laughs> if you fuck up, you hit the switch here, you'll hear a sound in the distance. That means there's a bridge now that formed to this chest over here, which contains a Genji Glove. Ooh. Which, if you didn't use the Ganon... Oh, Ganon. Ah, I did it again. Bannon. The Bannon exploit. You're a Bannon Gant. Yeah. <laughs> Bannon Gant. <laughs> <laughs> so, surely. Let's, let's, see the let's, let's flip them all. Fuck it. Who wouldn't? Yeah. <laughs> it is. They are, they are switches. Oh, hello. <laughs> is that your switch? <laughs> no, it's a ninja. <laughs> <laughs> and ninjas are fast. Now, this is what he's saying here. He thought he had the monopoly of stuff that was buried near the Grand Stairway. Sorry, champ. You're pure Baltic Avenue. Yeah. <laughs> I'm off to collect goodies in Pennsylvania. <laughs> it's not quite boardwalk. Thing is, though, it's Magicite. It could be any Magicite in the game. Yes. Oh, including your fucking Crusaders. <laughs> you like a Jihad? Yeah, which does a whopping seven to 8,000 damage to the enemy. And gives uh, bucks two to, to three thousand to you. Yes, it hurts you. The odds are low that it happens, but it well, once it happens, is you it though? Don't... Because I remember you saying that it happened to you. It happened to me too, dude. Right. It can't be that fucking rare. Is Maybe this, what, it's a joke. I know. support group. <laughs> you followed us. How did you not notice a clown? <laughs> oh. oh shit! Here comes the fan art. <laughs> Yeah, oddly fitting. You're right. There goes ultimate. There's a dragon. There's his own seat. Hey, we have that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Bitch, get back here! A clan of efforts. <laughs> Keep lying down, Terra. Terra, she never left Zozo. <laughs> this, th this whole thing is one giant therapy session. That would be the plot twist of one RPG. I think it happened. Where the entire what the twist is that you never left? No, but I know that happened in one RPG. I don't know, man. That kind of plot would piss me off if it's not done right. Kingdom Hearts. And that Sora woke up in his bedroom, ready to go to Destiny <laughs> in time for In time for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. And if that happens, I'll throw out every no, fucking no, Kingdom no, Hearts game. It won't have. happen. Yeah. <laughs> every fucking game. We'll join game. the annual Kingdom Hearts book burning club. <laughs> <laughs> man, fuck this series. I don't know, dude. They have to trade <laughs> drop distance. I'm dangerously close. So they're gonna give them a one four. With a giant fucking dragon, I would be giving them a one four one two. What was that? Someone threw a Bahama at us, and a uh, unicorn. I got and a whale, <laughs> and a chocobo. No, I'm kidding. A ghost. A ghost. Someone threw an apparition at us. Can you imagine me somebody fighting somebody that can throw a fucking whale at you? Say, but never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they, they seem angry. Yeah, those shit, they're throwing whales at us. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just the whale catapult. <laughs> catapult turtle. <laughs> Cat, catapult whale. 
<laughs> uh, but apparently, we're, we're, I think we're flying too fast, Vector, because we're in the middle of the Aspen Rampage, and because of that, our ship, we're going down! Mayday! 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 <laughs> Who are we saying Mayday to? We're the only airship! Set, sir, what do we do? It's off the feet. Damn you! <laughs> oh, son of a bitch! <laughs> Stop tossing your coin! <laughs> Woke up all the invisible behemoths. <laughs> <laughs> just media what's left <laughs> that's one way to end the game thank you for playing the Dark Souls uh, let's play <laughs> slightly, by slightly enraged, enraged I mean fucking furious yeah no shit Vector looks like it's been through hell yeah look everything's on fire the it's, inn is empty was it really armor shop guy's doing just fine though hey dude your fucking window's on fire you won't be caught on fire <laughs> if you buy our armor <laughs> I guess you could say we're having a fire sale prices. Our prices are hot, hot, hot. <laughs> so there are a total of 24 people that we can convince yes, to trust. show up to the banquet. There are some people that are willing to fight. Some of them almost comically evil. <laughs> you're you're going to find someone here that says blatantly, I oppose peace. Uh, Palazzo P. Kafka. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hmm. A. Hitler. Okay. A. Uh, Hitler? Uh, yeah. <laughs> what? One of 50 Hitlers. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> They're all Hitlers here. <laughs> well, I can, I can, we can talk. To, like, yeah, let's let's break it down right now. So the entire banquet sequence is you're pretty much building up points to butter up the Empress so that you can get a lot of fucking sweet swag. Part of it is talking to to as many soldiers as you can. The cap is 24, so you got you got to make sure you talk to all 24. Oh fuck you, Returner scum! I take. Did you really just stick a stuck out? Yeah, <laughs> Returner <laughs> scum. <laughs> <laughs> just like after I'm finished talking to everybody. Hey, how you doing? On the throne, you're yeah. gonna oppose peace. <laughs> no, he's constipated. I don't. <laughs> so he, has he to needs say, a peace of mind. He has to say really angry things in order to get it out. I like how Cal just bent like he was made of paper there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Mog and you could tell that Mog and Gal were completely optional because they just stand there and say none. Well, Gal's not optional at all. You have to recruit him. Mog is though. But then again, Gal's like the nature boy. <laughs> Rick, Rick Flair. <laughs> no kidding. Gal, what do you think of the situation? Ow! Uh, woo! And we have a charm bangle because our speech mannerisms at the banquet were impeccable. That's because that's because you've got that's because you just have good manners. Yes. A little manners goes a long way. Damn right. Uh, hail Gestalt. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if it means giving me a charm bangle, hail anybody. I imagine. <laughs> really? All right. <laughs> My man, I shall give you the country in an hour. See, you get the country. You get child bangle. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to hell for this. I'm going to hell and all I got was this lousy charm bangle. Uh, uh, hey, at least I won't encounter as many demons. <laughs> what the hell is this? I'm sitting on a toilet. You just They just had Tara's Sprite use the bathroom? Well, more like she kind of crouched next to the thing. She crouched? That's all she kind of needs to do to use the bathroom. Yeah. She just doesn't need to... Ew. Complete with the flushing noise. Okay. We didn't wipe, though. Ow! Yeah. I wanna, trust hey, me. hey, you didn't wipe. <laughs> Your manners are now no longer <laughs> yeah, Give me back, back. Yeah, back that char bangle. Receive <laughs> tissue. <Yeah. laughs> oh, like like the tissues Dio's give us at seven? Yeah. Oh, okay. Exactly so is like that, that what they was? Is that what it was all the entire time? It's like, hey, you didn't wipe. <laughs> <laughs> wipe that blood off your hands. Yeah. <laughs> and those tears from when you lost. <laughs> Fucking Konami. Well, the thing is, unfortunately, is that because the uh, we were in the middle of the Esper raid on our way toward Vector, our airship was taken down. We have no way of trying to communicate with the Espers. We don't know where they're at. Can well, Tara we... just put on like a can Tara just put an antenna on her head to go? Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> calling all Espers, calling all Espers. I need your help, Espers. Wait, wait, the Espers are Captain Planet. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm going to fade here because I wandered around for a little too long. Because I was like, I know there's something else I'm missing here. And it's like, yeah, the flame saber inside the pot. Nice, a fire sword. Yeah, <laughs> makes sense. And then I'll be holding the flame saber like, Ooh. I wonder what it was earlier. Illumina. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> and one of the people that Gestal has um, lent to accompany us is none other than General Leo. Fuck yeah. Yeah, we saw him earlier when we were at the, um, the desert base near Doma. And you know, he, we found out then that he's a pretty respectable guy. Very honorable. I honestly would have thought he would have been one of Terra's first, you know, crushes or something like that. Yeah, he sort of is. Oh, there's Shadow. Yeah. Hey, Aisha, how you doing? He sticks out like a sore fucking thumb. Yeah, here. Like, so let me, accompany, let me show you two people that I yeah. accompany for his journey. General Celeste and this ninja I found sleeping on the floor. <laughs> 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 so, to advance plot, we need to sleep in the inn. It's on the house, thank God. All right. 
<laughs> Can you imagine if your quest was blocked by a paywall? <laughs> it's like, you gotta pay for Ah, Final thousand. Fantasy All the Bravest. <laughs> Yeah, I just had I just had some loose bowels for a minute. I'm yeah. Not <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's how looks, I don't feel this coffee. is applying to me now more than ever. <laughs> Columbia coffee goes right through me, Leo. What is this feeling? That's called that's called the screaming shits. Lay off the Colombian. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> not all of us are like Kafka, and that much is true. It's easy to forget that wars are just driven by two greedy old men. Yeah. Hey, Leo, are we actually moving? <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's the anchor, you sons of bitches? Like, we've been stationary for the last eight hours. Off of the distance, Cecil is yelling for help. <laughs> is that Leviathan? Yeah. <laughs> Do you at least know what it looks like? Like, like what definition is of love? She needs to copy Bushido in the bedroom, yeah. but that's <laughs> really not what it is. It's No, no, I know what it is. Is that That's what it comes across as. Oh, uh, in other words, you're, you're questioning the depiction rather than the emotional aspect yes. of it. All right. And Locke is a terrible pirate. And also has terrible timing. I want to know about what love is. <laughs> Maybe it's over there. It's going to make me hurl. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck love. I oppose love. And this is an act of her a necrophile. Yeah. <laughs> Never changes his line. General Leo will always be holding a meeting. <laughs> Alrighty then. That should be a fun. But General Leo's holding, holding a meeting. meeting. <laughs> it's a kid that Dennis from um, Fire Emblem. He just says, I have a message from Lord Nurgle. I hear, I humbly await, we await you at the Dread Isle. That's all he fucking says. Oh. Even as he gets killed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fucking kidding. General Leo is holding a meeting. <laughs> Again. Who said that? What you recall? You know that would be an easy job for him, though, right? Yeah, I might. So what's Shadow going to be wielding this time? Is not it? a goddamn thing. You're not going to give him a damn thing to use? No. What, so what's he going to do? Judo chop? Yeah. <laughs> He's a ninja. He's going to throw a dog at it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Interceptor, go. <laughs> you know why I think they really get away with that? Because that? it has the name. The Masa. Get the Masa. Who say it again? The Masa. It's almost like some sort of, like, it's like Lion Man. I imagine that's Shadow's not, like... That's Mufasa. I imagine, I imagine Shadow's like, you know, that would really help out my defenses. <laughs> <laughs> I love Gaia Gear. You're, I love it too because I've used it with Quake. <laughs> my dog hasn't eaten <laughs> five days. He ate my scroll. Yeah. <laughs> he ate my gear. <laughs> Your underlings are a reflection of what you are. Quite frankly, Sensor is a good Sensor is a nihilist gambler. If he wants you to rest, he'll probably make you walk across a bed of spikes to test fate. Huh? Obvious. Life is a game of chains. <laughs> and no one's judging. <laughs> Alright, cure. Oh, looks like this girl, little girl's injured and. Hey. Ah, hi there! <laughs> doot, 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 doot. And yeah. this here is the Galloping Geezer. Strago? Strago. <laughs> the Galloping Geezer. Go -go. Line. <laughs> Strago, 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 yes. How could he forget a face like that? His nose is beet red, as well as his, uh, his cheeks and a bit of his ear. What, does he have a cold? Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> God, Christ. <laughs> Look, if you're gonna sneeze on anybody, sneeze on Shadow. Hey! <laughs> Shut up, no gear. <laughs> yeah, so I love Realm's theme. I fucking yeah, love this like, Holy shit, I don't remember. Yeah. It was one of those themes, like, I didn't remember, but hearing it again just now, it's like, wow, how did yeah. I not pay attention to this? What a sweet puppy. I'm pretty sure it's Dinner Shadow's own. And Shadow is just rubbing his eyes. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's like, I can't get gear. I lost my dog. <laughs> Fuck this town. <laughs> the dog usually doesn't like people, though. Yeah, oh, seriously. Okay. What's the deal with but that? The Interceptor just likes Realm just fine. Maybe he just needs to be pet the right way. <laughs> <laughs> Interceptor always goes next to Shadow. Aww. But he is his owner, after all. Won't you help? The house is on fire! No. I would go further. <laughs> yeah. like, wait, wait, later. I'm going to kick out of Shadow here. He's like, nope, <laughs> nope. They, nope. Fuckers no, didn't buy no. me armor. Yeah, you know what? I would have been prepared if I had armor. <laughs> but I don't. I'm sorry. I'm not dressed for yeah. the occasion. I'm not dressed for the occasion. <laughs> would you believe these are my pajamas? <laughs> Shadow's got to smell really bad. <laughs> what the fuck was Tara doing? <laughs> I don't <laughs> I think they ended up just cast Meltdown yeah. by accident. 
Jim, did you cast Fira? <laughs> Wait, there's a house full of fucking fire rods? Yeah. What? <laughs> you guys had it coming. I'm just going to say that right now. You guys had it coming. Look at this place. It's all fire and you're alive. Suck on that, Mr. Cush. <laughs> Am I alright? You got third degree burns! <laughs> you asked me! <laughs> we were all in the firehouse realm. <laughs> I'm going to go look up what Fuddy Duddy is. Where did I put my phone? Oh, my phone's nowhere near me. I think I left the phone in your bathroom, too. <laughs> oh, what a Fuddy Duddy. <laughs> Don't misunderstand me. I just wanted my dog back. You're full of shit, Shadow. You're full of shit. Yeah. I'll search for the answers in my own way. He's just going to ask. Have you seen any ass person? No. No. Try this is getting harder than I thought. <laughs> Curses. <laughs> Yeah, we fought these guys early to get our Gaia Gears. Oh, yeah. And I'm pretty sure they're basketballers. <laughs> Not cephalopods. Right. Uh, I was just looking back to like, oh, I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I thought you were an idiot then. I just didn't want to say anything. Yeah. I was like, really, Johnny? The fucking cephalopod is not called cephalopod? <laughs> I was getting, well, it's not, his name was not cephalopod, but it was close to cephalopod. Might as well be. There you go. The cephalopod, which I'm pretty sure is the multi-headed thing up there. No, I'm kidding. It, it's got like six heads total. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. But then again, that's just fine because the Chimera is just a hodgepodge monster. Yeah. God's little cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> the living equivalent of a Long Island iced tea. <laughs> <laughs> and it'll fuck you up? Yeah, it will. <laughs> Yo. Hi, Dad. <laughs> Hi, daughter. Poof. Madu and Sprite looks awfully like the ogre enemies from Final Fantasy V. Right. And, um... Like the Maduine Summer in Final Fantasy IX. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> that looks nothing like it. And for the better. I love Maduine IX. It fucking kills clowns. <laughs> <laughs> so when we last left off... Not in full screen? Not in full screen? Yeah, you're right. I should, I should full screen that video for those that are unaware of what we're talking about here. You shall ever remain in an obliviousness. <laughs> and lo and behold, here they are. Espers. Well, one, anyway. That's a fairy. Maybe you can point us in a direction. Oh, no. This one's into jump scares. <laughs> My dad was your best friend. He was? What a shithead. He owes me 12 bucks. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> ah, how many gills and 12 bucks? <laughs> it was the exchange rate. <laughs> Between gills and bucks. <laughs> What's a buck? Quit, yeah. Kill a deer. Yeah, kill a deer. <laughs> a female deer. But lo and behold, we got to control General Leo. His lips are yellow. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Bunny man. Huh. Please understand me. Peace means I win. Fuck you. <laughs> Please understand. <laughs> oh, God, no. <laughs> I'm setting my betrayal. Directly? <laughs> to you. <laughs> because Emperor and Kafka are going into the sealed gate to look for... up aerobics instructor. Yeah. Shit. Stop! You'll glitch the game! Yeah, seriously. <laughs> I like I that translation of everyone in the original. Edgar, I think, in the original says, here's hoping you're around in eight years. That's yeah, creepy. Yeah, it's pretty creepy. And it's not the only time that happens, too, because there's a girl in uh, Figaro Castle, a young girl around the realm, um, realm's age, saying that the king said, when I grow up, we can get married. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what? Yeah. Is this a pathological dean or is he just a fucking pervert? Uh, I don't know. Uh, 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 <laughs> All right, so now I don't you... think so, Tim. <laughs> Whoa, shit. Oh, crap. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Angel Island, the origin. Essentially. <laughs> so the Master Emerald's a giant magic site? Uh, Master Emerald is the amalgamation of all three statues coming together. Son of a bitch! That's a goddess demi fiend. Wow. Yeah. I didn't think it was that powerful. Fine and dandy. Like so zap them. Candy. Yep. Zap the battle. And I'm showing off all these battles because they are technically mandatory. Right. Oh. You know, you can just, you know, uh, absolute zero. That is the absolute worst. <laughs> 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 and Celeste can't ruin that? Uh... Can she ruin a Gapaloot Zero? I doubt it. I doubt it, and I say that because I don't know the correct answer. 
But that's what corrections are for, survey says. Okay. <laughs> uh, one thing like I, I do like about Six is that each character has their own way of getting into the battle. You know, Celeste always enters the battle looking sort of shocked, like she's being pulled into the battle. Yeah. Uh, like, Tara get me out! Yeah, it's like, oh shit! <laughs> yeah, I don't know what Terra's is, but Rum always looks at the camera and waves. <laughs> you noticed how oh, it yeah. You noticed how it fades to black as I was going into that battle transition? Uh -huh. That's because I just entered the menu as I was hit, as the battle hit me. I was like, <laughs> fuck! <laughs> I wanted Shit. to kill my party. I was like, nope. <laughs> you press the random battle button, buddy. <laughs> Life Shaver is Earth Elemental. It is. And Shadow is not wearing Gaia gear. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh. Ninja Vanish. <laughs> Ninja Face Fault. <laughs> Hey, what's he gonna do with our best stature pressure? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you and good night. Brain pans are only annoying for one attack. They have smirk, which causes stop. They look like they're doing it now. Yeah, well, no. But <laughs> yeah, they are smirking. <laughs> uh, the brain pants facial design. I mean, we ran into a different version of them earlier in the sealed gate. They were right. like different orange colored, but it's like if someone made the Buddha's head an enemy. Exactly. And it was like, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what's in this weed? <laughs> they don't. Look at that. What the fuck are ninjas doing up here? It's like the Shout emperor, out. The emperor has a... No, but... Yeah, good point. <laughs> but the emperor has a ninja... Because if your emperor already has fucking regular warriors... This is a floating continent powered by a warring triad of magical statues. The Come brain pans. Bases. The brain pans. The misfits. The behemoths. Those all make sense because they're fantastical creatures. Our ninja's a ninja. A ninja is a fantastical creature. You're not human. <laughs> They're not. They can't be. <laughs> they must drop all human qualities. They do. Right. Uh, the wall rings are to counteract all his single target magic. Quake is one of his most damaging attacks, but luckily I have Gaia gear on. And Shadow's so floating. I absorb it. Yeah, and Shadow's floating in the air. Because <laughs> he's a ninja? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, ninjas. Dave is not a curl. <laughs> oh! Too bad we're looking the other way to see that. I'll take your sword and stab you with it. By the way, I'm keeping the sword. Doink. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> the Tomberry surprise. And what? Emperor gets all with a fire three. Ah, oh, shit. Probably said it wrong. Neener, neener, neener. <laughs> Stupid fool, it's Faraga. Oh, <laughs> thank you. By the no, way, I know later games go. call it Meltdown, but it'll always be Merton to me. Right. That sounds like a, that's like a name. Ah, Merton. Sounds like, sounds like the fifth kid named in a bloodline. <laughs> like how the first kid's named after an angel and the seventh one's named after a sandwich. <laughs> I love you, Salabi. I love you, Ruben. <laughs> the Emperor is no more. Midgar is dead. I'm sorry, uh, Vector is dead. How dare you. So, Kafka's having none of that shit. And he's rearranging the statues. No! You're a fool! The feng shui! The Ex feng shui! Exactly! My ta my towel will be disturbed. <laughs> uh, my OCD is a-rockin'. My right hand's a-shakin'. <laughs> uh, I gotta get you to stop. Ah, uh, Shadow, home decorator. At your service. Flying from fucking nowhere? I get this shit a 3 out of 10, buddy. Start <laughs> shurikin' at him. The demon's supposed to be here. While Poltergeist <laughs> is over there! By the way, I hope they uh, if the six remakes ever if they they give they make that scene look a little better. Like that looks pretty fucking clumsy. If they stop pushing the statue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously. On the double. But what about Shadow? What about Shadow? Yeah, what about Shadow? You're right. Do you bail on him? Man, fuck that ninja. <laughs> Naughties have cold dust, which freezes you in place. You can thaw them out by casting a, a fire spell. Low level, of course. You don't have to get them out with fire three. <laughs> Guilty. Yeah. <laughs> But, you know, thankfully, Realm can one-shot them for the most part. I think they have 3,000 MP specifically. What's their down on HP? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, damn it. I hit them with the wrong sword. Hey, don't, don't use ice equipment. Don't use ice magic on them. <laughs> <laughs> it's therapeutic. That's like a cold breeze on a hot yeah. <laughs> Hit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he has to announce all of his attacks. <laughs> Fire 2! <two! laughs> Like, ah, shut up! Yeah, right. Oh, Dude. is it the yap, 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 yap? <laughs> All right, we have a minute and 20 to spare. We're at the end of the line. We can jump to the airship. Don't! 
For the love of God, don't. Why not? Because if we do, we can't rescue Shadow in what is do probably the most guy dang it moment of Final Fantasy VI. Shadow is not dead. He's not. All, it's not all for naught. You can rescue him, but you have to wait for the timer to reach five seconds. You're cutting it very close. You gotta wait for Shadow. Yes, sir. Gotta wait for Shadow. We're gonna be here for a little bit. Okay, we're back. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, that's just a, just a little mountainside. Oh, that's just a just a little continent. <laughs> it's still good. It's, it's still, still good. good. It's still good. Crunch. Oh! Ugh, I feel that every time I watch that. You know, are falling. Just lost Children it. are running <laughs> It's around. raining imps. You know, I had, Hang the same on. I had the same reaction to the last concert I went to. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, we're starting anew, folks. Meet our new protagonist, Bird. <laughs> Hatson. <laughs> Hatson the Seagull. Hatson. Sun Hat. Seagull. What? Sun, Sun Hat. Hat. There you go. It would be fun. 6 and 06. <laughs> Final Fantasy 06. <laughs> That's not wrong. <laughs> Apparently, though, Sid and Celeste weren't the only people on the island beforehand. A lot of them died because of despair or boredom. Everything's dying. Plant life. Was that ban animal life. Would that include Bannon? Would that... Yeah. Bannon's dead. Arvis is dead. A lot of returners are dead too. Even even Mook number twenty six. Even Mook number twenty six. Oh! The so Sid's been watching Celeste for the entire year. Unfortunately, Sid's health is not in the best shape it could be. So Celeste wants to change that. We can First, she has to shave that beard off. Yeah. <laughs> she has a beard. Fuck. <laughs> what year is it? <laughs> <laughs> this tears me up every time. The music. The just. The inevitability of it all. Just the helplessness she feels. The sky turning dark. Tears streaming down her eyes when she's falling down. And then she lives. <laughs> she survives that. <laughs> yeah. I mean... <laughs> and then when the camera fades back up, her head is dunked into the sand. With her feet sticking out like turnips. <laughs> you know? It's like, oh. Or more like she passes out like Sonic. Yeah. <laughs> Why did you nurse me back to health? Did I ever ask you to help me? Fucking so, bird. I'm now in an argument with a pigeon. Yeah. <laughs> What's happening? A banana. Yeah. And bandana. Oh, my mistake. His banana flavored bandana. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing you have to do at this point is that's mandatory tower. is you have to recruit Edgar and you have to recruit Setzer to get your airship. After that, you are free to go to the final dungeon at any point you choose. But why would you head to the final jump with a party of three? <laughs> exactly. I mean, possible. I've done it one time. You can. You could also drive a car with your feet. Yeah. Doesn't mean you should do it. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh -huh. Everyone seems to be at a standstill, though. Whatever everyone's looking at. Oh! Ooh. Son of a bitch, another opera. Yeah. <laughs> Kafka is all powerful. Yeah. And whenever he feels like, he brings down the light of judgment. It's kind of like Alexander before Alexander. Even though Is that Alexander Saban? Yeah, that's Saban. He's holding up an entire house. He suplexed trains. What's this? If I move, the whole house will collapse. First, save the child that's in there. Okay, first of all, hold on. You're holding up an entire fucking house? <laughs> I'm Saban. <laughs> I suplex trains. Good point, good point. PM Stalker. PM Stalker to break the fire. Stalker. Hmm? Private Messenger Stalker. Private Messenger <laughs> Stalker. <laughs> I want to know when you're gonna play Sonic 06 for a channel again. And they love to engage in small talk. Uh, but you know, you don't have to do this now. I mean, nothing stopping you. Later. Yeah, you can go. You can do this later. I do this now because Zen is right there, and That's I always exactly do. That's exactly why I did it. Yeah, you know, nothing stopping you from crossing the bridge to the right and going to um the Nikea <laughs> to go recruit the Nikea. Yeah. To go recruit Edgar, you would or have your to, shoes. You have to do a little backtracking, of course, but you don't have to do this now. Yeah, you can easily build your own shoes over at Ikea and come back here. Absolutely. It's like, <laughs> the house is falling. We need more supplies. <laughs> <laughs> like, we'll build the foundation from scratch. Zabin, hold it up for like, can you do 20 minutes? Ugh. Pearl Rod is a holy elemental rod. You break it, it casts holy. Right. Or this game calls it Pearl. 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 Yeah, I'll give you a pearl necklace. Oh. Uh. That's a dirty victory. Yeah. <laughs> but a victory nonetheless. 
Yeah, right. Like you say. <laughs> yeah. A bugly win is still a win. Yeah. But then it's just like rubbing your nuts <laughs> on somebody. <laughs> That's rubbing cum in the victim's wounds. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, at the same time as I'm playing this, I'm also playing the advanced version to prepare for the advanced stuff. All right. You got any special requests for names? Dongs. Dongs for what character? All of them. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> dongs one. <laughs> Fine. Dongs one. Dongs two. Dongs sixteen. <laughs> Dong the first. Dong the third. <laughs> <laughs> Don't actually. <laughs> Fun fact, this continent that I'm about to travel onto is the Serpent Trench. Right. The area that we were swimming underwater when we were escaping the belt. Now it's above. And there's ice cream! <laughs> <laughs> ice cream! And Saber runs off in the other direction. Like, yeah. so like what, what, where are you going? I must suplex it. He's going to suplex the ice cream truck. Damn right. Get all the fuddy duddies inside the freezer. <laughs> See, spins like in place and releases these, these crescents. Yeah. Yeah. They're pretty cool. So anyway, during that battle, there. Saban died and became an imp. <laughs> Shit. A dead imp. You're a Kappa, Saban. He, they, it was too much for him to take. Yeah. And <laughs> he fainted. <laughs> How are you going to that one to Edgar? What happened to my brother? Edgar, have a drink. That's Celeste? Boy, I got it. No, it's Saban. Oh. The Kappa, Saban. I was talking about Boy, Saban. I got a story to tell. Why would Celeste sound like that? <laughs> Fuck or since death really hit her heart. Yeah, it did. Grandpa, no! <laughs> <laughs> Tara! Hey! Mama? Oh, she already took a mob name. Shit. She's Big Mama. Nah. <laughs> not, not, not the Martin Lawrence character. I mean, Metal Gear. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> But Dwayne and Katarn are still alive. Young lovebirds around the age of 16, 17, I believe. But now Katarn is, pre Katarn is pregnant. Oh, congratulations. What a world to be born into. Yeah, I know. Boy or girl or an imp? <laughs> Boy or girl or Kappa? Kafka? Kappa, <laughs> Kappa. <laughs> Please say it's Kafka. He'll, he'll bring the light of judgment again. <laughs> and in case you didn't get it before, Terry gives us some lovely exposition right here. Fumbaba no was an ancient demon dance. who was released when the world was undone. Thanks, she, Tara. She looks like she just stripped into a swimsuit. Yeah. <laughs> and we are now making our way to the op opposite end of the Serpent Trench. What's over there? Nikea. Oh. Gotta buy that lamp. Just do it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Shia. <laughs> Plenty of gill for the Chocobo Stable and Chocobo Rides. Chocobo, Chocobo, Chocobo. The you could ride this Chocobo? Queer. Quit, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> too weak, too weak. Anyway. Work, work motherfucker. Work. <laughs> it's a lot faster. Ah, I see it. Ah, that looks like a tower. Another tower. There's so many towers in this place. World room on my ass. And it's a flat as a piece of paper. <laughs> no, it's just the mode 7. <laughs> First you mode 7. Yeah. Always turning everything to paper. Aaron and I have been playing Paper Mario. Let's see, the only two we have were Sid, who you willingly killed, and Edgar. I'm sure I could find at least one of those here. And kill him too? Yes. Monster. <laughs> Got a rotten fish in my pocket. My <laughs> no! <laughs> I got a, is that a rotten fish in my pocket, or am I happy to kill you? <laughs> <laughs> the answer is C. All the above. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at all these bandits here. We entered the castle through the secret passage. <laughs> Dad, I'm the best thief in the world. Dad, I'm gonna steal that wallet over there. <laughs> Hope no one sees me. <laughs> you know, it took me the longest time to figure out that Gerard was an anagram. For Edgar. <laughs> For Edgar. It's like, I feel like a dunce. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I figured that out? Just now. <laughs> I was like, play cool, Matt, play cool. <laughs> <laughs> so we're stowaways on a ship. What do we do with a drunk sir? What do we do with a drunk sir? What do we do with a... Save it, shout! <laughs> but I love that song. Meanwhile, it sounds like somebody's taking a hammer to an organ. <laughs> <laughs> Try to swat a fly. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> 
It's a lighter treasure chest. Burn down our town 100 times. We'll rebuild it 100 times. Pew! <laughs> Make that 101, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Al! Why'd you say that? I'm so relieved to know my grandchild is alive. Oh, that's nice. He's finally off the cider. <laughs> <laughs> well, I imagine the apocalypse will put some priorities in order. Yeah. Some. Or maybe he just sees the grandchild as a giant bottle of cider. <laughs> uh, Isn't that right, cider? <laughs> Grandpa, you're drunk again. Man, I gotta tell you, for an apocalypse, nothing was really destroyed except for Mobliz. <laughs> so Kefka did nothing. I think Kefka just focused all his attention on Mobliz. Kefka just feng shui the planet. Yeah. <laughs> put this here, put this here. And that's where the serpent trench. I have to do this every year, otherwise I lose my mind. Oh, wait a minute! <laughs> <laughs> hey, little shit. Yeah, fuck you, Gerard. I had booby tassels on and everything. <laughs> Edgar would have liked this. You're Gerard. <laughs> I guess he's not real. Or sterile. Oh, if Gerard were so alive, I would totally sleep with him. <laughs> I mean, I would have rocked the bed so hard. Oh, well. And then Gerard, before he goes to be up with the thieves, is just stamping and <laughs> But relatively intact, structurally, in the inside... And was that Siegfried I just saw right there? Oh, no, it was Dante. Fuck! <laughs> oh, Dante. All right, we got neck hunters, crawlers, and humpties. Physically grotesque enemies, if I've no ever shit. seen one or anything like that. Yeah, look at the bitch tits on the humpties. But, yeah, um, back titties, side titties, <laughs> front titties, He's all titty. <laughs> he is a titty. You are 100% titty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I still, to this day, don't know what they are. You know, you get the tit monster. That's really easy to distinguish. <laughs> but uh, it's hard. It's hard, to, it's hard to ignore a set. It's hard to ignore a big set of hooters. <laughs> in pairs of two or three, four if you're lucky. Three. Then you're wondering if you're at a uh, Total Recall. <laughs> but uh, that's all the Total Recall seems to be known about the three titty woman. The three woman. titty woman. And then again, in all fairness, how do you have Total Recall yeah. without the three titty woman? <laughs> now we're heading into the lower left staircase. When we tried to head here earlier, the guy that trans the uh, that handled the castle movements always stopped us from going down there. Saying now he can't stop us, so when we go. Yeah, so... we just go neener, neener, neener? Yeah, it's like... <laughs> it's, it's dangerous. Look, on the war triad. Yeah. <laughs> the one finger salute. <laughs> From you to me. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Strike that, reverse it. <laughs> What'd you say? You need another war triad. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh... Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> Edgar? Oh, what are you waiting for, Celeste? Give me a hand! Oh, you son of a bitch. I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna give you a hand. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> My Reebok deny your tentacle grabbage. And now I'm gonna take a nap. <laughs> oh, God, I'm wanting to grow my legs. Yeah. <laughs> These tentacles are comfy. <laughs> Huzzah! We saved the engine. Warwick and Edgar Warwick. gives us the one finger salute <laughs> for Warwick Triad. <laughs> oh no, the bitch tit three. Let's count the bitch tits. One, one two, bitch two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. Oh, the bitch oh, just keeps six, going six, and doesn't six, stop. <laughs> Hail King Edgar. What about King Saban? Yeah. You gave it up. You gave it up, remember. Hail Loser. Now shut up and take your crystal crown. <laughs> and I believe we are missing just one last tool that we're not going to get until we go up a certain tower. Yeah, right. right. To the military. There you go. Pretty handy when you, like, you need a certain magic spell to be cast and they're not afraid they of it. They don't want to fucking... It's a nice way to pick around a weakness, too. Yeah. It's like, I'm not afraid of fire. Fuck you. Yeah, you are. <laughs> You're weak to fire. Okay, weak to fire. <laughs> Wait, the defibrillators is what it's called? The debilitator. The defibrillator <laughs> it makes the room less human. <laughs> the ordain just it revives you. <laughs> You're weak to ice. You're weak to ice. Clear. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Actually, he's weak to electricity now. Yeah. <laughs> so now we are now piloting a castle. Something that wouldn't be seen again until Final Fantasy VIII when you piloted a college campus. <laughs> Black Military the, Academy. Did it just grow four wheels and just drive off? No, it just no. the halo that was on top of it went under it and then it became a levitation device. <laughs> And, and Saban's like, really? I got 8.30. Shut up, Saban. <laughs> we got a dog. And so I was like, I, I see an ass. <laughs> uh, I got an ass. <laughs> Noon. And it looks like Falk came to the village. Yeah. 
falls everywhere now. <laughs> yeah, did the world destroy? Oh, yeah. Are we sure the world crumbled or did the seasons just change? Could be. Perhaps the seasonal <laughs> change is the equivalent of the apocalypse to the townspeople. I like I like to see the trees wither and die. Uh, Thanks, Chopper. <laughs> uh, Sensor will comment that he found the wreckage of the falcon. Okay. He restored it and put it where I did, the tomb I was. I literally did miss that point. Okay. Yeah. Sensor uh, blacked out. Yeah, I was like, uh, wait, where was Daryl's tomb? <laughs> Not counting the axle rays, they 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 look like flowers. I wouldn't classify them as weeds. Is that light? What seven flush? Yeah, seven flush is not elemental. Okay. But I is it, it was a holy attack glorious? For some it's like a fabulous flare. <laughs> Jackpot! Really, <Sensor? laughs> Oh, he's already getting his spirit up. Oh, that's seri another serious mace day, Marlboro. Or in or this in game, Mad Oscar. Oscar. Because <laughs> it does look like Oscar the Grouch. <laughs> Do they give AP or something? Uh, I, you know, I don't know. It's kind of like You monster! These things can't even blink and you flash them with photography? Damn right! <laughs> Their eyes become bloodshot. They scream in terror. And then I roast them. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, oh, the turkeys? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I missed the first time there, but... Give it some time. Give the only time. thing about the Coliseum mechanics, however, is you are completely at the mercy of your AI roulette. Yes. So, one, so despite... Oh, it's not immune to Doom. Nope. Nice! And, and he commits got... suicide! <laughs> and there's like a whole bunch of people that are ripping up their tickets. Like, <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Dullahan is known as a monster and famous lore for not having a head. And uh, here's yeah, his head. Here's his head. Oops. And here's my drill. <laughs> you know what? I have to confess, I goofed. I didn't realize Setzer actually fell down because if you look at that little debris there where his head is facing, yeah, I thought that was his legs. <laughs> so he's like, this. <laughs> ow. <laughs> and Setzer eats dirt. <laughs> Setzer sleeps with Daryl. <laughs> oh damn! <laughs> it looks like a dick. Wah, 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 wah. Oh, there's nothing like flying. Really should get your paint job checked in the Falcon, Daryl. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Set, this is a really powerful story told with such minimalist detail. I imagine if we got a 6 remake that would show Daryl's plane crashing and burning, which would add, I guess, a little bit more in terms of showing without telling, but you can do just fine when you tell and don't show. Yeah. Like, that right there was the perfect way to show. But, you know, because Daryl's fate was uh, relatively vague, uh, I, I think it's pretty cut clear that she's dead. A lot of rumors going about. You or know, she pulled an Amelia Earhart and got lost. The <laughs> there, there are rumors going about for years. By the way, pay attention to the geography here on the map. We're rising through the Falcon, and we just flew past Daryl's tomb. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> so we went down south a fuckload of miles to the east just to go back to the west. Could it be possible? No, I didn't... You know, for a... You know, Daryl's tomb is pretty meaty for a tomb. I don't think we traveled that far to the east. How long were those stairs? <laughs> 5,180 steps less. <laughs> Seth, I'm going to have to keep that shit to yourself right there. Step mine's going to do so much damage. Follow that dove! What? It's a bird. <laughs> I know what I said. <laughs> hey, Setzer, follow this bird! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which way is it going? I don't know! It's telling me to go this way! <laughs> Better have a darn good excuse for keeping us waiting a whole day, buster! Yeah, okay, well, I wasn't sure if we were going in with proper attire or not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you remember Lola? We, uh, we mailed her letters back when uh, Mobiles was doing just fine from his boyfriend. But, uh, the, la the last letter that we just read, Tan writing looked remarkably like science. It did. How are thou? Called Mr. Thou. Yeah, that's there's thou's name. all over here. It's kind of a dead giveaway. Called Mr. Thou. That's, that's my, my name. name. That name David again is, is Mr. Mr. Thou. thou. Huh? <laughs> fuck the Thou King. <laughs> Would you like me to teach you about Bushido with the bedroom? Yeah. <laughs> it's a book of secrets. <laughs> <laughs> there's a dragon in the stage. That's a dragon? Yeah, that's a dragon. You know what I would have loved? I know that this is really supposed to be a serious thing here, but can you imagine this thing hamming it up? Yeah. <laughs> it was a, it's I would have loved it if this it's thing... It's a soprano. Right I would have loved... 
exactly. Yeah. I would have loved some soprano from this thing beforehand. This I is am dead again. Hey, the dead again. I've got a surge of hell. Oh shit! Oh you shit! <laughs> You absorbed my magic? That's not quite bueno. And now you are a robot! <laughs> <laughs> but they make a homage to him saying that this dragon was what may have been known as one of le eight legendary dragons. Uh -huh. Which is a nice little homage. And what the fuck happened to Saban? The Saban got hit with a horned tusk. And Edgar is dead in the air! And Edgar's dead in the air. <laughs> <laughs> this bed is so comfy. <laughs> I, so I feel like I'm sleeping on a feather. <laughs> But anyway, with enough with enough pressure and damage, he destroyed the dirt Tyrannos Tyrannosaurus. I said Tyrannosaurus. Yeah, Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> I had such a terrible habit of, putting, of saying the wrong fucking word. Seven dragons left. That who was said our that? first. Yeah, who did say that? Seven dragons left. If you kill them, they will come. That's a fucking terrible uh, forewarning. Did you guys hear that? If they if we kill someone, someone will come. Ew. <laughs> yeah, no. How gross. <laughs> if, that we just, was if, if we destroy, <laughs> he will come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they yeah they got a lot to learn. Yeah, but Fun Baba is back. You gotta come with me. Oh, is for God's sake! Is the impresario directing this? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, such a startling turn of events! <laughs> Fun Baba is here to shit on their parade. Well, Fun Baba uh, is fucking fat. Yeah, you guys got a beer belly. We fought him earlier. Beer belly? That thing looks like a fucking keg belly. Yeah, that's like that's a, that's a damn keg, and he's got scrawny looking legs. Now he's weak against pearl power. So you're gonna come on him? No. Enjoy a pearl necklace, Fun Baba. <laughs> motherfucker! <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I like Hum Baba better. <laughs> This guy's gonna die. Do you think Setzer pulls that rabbit out of his coat whenever he fucks up the slots? He doesn't have a hat. Out of his coat? I've heard of hat tricks, not coat tricks. You've got a lot to learn in life. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's fine. Edgar wasn't gonna be really useful. I fucked up my gameplay and story integration, though, once when I did this. What's up? Terror had, like, less than a thousand HP, and his first attack was Blowfish. Oh. <laughs> Right on, Fuck Tara. you and your will to fight. <laughs> Essentially. Yeah. I wouldn't leave this battle in unless I didn't die. Unless I died. Yeah, I do Funny love timing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Carbuncle. Fuck you, Carbuncle. <laughs> I try to heal myself. No! <laughs> Until... A lone child sees the emperor without clues. I badly miss. I badly fucking metaphored. <laughs> when you see the emperor without clothes, you realize, oh, he's human too. <laughs> A little too human. <laughs> <laughs> That's really nice. Anybody here to sell me relics? Oh, I'm fucking tired. <laughs> Turn this music off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh wait, there's a damn record player behind me. <laughs> When you attack them, they're supposed to sometimes counter with Cure 2 to heal themselves. But the way their battle scripts are act, uh, work in this game, they heal you instead. She is a real darling. Yeah, a real darling that kind of likes it when we hit her. So, uh, creepy. There you go. Kind of really bad suggestion, but like I said at the same time, it's just all a matter of the script. Yeah, it's a script on. error. She's darling is supposed to heal herself with Cure 2. Right. Uh, but she heals you instead. By the way, and Sam is just like, deal with it. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, babe. <laughs> but, yeah, okay. Now nah, I'm pretty much invincible for the rest of the fight. I just like that. <laughs> yeah, th there's there's a physical object being thrown at me. There's a physical reaction, miss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> the thing about pain is that you just have to learn to ignore it. If it doesn't, if it doesn't <laughs> hurt you, can it hurt? <laughs> But it's a soul dancer with four... It's like, oh, it's a crazy cat lady! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really think about that. Come here and play with my little kitty. I'm so lonely. Jensen, Jensen the second, Jensen the third, and Mark. Fuck it. <laughs> Take that, crazy cat lady. <laughs> Nah, that's about it. I named this one Johnny, and this one Elliot, and this one Mark, and this one Steve. 
Johnny's ready to kill me. Yeah, no, it's more like that. The, the tone kind of creeped me out. <laughs> what if you like? What if this one Soul Dancer had like a particular AI script where once you killed the cast, it responded with Ultima? Oh. <laughs> I can see some six. I can see some jerk off six hard mode mod doing that shit. So you can have your all out assault planned, Ouch. and then he transforms, and you're all out assault hitting the female. And Edgar was struck by lightning. <laughs> With the appropriate results. Ouch. If for some reason you drain all of Chattanooks M uh, HP while the female's out, the battle resets. Uh, and I think someone scolded you saying, no, 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 you have to attack the demon. Right. So, don't wait. You see, look at that. He transformed and then transformed immediately back. Oh, fuck, I'm out of here. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> it's like oh, shit. You look, look at that. Look at that one guy right there. He looks like he wants to beat me up. A good morrow to you all. Saturday okay, morning. To indeed, bro. What are we up to now? Alrighty then. What shenanigans are we getting ourselves into? So when we last left off, we recruited Realm to the party and torched the painting. <laughs> Everyone's a critic. <laughs> <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's finally time we transition into the advanced version of Final Fantasy VI. Uh -huh. But it does absorb water. And here we are. The advanced Whoa. version of Final Fantasy VI. Blurry. Yeah, bl well, because it's a Game Boy Advance game. Yeah. Our ship gets ransacked. We get attacked by Leviathan. I'm getting s memories. Of you too? Yeah. It's I like just thought the same thing. I was like, oh, fuck. So he got it again? Yeah. <laughs> Leviathan is shipping enough to be the patron saint of dicks to sailors. <laughs> and he's a giant dick that loves El Nino. I got three big magic casters along with Edgar and his tools. A tool? This will be a... Yeah, <laughs> Edgar's, a giant, <laughs> Edgar's a giant tool. No, you Edgar, mean... how did you miss impaling him with a chainsaw? I don't, don't know. know. I don't think he's impressed with my Jason's mask. <laughs> but they seem to be doing just fine. Hey, pickpocket. What kind of a name was that to have? Well, we'd never ask his name. We just know him by uh, his job. <laughs> In quotes. Realm lost 500 kill. Yes, son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Yes, son of a pick. Test rider? Test Rider is uh, pretty much another humanoid demon. Who looks fucking nasty as fuck. He's got a skull dangling from his damn staff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. I didn't notice that. The, the pickpocket already alluded to it, but uh, there's a Moogle left in Narsh, and we, there's only one new Moogle we know. No, it's not Realm. Fuck. <laughs> then, oh. <laughs> you're a Moogle in my heart, sweetie. <laughs> but you're not the Moogle we're looking for. Exome? Exome. Will it work? Fuck no. <laughs> I you, it won't. <laughs> I banish you to uh, Narsh. <laughs> it's the equivalent of trying to banish somebody to the Shadow Realm in this game. Yeah, they don't believe in it. <laughs> how do I? I don't know how to make out these wizards' faces. Uh, yeah, I see turtle, the eyes. I see turtle, bird, and butt. Yeah, no, I see turtle with Bane's mask. <laughs> right. You are merely born here to the world of ruin. You really came you to the really world of ruin. You really adopted the world of ruin. I was born. I was born it. in it. Molded, molded right. by it. I which also makes you like a one year. Like <laughs> which also makes you one year old. <laughs> Johnny, wait, I think you're missing two things here. Oh, we talking about? Aren't there a pair of experts you're getting? Oh, you're right. But unfortunately, it's behind a locked door. We need a fucking <laughs> lock pick. <laughs> ah, pun. Locked door. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> you would think with the power you have now, that would be a fucking triviality. Yeah, you know, get summoned golem. Hey, punch this door for me. And they just block your damage. Yeah. <laughs> the door fights back. Uh, the only encounter that I'm not showing off in the caverns right now, but I'll, re I'll show it off later when we get back to Narsh. Who's that? Is, uh, that's, that's another dragon. That's a oh, damn it! Absolute, Absolute zero. zero. Absolute blows! God damn! Mog! <laughs> no! Where are you, Mog? No, you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and a new dance. Yeah, we got we got uh, Mog's last dance, the Snowman Jazz. Sno what's it called? The Snowman Jazz. That's catchy as fuck. I love the name of that. Snowman Jazz. I don't remember what it was called in the advanced translation. Maybe it was the same game. Uh, the same name. But, uh... I'm gonna learn the scat dance! No, you won't! No, you're not. <laughs> you will learn the Snowman Jazz. Play me off, Frosty. Oh, <laughs> I was kind of waiting to see how far you would go with that. Now we understand that this thing is a proper Esper. 
We're gonna, gonna the kick the out. shit out of it. We're gonna defrost it and tell, hey, you fucker. It's like, you're the, you, you caused all this. You know, the, the, the Empire was after you. Sent me after your ass. I lost my mind. I was conflicted for a while. The world went to boom. The world went to boom boom because of the events that transpired thanks to your ass. I'm gonna melt you. I'm gonna pimp slap you. And then I'm gonna freeze you again. Pimp slap it. Yeah. <laughs> Put some, you know, sprinkle. Lord, got my pimp hand that make it strong, Lord. <laughs> so this may, Espa may learn a hose place. Amen. Swap. <laughs> it's, like, it's a swap. <laughs> yes, I did. Monster in the box. Pugs. Oh, Tom oh, no. <laughs> and since I'm in invisible status, their physical attacks aren't hurting me. But if you have Gogo here and you need to learn Step Mind, there you go. Yeah. Uh, oh, you mean Strago? Strago. Stray, stray Gogo. -go. <laughs> there you go. That's a nice little workaround between that. Yep. So now Celeste and Terra have the maneuver boost ears. By the way, it's armor exclusive to them. Are you sure you can't wager that? Uh, if you can, uh, again, I don't, I don't know the answer to that because we record these sessions in groups. <laughs> so whatever time. answer I gave to you back in the first part still applies now. And I forgot I asked, I asked an answer that. I'm so yeah. sorry. <laughs> Survey says. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm your boss, Kupo. You're going to listen to us, Kupo. Okay. And that's also? That's pretty much all to it. Fucking sweet. This is Umaro, our Sasquatch. Myra Bone Carbon's as strong as a Gigas. A Sasquatch with muscle. Something you don't really need, but he's nice to have for physical power, even though he's really kind of useless. He's the berserker of this game. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go, Matt. We don't. We don't. <laughs> <laughs> dogs! No slouching now. Oh, I love you, bro. <laughs> I thought his name was Umaro. No, it's dogs now. He's got to earn Umaro. <laughs> Don't, Don't you remember, remember you told me you loved me, baby? Fuck! <laughs> ah! Oh, cool. <laughs> then over our joyride and this ass. Oh, Doom Gaze. Hey, how you doing, buddy? But the okay. thing about the encounters in this cave system is that they all have auto reflect. Uh, except for Mast Master Pug. <laughs> Tony, I thought we talked about this. <laughs> I thought, we, I, thought, I thought you were supposed Tony, to get lost after you were by combat. Tell me, who did you now hate to run into more? Now I'm gonna beat you more? so hard, you're gonna be left with nothing more than a cry in the night. Let me ask you, son. If you were in a dark room and you felt this thing was the only thing between you and certain death, what would make you cry and feel more? Master Tombe or Master Pug? <laughs> it's Tombe, right? I think we should go with Tombe for the next meeting. Yeah. Ten character fights later, and I have all my tier three magics with Terra only, because I only grinded Terra. I didn't want to. I didn't want to waste all that time grinding everybody up. I would have at least gotten the threes on Terra, Celeste, and uh, Realm. I, uh, I that's what I usually do. Terra will be enough for the fight and for uh, every other battle. Sure. Up, up. I also get the uh, threes on a uh, Strago, just in worst case scenario. Yeah. Well, uh, if I got it on Terra and Realm already, that's already kind of over. Seven on the other hand, it's not going to get anything past one. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's not just a matter of being holy into Munzel, it just has a lot of battle power. So right. you can lay on the pain. Really short amounts, too. Lay on the holy damage. Lay on the holy power. Bless them. Pearl, <laughs> bless ya. <laughs> <laughs> I now have the image of a Pope doing that shit. A War Pope. The War Pope? Yeah. <laughs> Let he who's without sin kick the first ass. I, I, I'm just making fun of that. We, don't, we, don't, we never bad. get... We get a, we never get a name with this of uh, this castle, but I always called it Baron because, yeah. If you looked at it like that way, it looked like um, Odin was on like one of those sticks, those little metal poles, and the thing just rides out like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no he doesn't be. like being confused. Ah, uh, so give him a confuse or muddle his brain. Muddle as this game calls it. He's seeing birds in the air. He hates birds. He's trying to swat the birds away, and while doing that, he kills himself. <laughs> And there you go. Uh, hell, man, we could just think of nicknames for all these characters. I mean, well, throughout the years, well, throughout the Final Fantasies that we play, any character that sticks out normally, Cecil's a Jinx, Edgar's a Lightning Rod, mm -hmm. uh, Ed, Edge is a Corpse, Rom's a Brat, Rab's a Brat. That's all I can think of him anyway, because Edgar really doesn't like Lightning. So he's saying, Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I thought attack was called Mirror Orb! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Ah, you know, I just noticed those two mounted cannons on the bottom of the sprite. You didn't? No, I, I always noticed the spider legs first. Right. And its head. Its but head I looks just, like a penis. Yeah, it kind of like, it has two dicks. <laughs> <laughs> double the barrel, double the pleasure. <laughs> I'm shooting blanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's Zozo. Oh, this miserable shit town. No, you mean the best place on earth. Fuck yeah. Actually, no, it's a shithole. No, it's a really good town. No, it's actually a shithole. No, it's really good. You're a liar. Fuck him not. You're a liar. <laughs> Don't listen to this man. He speaks lies. I tell the truth. No, I tell the truth, and he speaks lies. <laughs> and someone's head explodes. <laughs> Earth just gonna go fuck itself. What the hell is it gonna do with my money? What is a bear gonna do with GP? Gamble. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ask a simple question. <laughs> <laughs> Get a simple answer. What else is it gonna do? I don't know. Well, we're race? we're gonna gamble. Where's the casino around here? Oh, new ship. The airship. Right. <laughs> don't let that bear in. <laughs> well, yeah, because it's been a while since I actually fought these things, and, and uh, your my video shat the, the bed. bed there for a second. The audience is not gonna see that, but uh, just to give you guys a sample of what just happened. There you go. Okay, we're moving on. That's kind of freaky. I was like, did I activate the sketch glitch? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I didn't even act. I didn't even do sketch. You don't need to do. You don't need to learn the sketch glitch <laughs> to be Victor. <laughs> the world before the fall. Delightful is the light of dawn. Noble is the heart of man. Okay. I don't understand that text box. Is he saying that to himself? I don't know. Could be what's in the letter. It sounds like you're alive. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, looks like Cyan's a little embarrassed. I'd be pretty embarrassed, too, if they found out I was being some massive creeper. <laughs> he's hiding. He's, I think he's, like, stashing away the roses. I always took it and he's eating it. <laughs> it's like, no, they're not really here. <laughs> His mouth is bleeding from it. <laughs> what roses? Oh, he's a... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> of uh, Bushido in the caverns here. <laughs> book of Secrets. It's not a book of secrets. It's not a book of secrets. No, it's not a book of secrets. Like, and, as you know, we make the joke plenty of times in the advanced translation and the original translation, that is Bushido in the bedroom. <laughs> May I ask, why is he reading that? I'll tell you when you get older. No, uh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you you gotta be 50 to learn that shit? <laughs> what the hell? But, uh, but she the some things can, there are some things in life we can only learn with age, bro. What is he reading the Karma Sutra by himself? You got, hey, you're lonely. You got some time to fucking learn. What things. if I try cartwheeling while masturbating? Hey, you can. Hey, they have pictures of that shit because <laughs> the Karma Sutra is made by people who have no idea what the fuck. I, 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 I know, I know. I get it. He's re he's getting ready for the rebound, but you know, isn't that something you read after you hook up? No. You can read it yourself. Oh, oh hello. Mark. Do you want to read Bushido in the bedroom? <laughs> you are pretty much impervious to everything except for unblockable magic attacks. So that's a Meteor, Ultima, Meltdown, and the like. But those are rare attacks already. What's up? What are you laughing at? I just saw Terra Starlight. I was like, what, she has a job now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Celeste, try talk. <laughs> this, this episode has been brought to you by Saints Row the Third. When you feel like somebody definitely deserves a punch in the dick. Because that's what this chapter is going to be about. Punching Cyan in the dick again. Yeah. <laughs> this episode is dedicated to Cyan, folks. And punching him in the dick. And punching him in the dick. <laughs> and then recovering from said dick punch. <laughs> what? Ha! The three dream stooges. Uh... What if Ted Woolsey had, like, a really competent translation that saw this and went, fuck it. <laughs> no, no, no. That's what he said. He I, saw how did we get in this dream? We, I think we're dreaming right now. Okay. That Otherwise, I don't know how it makes any sense we jump right into the Seattle's ear canal and just go right into his head. <laughs> God damn. You know? Party crew. You know, hey, we're making our own context. Where's Might? Where's Might? Or, yeah, Might. Yeah, but the Allosaurus isn't really that special, though. There's also parasites, another encounter I'm not showing off until... That well, would be, uh, science crabs. <laughs> Should work on them. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't practice safe Bushido with the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs>
well, in terms of like gimmick, they have a Delta attack, oh, which uh, is <laughs> what. Curly slaps you, but pokes out your eyes, and one of the back slaps you on the back of the head. Complete with the sound effects. Yeah. Fuck yeah, I love that. <laughs> that should totally be the Delta attack for the Mega Sisters at thirteen and fifteen. Why you? <laughs> We're gonna poke more right between his eyes. <laughs> and he flipped you off for it. Womp 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 womp. Pop! Oh, Christ. <laughs> I, I, no, that wasn't very subtle, though. Like, I know Woosley wants to have some fun, but Jesus Christ. I knew that son of a bitch was up to something. Kyan's uh, wisdom and experience. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Rain Man. I like it. We're going to hell. Place a bitch in Game of Jeopardy. Going to hell. I know we're going to hell, man. Right to hell. <laughs> well, if you, if you think about it, we already sort of is some sort of personal hell. Oh no, and after this, we're getting the fire. And there's a train in here. <laughs> there's an expressway to hell. <laughs> Anything that you grab onto in the dream realm, you take with you to the real realm. So, now we have samurais again, which represents science, Bushido, and profession. Yeah. Yeah. Ow. And uh, samurai uh, represents what happens when you take a direct shot with a sword. <laughs> you could die. Sign would be proud. Yeah. The Bushido in my ass. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> what? It's a sex book. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Bushido in the butthole. <laughs> it sounds like it's a sex book written by a five-year-old. <laughs> Bushido in the <my> butthole. <laughs> oh God <laughs> Almighty! Ooh, is that Bushido in my butthole, Volume Two? <laughs> For the volume two? I'm looking for the coffee table edition. <laughs> oh, God almighty. How do you have that in the doctor's office? <laughs> there we go. I think we just flicked this one switch to make the crates go upwards. There we go. Now we can go around the other way. Go up. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, you. Oh, More th than it's anything. Th so yeah, stop. Do you have a speech impediment? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I love this, man. <laughs> goes, Apparently, this is all a giant fucking emotional bank for Rexol to feast on. Yeah, hell yeah. This, this guy has a bendy straw with a mug that says Cyan Soul on it. He's surfing out science brains. Yeah. <laughs> slurp, slurp. Realm, stop it. I'm trying to kill you. Rexol could be inside your body. Hell. Uh, I, I, I performing an exorcism. It's pretty much. Unleash the. Realm! Fuck's sake! Stop that! This is for the greater good! You have to die, sweetie. You have to die, sweetie! For Rexhold to be- You can't even off yourself, Realm! I cannot self-terminate. <laughs> <laughs> so, you kill the character that Rexhold's possessing and Rexhold pops up. Now it's your time to lay it- Oh, fuck, he absorbs fire. Uh, now it's your time <laughs> to really lay it on him. So get out of nowhere, Edgar just went- <laughs> <laughs> He wakes up. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong, Edgar? <laughs> wow, but, uh, you're really shit shots with your lightning. Who are you? I'm gonna wreck you. <laughs> wreck your soul. Yeah, wreck your soul. I'm gonna wreck your face. I like how Ron with the twos keeps up with the ladies in their threes. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler warning: We're not running into a door in this venture. I did run into it on my revisit to this place because mm -hmm. I figured I'd try to show it off. And uh, the battle ended up not being very interesting. He didn't that even figures. do anything. He didn't do anything? No. It was like he didn't do anything. And I looked up the attack script. And I think like 33% of the time it can choose to do nothing. And I'm guessing I just got lucky enough so that 33% of the time it chose nothing all the time. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> the heads had a big disagreement with themselves. Yeah, they were bickering. <laughs> yeah, they are like bickering animals with each other. I want to fight the meathead. I want to fight the old one. I want to eat the girl. You always want to eat the girl. There is no girl. Paired with Gao's stray cat rage. Oh, wait, by the way, I love this. Pay attention to Saban. There you go. <laughs> Do you think everybody really just, like, tickled his nose with the whipped cream in his hand? Yeah. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Interceptor attack. <laughs> oh, we noticed to the north of uh, Thamaza. See, it's a, a, a small island it surfaced. Hmm, must be nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Yeah. Because I wanted to learn the IO rate. Hey, 
Hey, shadow coupon? Are you Shadow or Coupon? <laughs> what if it's a Shadow coupon? <laughs> Good for what? He's floating. Why is he floating? <laughs> I'm a ghost. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Saban is the only one that really interacts with Gal in this part. You're trying to housebreak Gal? Uh, yes. Meanwhile, Shadow's sitting down having a drink. Yeah. Or is he clipping through He's the chair? He's clipping through the chair. Shadow's going to be doing a lot of things over this cutscene. He's clipping through a chair right here, and I think earlier he was taking a nap. <laughs> I was like, these motherfuckers. So basically, Gal meets his father, who's going senile over the world ending and all. Can't blame him on that one. That wouldn't even say the world ending. He's, you know, that, that guy's been kooky since the world of balance. Oh, Christ. Remember, he's thinking we're the repairman. Nothing needs to be repaired. And uh, it, it, the fact that the old man doesn't seem to recognize or care that his son's alive enrages Saban. But uh, Gal, I think... Gal lived. Gal lived with his... Gal can now go back home with his true parents. A Rios and a bomb. Yeah. <laughs> quite a temper on the bomb, though. Yeah, Oof. yeah. The bomb is, yeah, quite... Yeah, you know, time of the month. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going to hell. So why are we fighting this thing? Well, no, it's not because of cold dust. It can, I can care less about its Altoids fused breath. I imagine it just said you must be frozen with its mouth. What are you being eaten? In golf. It, it swallowed a dong. Yeah. <laughs> you like the giant <laughs> vagina worm swallowed dong. You like swallowing dongs, don't you? Oh. Zone eater. I got eaten. I hate life. Fuck you. I'm gonna push you off and make you suffer like I did. Well, it's a good thing they don't really care about the treasure chest in that case. Then again, what are they going to do with the red jacket? Their green one seems to be just fine. The green one's dapper. I wish you had a green one. Uh, nah, nah, I don't know. It's kind of obnoxious. Final Fantasy VI Irish DLC. Yeah. <laughs> Irish man. For playable character. <laughs> I got something in my pocket for you. Why don't you reach on in my pocket and see what it is? Fuck! Oh, do you want to see what's in my front pocket, Doomgaze? <laughs> <laughs> well, let me just reach in here as you inevitably cast your <laughs> battle beginning level 5 Doom, which doesn't work because everyone's at level 34. Sorry. I think it's like, no! Oh, <laughs> you rap <laughs> scallions! Sea beautiful. flowers, what do these guys do? Sea flowers, despite the way they look, you think they'd be afraid of fire. They're not actually, they absorb fire. Watch out, I'm about to demonstrate that right now. Uh, but they don't Don't like cast us. fire, watch me do it and see why. Yeah, I'm telling you this in hindsight. <laughs> <laughs> That's something that should be in a Final Fantasy VI remake. Edgar Stigaran. It's, like, it's like fireproof flowers. God help us all. Yeah, our goddess Kefka. <laughs> God damn you. <laughs> God damn it! I resent that! <laughs> <laughs> oh, those things are pricks. But you'll see more about that in about... Well, I would say... Parts. No, we're not that far off, folks. Because we're, we're closing off the world of ruin relatively soon. We only got like two or three more major areas of interest after the Phoenix Cave. Tales of interest. T <laughs> Tales of interest. <laughs> it is the prequel to every Symphonia uh, Tales of game. Ouch. <laughs> before, before Tales of Symphonia, there was Tales of interest. And I got the, uh, I got a lot of fire absorbing equipment on. You Could know, have fooled me because two of your characters just got to torched. What? Edgar and Shadow? The guy's paltry damage compared to what I'm doing to him. Edgar's like, oh, thank God, it's not oh, lightning. Oh, thank God, it's not lightning. Yeah, he's like, I can, he's like, I can get fucking torched in the head. <laughs> like, I'm not going to miss my hair. But God damn, it's not lightning. And that's all that matters. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Celeste is like, yeah. <laughs> she just flipped him off just with the, the shield up. Which was ice-based. Right. Ow. So, ow. Shadow. And Shadow does his red, it, Shadow does his edge impersonation. Yay. And Ron finish it off. That's my girl. <laughs> <laughs> Look how much, like, look at all the shit they're piling on top of me. Celeste is a zombie. Edgar can't stop doing the cha-cha and he can't move. <laughs> Realm, on the other hand, is taking some time to cast a spell. So fuck this. And there's a fucking dragon on the screen. <laughs> the dragon's like your legal guardian. I mean, look, 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 I got this, I got this. You guys are a mess. Hey, quit dancing, you look like a fool. Yeah, <laughs> you're going so fabulously pink. He does go cool with pink. Yeah, I gotta say, it's a nice little contrast to his regal... His royal blue cloak. <laughs> what if you accidentally just get like a headless phoenix when it comes out? Yeah. What'd you think? The Majesty had cracks in it. <laughs> I lost my luster a long time ago, baby. Imagine the phoenix had like a shattered mosaic. Lock you. Ah! Lock. Oh, I can't move anything. Lock. I smell really badly. <laughs> uh, it's only gonna get worse, honey. 
Hmm. Okay, Locke, that's, that's halfway part of it. <laughs> you seem to be feeling better about yourself. Phoenix Downs are cheaper? Yeah. <laughs> All this, I could have done a Phoenix Down. Yeah, seriously! <laughs> yeah, you know, <laughs> just... Hooch, maybe, hooch, hooch. maybe, yeah, maybe, yeah just, just, just tickle the nose of Rachel. You didn't even try that, did you? I wonder if that's how Phoenix Downs work on yeah, Final Fantasy like, hooch, hooch, hooch. Yeah, it's like smelling salts. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, man down! <laughs> uh, with a thief from Ziggly, that changes the, your attack command to, steel. like, regular steel. That's like four separate steel attempts. Or at least four steel attempts, but with lock, zero times four is zero. <laughs> <laughs> it is? I thought it was zero plus four. No. You dumb. Oh, a merit award. Ooh. Uh, short and to the point, a uh, merit award is a relic that, when equipped, allows uh, characters to equip any armor, weapon, or ex um, you know piece of equipment that they normally cannot wear. Which is really so, cool. Gal can finally use shit. Yeah, Gal can finally use shit. But, but meanwhile, it's a 4 on 1 against Gilgamesh, the mightiest of swordsmen. And he shows it by knocking the <laughs> fuck out of your meathead. <laughs> he was feeling intimidated. I was surprised you used that Mughal suit instead of the Behemoth suit. The Behemoth suit rocks on him. Yeah, it's, it's uh, very true. No, I think what it is is that I didn't have Rome in my party when I got the uh, Behemoth suit, I want uh. to say. Yeah, I, wait, was it? I don't know. Yeah, you it. should have two Behemoth suits after you murdered the Behemoth. Yeah, oh, uh, you know what? I'm thinking of, um, yeah, in, in the advanced translation, they fixed that. You're supposed to get two Behemoth suits when you destroy the King Behemoth and the, the undead King Behemoth. Well, then it, I see why they would... I honestly see why they would fix that, because yeah. it's kind of fucked up. You murder something, skin it, then it comes back from the dead, you kill it again, and skin and it skin again. Skin that again. <laughs> skin the skin, then skin its muscles. Christ's sake. So I was like, where, because of the strategies that the boss entails, and because the way you have to work around it, unfortunately, you can't get really fancy with battles. I so, really... The one thing about sprite work is sometimes when you see shit like that, it just looks hokey as shit when they just go up in the air. Yeah. I have to go. My planet needs me. Did you? My Colosseum needs me. Oh. No for it! <laughs> I, I missed. <laughs> well, it's it's a running gag of Gilgamesh that he dimension hops. Right. Starting with five. Genji armor is really good defensive stat-wise and stuff, but it doesn't really contribute anything to leveling up. Or it gives you or any sort of elemental like, defenses, yeah, elemental so defenses. kind of loses out there. Yeah, I, I'd recommend Force Armor over... Mm -mm, fuck you, Gilgamesh! Yeah. <laughs> fuck they give yeah. you remedies, they give you tinctures. This is pretty much the tower's breather battle. You know, rest easy, my friends. Ooh, dongs! That's that, That's a dong for you, yeah. always sticking out where it doesn't belong. That's so dongs, coming this fall in the CW. You'll never watch it. Neither yeah. will you. <laughs> you won't watch it. That's a, t that's a channel tagline? Wow, I didn't realize there was something aware. Which I'm at least playing on an emulator. I can speed that shit up. So in the advanced version, I'm going to have the Paladin Shield. Not so much vanilla. Oh, Realm has been... And Realm is now the Keeper of the Reaper. And the level 70... The, the level magic enemies have realized my biggest threat. <laughs> and got rid of it. Exactly. Well, Realm is a magical powerhouse. Oh, and a fastball Jesus special. Christ, Dongs. A little warning next time, buddy. Tried to tell Tara to shut the fuck up, but she's a yappy motherfucker. <laughs> he tries to get rid of that with Dispel, or maybe he's aware that he's been muted and he's trying to dispel his own mute, which in itself doesn't work because Dispel itself is a fucking spell. He's like, Burl, 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 <laughs> shit! Says you, Dispel, oh, that's a magic shit. Oh, I'm ruined. <laughs> and then what I you have on is really good, so I want to change Yeah, I got the cat hood on, uh, which is like one of Rum's best helmets. I'm surprised you don't have, have the enhancer suit. on either of the girls. That's like 7 plus to your magic set. Uh, you know what? Because my magic stat is already high enough as is. It, you know, it could it's, be higher. It's, it's like the, yeah, no. It's like you could, why do 97 when you could do 98? Exactly. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. That's guy. Is that the leader? Oh, hey, is that the, is that our phantom buddy from the train? No. No. Oh. He just flew right the fuck up there, though. What the hell's he doing? Let me show you a world. <laughs> what you could theoretically do is... Try to study his pattern, figure out what magic he's going to hit you with, and then plan accordingly. That's if you're stupid. Yeah. <laughs> that is the real flashy pro strats method of doing that. <laughs> well, that would have sucked. Too bad we planned ahead. <laughs> Too bad we made a high five deal with Jesus, right? <laughs> After doing all this, I would have just slapped on a Moogle charm and left and called it a night. Yeah, I didn't bring Mo Mog with me, though. You didn't bring Moogle with you? I didn't bring Moogle with <laughs> <laughs> Just Sorry, uh, you would have had it for this, but I bet him last week on Black and Lost. Fuck it, gotta go back to the Coliseum and get it back. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm getting past the top because there's no reason for me to show off the down trip. You know what it looks like. I really should have brought Mog. <laughs> <laughs> Did we get Mog back yet? Yeah, we got Mog back. Fuck, thank God, I'll never bet with him again. 
You'd be surprised how open Siegfried is to eclairs. <laughs> you say sunset hue, and I think dead hue. Dead hue? <laughs> yeah. Better than Donahue. <laughs> Tell me more about this Donahue. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, Ebot's Rock is where we're heading next, which in the world of balance you can just slightly get a glimpse at because most of it was submerged in water. And but now with the world, world of ruin, Bluey. Yeah. What the fuck was that? <laughs> It's time for Strago's Blue Magic Extravaganza! You know what's funny? What's that? You would think Strago would come with that ability on his own. <laughs> what's sour about the bad breath? Yeah. You decrepit old fuck. <laughs> you haven't brushed your teeth in centuries. <laughs> yes, I said centuries. <laughs> teeth <-a> day. <laughs> so, there goes that usefulness. Lore is forbidden in Kafka's Tower? Yeah. What do you mean? You can't use Strago's lures. In you have Kafka's to just use Tower? his magic abilities. Says who? The game. You can't you use lore. You can't use lores in Kafka's Tower? No. I use lores all the time in Kafka's Tower. You absolutely sure about that? Man, I played this game for years. <laughs> Shit, you sure? Yeah. I'm pretty sure that was blocked. No. Ooh. Fuck, I'm forgetting. Last line on that paragraph. This is the cultist tower, not Kafka's Tower. Oh, Kafka's Tower. Fuck. Yeah. Oops. That's what you, yeah, you said, Kafka's Tower. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> I'm, it's like, am I wrong? <laughs> oh, I'm a fucking doofus. Yeah, uh, yeah, but you're, okay, but to, what Matt was, got Kevka's talk of his Coldest Tower, in that regard, you're right. You can't use lawyers in Coldest Tower. Uh, whoopsie. Well, then again, it's Kevka's own yeah, tower. Yeah, well, no, but it was a tower built in honor of Kevka. Not no, so he did it built it brick by brick. This dungeon is like random incarnate. Because it's for, it's really tight. Claustrophobe's worst nightmare. And you got all these buttons you need to press just to go from one room to another. But the room order, I believe, is randomized. So it's just a matter of keeping finding the right switches here and there until you find the room that has either the save points that you can save or the room that has the chest inside it. I fucking hate this place. Yeah, this place is not very fun. This place sucks dick. <laughs> I'm grateful right now that's not a lore. <laughs> oh, a dick suck? Yeah. <laughs> Why would that need to be a blue magic? I guess if you're doing self fellatio Or if he wants to learn how to do it right. Can you suck your own dick? That's blue magic here in these parts. Good God. <laughs> if, if blue magic becomes a form of prostitution at 15. <laughs> hey, buddy. Want some blue magic? Uh, I don't know. Can you suck your own dick? <laughs> Fuck yeah, Raiden. Raiden. What an asshole. You missed. <laughs> he doesn't believe in him. And I'll bet you next <laughs> next tell me you don't believe in Santa Claus. What is a god to a warlock? <laughs> I am a god. <laughs> That's nice, dear. <laughs> hey, you gotta take the trash out or what? Hopefully you get Mog out of a rock status. Oh, good, night. good night, Strago. Yeah. <laughs> good night, Rome. <laughs> good night, Mog. <laughs> oh, Mog, I love you too. <laughs> Alright, so Haydn is defeated, Strago has avenged the gung-ho, but as you can tell, or maybe it wasn't obvious at this point, gung-ho was actually faking his injuries just so he can get Strago to fight Haydn. Of course! The thing is, is that what's really going on here is that gung-ho... Is this flipping him off? Uh, I don't know, he's just jumping. Is it going to pogo stick? What do you think about pogo stick, Strago? <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, I got this huge stick up my ass! That's my pogo stick, fiend! <laughs> That's pretty much just knocking off his bucket list. Yeah, that's exactly what it, that's exactly what it fucking is. It's knocking off his bucket list. I would love a hiding in fifteen. Just for the hell of it. Oh, I'm poisoned. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I forgot to heal you. <laughs> so I am out of the outskirts of Dinosaur Forest. This is north to the belt. These house some of the most powerful random encounters in the game. First up, we got Tyrannosaurus. Oh, and this my luck is a fucking pincer attack. Oh, what bad luck. <laughs> oh, it's a fucking pincer attack. Oh, Jesus Christ. So, yeah, we're back on the advanced version. But now, okay, besides all that, let's get back to the game proper. We are now entering the final dungeon of the game, ladies and gentlemen. This is Kefka's Tower, pretty much equivalent to the Phoenix Cave. We are splitting our party into not two, but well, three. three separate parties. And while Go Go tomorrow, just watch the ship. Yeah, <laughs> play Go Fish. <laughs> <laughs> got any three? Umaro. Whack, 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 whack. And Coco just mines it. <laughs> <laughs> they got nothing better to do. <laughs> so they just beat the shit out of each other, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, what the hell? Gogo's gonna mime everything. Yeah. <laughs> Doink. Doink. 
Oh, so that's it, two jumps. What happened to Cap with the Poon Hound? <laughs> Yeah, seriously, what happened to him? Yeah, uh, Cap of the Poon Hound decided to uh, take life as a gambler, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So uh, we'll see him later down the road. In yeah, the meantime, I, actually, I bet him and lost him too. <laughs> Cap was gone. Yeah, sorry, dude. I mean, I, I, I had a pair of threes. I thought I was gonna win. Oh, that's uh, it's kind of a it's kind Fixed of a dice. Sad, it's a kind of a sad backstory. He was bettered away in a stupid gamble, and then he became a gambler after that. <laughs> uh, Rom doesn't. Uh, Cannot equip them in over boost year. Right, because she's not grown up yet. Yeah, she's not, yeah she can't fit it. Give her eight years. <laughs> Put it in the dryer. It'll <laughs> shrink. It'll shrink. <laughs> Don't you dare ruin my good armor like that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was heat resistant. <laughs> so Locke's wielding the Ultima weapon again as opposed to his Valiant Knife? I don't like I have the Valiant Knife on him because I don't have the offering with it. Ah. Uh, no, that belongs to Cap with the Gambler. <laughs> and he's a klepto. <laughs> <laughs> No, he's just got some bills to pay. Yeah. <laughs> and he, his, his meaning of life is via craps. <laughs> uh, yo, Jimbos have a really uh, really annoying attack called Eye for an Eye when you kill them. Uh, pretty much they will do instant death on you before they die. We're going to do desperation attacks while in imp status. That's Eye for an Eye. Right <laughs> Fuck you! Kappa the Gambler has no time for your fucking instant death attacks. Doink! Come My on, ass. sevens. <laughs> the house wins like he's so distracted by gambling <laughs> that he doesn't realize he's killing everything around him every time he rolls the dice that's a really horrible thing when you think about it imagine <laughs> that in the hands of a child <laughs> oh, mommy look what I gotta do don't throw that you don't equip the force armor the what the force armor the what the way what you just got force armor from that chest oh yeah no, I'm not giving it to Siam because I'm, I, I got someone else I can give it to in the third party that I have yet to use and let's be honest Genji armor on a samurai is very fitting. Yes, it is. Glad you saw what I was going for. I think that's what I was going for anyway. <laughs> Let me go talk to my past so. Was it intentional? What? <laughs> Where you can get out of my house? <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, sensible heat though. Move. I like that. Move and you're done for. Essentially. In the uh, SNES version, it's move and you're dust. I like that too. I can imagine. You know, it's kind of like how, like when, uh. Like Squidward is trying to carve a statue out of the marble, he hits it once and just Im implodes in dust. <laughs> like that's what happens to the enemies when they move. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> or they turn into Skittles. <laughs> <laughs> Taste the rainbow, motherfucker. Exactly. Edgar leveled up for what that's worth. I don't get the name though. Air Anchor. Like I hear that and I think that sounds like a it's like fucking basketball gear for Michael Anchor. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Anchor. Yeah. Ooh, are those air anchors you're wearing? <laughs> it, its defenses are nothing spectacular. Its attack is nothing spectacular. If you got thunder shields, you're not losing this battle. If you have fucking level over 20, you're not losing this battle. Yeah, it's thunder is paltry amounts. You got you, you would have been a threat as the first boss of the game. Dude, straight up, I almost put in good dragon instead of yeah. gold dragon. <laughs> That's a good dragon. <laughs> I kind of want Chinese food now, yo. <laughs> <laughs> good dragon takeout. Mainly attacks with Gigafold, Bolt, and Bolt 2. He's weak to water, so Aqua Wake and Queen Sweeper, good attacks to use. Or Flood if you have it. Or Dice. Dice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. By the way, the Gold Dragon is also vulnerable to Berserk. Really? Yep. Wow. Just keeps getting more and more pathetic as the list goes on. I I'm more of a fan of its uh, accompanying piece, the Red Jacket. The Fireproof Jacket? Yes. It's not a bad jacket. It's pretty good armor. I imagine you see Red Jack, and I think it's like Michael Jackson's Thriller shit, or Anarchies. Yeah, or uh, yeah, from Batman. Yeah, I ring that up because I've been playing Origins recently. Topical. You know us at SGB, always on target with our commentary. Yeah, looking forward to that new Batman game, Arkham Origins. Yeah, right. <laughs> you can bet a Behemoth suit for a Nuckin suit in the Coliseum. Why would you do that? Fire everywhere. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a dud. <laughs> You know, they just blew you the fuck up with missiles. <laughs> well, I took five missiles to the base today. That was your fucking Sunday. Uh, in the Super Nintendo playthrough, I was blocking all of the double armor attacks with Rom because I think I, at this point, had uh, the Caddier Hood, the Behemoth Suit, and the Force Shield. What the fuck? And, <laughs> again... Beware of the angry triangle! triangle. <laughs> <laughs> Geometry! Geometry! Did I get him? <laughs> so if you got the spare suits, you know, you get your behemoth suit for Realm and Strago, and then use the rest to get your snow mufflers for Mog and Gal, because uh, Umar already has one equipped and he can't take it out of him. <laughs> it's a Not without a fight. Yeah. <laughs> 
but he's already in the middle of a scuffle with Goto. <laughs> <laughs> For Andy. <laughs> Okay. You can't unsee it, can you? I, I just see it happening because it's such a logical progression of events. Exactly. You know, it's like they play Go Fish. You know, the Abbey 3, Zumaro clobbers the shit out of him. And then Coco mimics that. So it's like... <laughs> without, without arguing, he just mimics. By the by, you just got a new paintbrush for Rum, which is technically our ultimate weapon in the same way that a crossbow up your nose is a good idea. <laughs> You who defeated the legendary eight, I shall await you at the dragon's horn. Okay. And all of a sudden, Bog looks at his accessory like, huh? <laughs> he just, the, the, How the, do you get in there? <laughs> <laughs> he throws the rum against the fireplace. Oh, who are you looking Ooh, for? Two dark forces, and Strago just came in his pants. That thing still work? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thought the thing went to shit after Gungo took my pogo stick. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that, not a blue magic. But, um... Pinwheel. You know. The only... Yeah. <laughs> just, just blow on it. It was Kefka's favorite toy. Damn, not only is he ripping enemies... Not only ripping off design from earlier in the game, he's ripping off of other games. Gavin got a hell of a makeover. <laughs> what animal do you think is firing that off a behemoth? Uh, Gavin can give you some shit. Hmm. But he is weak to thunder, as you can see. And he does... Uh, when he dies, he casts Atomic Rays on the person that killed him. Uh, nice. Luckily for Realm, she has, you know... She has enough... Everything. <laughs> right. <laughs> so... That would have been more fitting had you used somebody like uh, Batman to... <laughs> Shadow Fort. <laughs> I'm, I'm still hung up on that last play. It was really good. Batman. <laughs> By the way, we had a fucking laugh at that in class. About what? We, we were learning about environmental hazards and one of it was poison ivy. That's for your job, right? Yeah. Okay. So they were like... So the teacher was asking... Who do you, what happens when you encounter Poison Ivy? Call Batman. <laughs> Smart ass. <laughs> you know, I never got him to dot a Luma. It was always Ultros, and then by that time he did that, I, I killed him already. So I am unaware of what the dot a Luma strategies are, Air Force strategies, and Atom Weapon strategies. But I imagine if he was mimicking dot a Luma. <laughs> Imagine that shit. Like, you're fighting a giant machine and all of a sudden an octopus tentacle whacks you. Yeah, or he's like, he, he also inherits the personality of the people that he's mimicking. So for Ultras, he becomes a lech. <laughs> oh my god, hotness, I want to bang you. I'm a stupid octopus. Terminate. <laughs> Seafood soup is not on the menu. Don't tease the octopus. <laughs> so sorry, so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. <laughs> oh, man, I thought this guy was badass as Ed 209, but he's as squishy as a cephalopod. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can actually steal the Ragnarok. No, the Ragnarok you can steal from... The, uh, the top tier, the, the third the, tier. The third thing. tier, no, yeah, the final boss. The beautiful thing about this game, the 6 advanced version, when you beat it and you start back over, it puts you back at Kefka's fuck status, but not your items. Yeah, you, you can save your game after beating so you can easily get multiple Ragnaroks at Betta for multiple Illuminus, which is the best sword in the fucking yeah. game. It's a you plus seven to all your other stats, and it gives you a nice boost to your speed. It it pretty much if it didn't if that didn't give you 128 magic block on the Super Nintendo version, then uh, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so uh, I think the goddess was named like uh, something. Uh, so one of them was named Sephiroth. One of them is. I Sephiroth. think it might have been him actually. Yeah. it might be a uh, Poltergeist or Demon. Oh, I was hoping for 10,000 kills. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, you prick. Yeah. <laughs> That's my name. And Sonya takes a dirt nap. The stars are lovely this time of night. Just at the end of the world. <laughs> Guys, still playing your game of craps. <laughs> no, he's trying to play D&D. &D. <laughs> this is where I introduce you to the finale of Final Fantasy VI, but... Unfortunately, we still have a Dragon's Den and Souls trying to show off. So, could be Terra, could be Locke. Locke and Celeste for the thematics. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, Kefka's got, like, philosophy for beginners here. Yeah. No, philosophy for dummies. Yeah. <laughs> Nihilist for dummies. <laughs> you know? That's exactly like, like he's Like, he's got all this powerful magic, but he's, like, the ultimate Nihilist. He has nothing to do with it. Why do, a, yeah, it's like he's bored. He could have easily fixed his life with a PlayStation. <laughs> but the 
6 version of the PlayStation sucks ass. There's loading times. The music's off. He doesn't have to play just 6. He's got Resident Evil. View. This is my favorite line. I love this. Yeah. This is sickening. You sound like chapters from a self-help book. Right? I cracked the fuck up yeah. too goddamn hard when I saw that. <laughs> you know, Kefka is a villain I think is overrated, but honest to God, that is the best fucking line to goddamn <laughs> anything Friends of Speech I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah. But what fun is destructing if no precious lives are lost? You ever destroy a fucking stack of Legos? Yeah, you know, the best part about Jenga is when the tower falls. Seriously? <laughs> The head's vulnerable to fire. The long arm is vulnerable to death. So, as you noticed, I gave it the air anchor. So, I'm guessing it punches me and then it goes limp. <laughs> <laughs> so, or I can have the Lightbringer combined with the Paladin shield, combined with fucking force armor, to make me an unstoppable tank. Beautiful. I like the sound of that more. <laughs> So now this is just them having a temper tantrum. Doink, doink, yeah. doink, 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 <laughs> It's doink, like, no, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, just jumping the gun a bit here. This is one of my most sloppy tier three fights ever. Why so? Because I, I don't know. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I'll tell you exactly what it is. I was recording at three in the morning and I was tired as fuck. Oh. Uh. So my mind wasn't on right. So I cast all TMO on myself, and they all died. Yeah. <laughs> I cast like three on myself, and then I nuked myself. Thought I had it good for too long. I'm close to heaven. This is as close to heaven I'm ever going to get, baby, because I did some shit that'll send me down south. <laughs> the deep south, if you know what I mean. I'm talking downtown. Yeah. <laughs> so Rest is already dead, so no stealing Ragnarok for Johnny. No, well, Locke's not even here. Shit. <laughs> You know, not I love how the music just drops all pretenses. It's like, no, this yeah. guy, he's no god. He's fucking wacko. I I'm not impressed. You came down by fucking strings. This is a theater play. <laughs> <laughs> and somewhere at the, uh, in the uh, opera house, I was like, shit! Yeah, play the music. You know what, though? I, I feel like such a dumbass for years. It took me a while to realize it was a remix of his theme. Took you that long? Yeah, it took me that long to realize it was a remix of his theme. Oof. Because I, I love the song so much, but I didn't realize, wait a minute, this is Kafka's theme. Then I had an epiphany. <laughs> <laughs> and then after that, I went to college. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, like, oh, shit, he's using Ultima on me. Okay, hey, this ain't too bad. Yeah, <laughs> like, this is, this is, I'm getting an erection. In fact, I think I... Yeah, look at it. Look, look at his robe near his waist. Tell me he's not pitching a tent. He's pitching a tent? He's pitching a tent. <laughs> <laughs> what the And fuck? now he's going to suck his own dick. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Only time in the game that ever does that. Now we're a goner. I like how the background changes to emphasize this. Then it gets really fucking crazy. Okay. <laughs> well, fuck! I'll tell you what's gone. <laughs> My interests! Wait, are, did we go up the tower? Because we have approached the tower from the very top. Are we on the super top? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Our theory was right. <laughs> fuck. I was hoping we were wrong after nothing happened when we defeated the Warring Triad. What right. did you think would happen when we destroyed the source of all magic? Well, we were it's just, it's just theories. A game theory. Thanks for watching. Anyway. <laughs> Edgar Roney Figaro. The South Figaro Treat. <laughs> you took my fucking joke, you damn it. <laughs> Edgar Roney. The San Fran Treat. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Dongs is As, <laughs> he's classically trained. <laughs> hopefully, he's, hopefully he's I broken. say the character I'm playing for this theatrical version of Six is named Dongs. Quite a sophisticated fellow. He's a monkey who breaks through walls when the door is simply locked. He has an endless punching fight with Gogo, though. Yeah, quite a game of goldfish, I do say so. By the by, um, I imagine like an inverse of that happened when. Oh, what the fuck was that act? What the hell was that? What was the name of Bender's voice actor? John DiMaggio. John DiMaggio. I imagine he had... You like, mentioned him as Gil Convention. He forgot his name already. Right. <laughs> go ahead, imagine, go ahead. imagine that kind of casting gig when that shit happened in um, Final Fantasy XII. Here are a bunch of classic actors acting on an important scene. You're going to be this goof. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be none of those. You're going to be this guy. He drives a van. 
He uses a lot of swords and makes bad jokes. <laughs> Okay, so there's something that happens here that I really want to apologize for. I am playing this on the Wii U Virtual Console. And you know what happens when you leave the controller idle for too long? The screen darkens. <laughs> so lot my coleslaw. My <laughs> lot coleslaw. <laughs> I hate coleslaw. And now she's going to be Mrs. Coleslaw. <laughs> <laughs> I almost ate it trying to pick up that silly trinket. This silly trinket got me moving, you fuck! <laughs> A bird gave this to me. A magical bird. <laughs> so suck that cock. <laughs> suck the cock lock. <laughs> you almost ate it for that silly trick. Wait, is that mine? Rome irony. You know, considering the sketch glitch is a possible thing, that's the fucking instrument of destruction right there. <laughs> <laughs> I want nothing to do with that. Yeah, but uh, I'm gonna dedicate a video to glitches. Some of the fun shit you can do in Final Fantasy VI. You gonna show? You gonna get Leo back? I'm good. <laughs> I, I don't know. If I'm gonna do some of these glitches, I gotta use the emulator version. That way, I can use you gotta use states. the SNES version. Yeah, I gotta use the SNES version. I'm also probably using that emulator. thing's been like coated with paper clips. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the sky's blue again. Yeah, finally the day's over. <laughs> I'm clocking out. <laughs> <laughs> Not before me, you son of a bitch. Sets her down! Okay, well, to get to compare what I'm bringing up here is that uh, in the world Johnny. of Ruin, you see the ocean is red. Yo, what's up? Who's flying the ship? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I think what Ma Maduin said is that if you have strong ties to someone in this world, you can live on as a human, which I just think but is a lousy excuse. When I think you really you look back at the script... Who did Tara really get super close to? The kids. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Got, had... There's no fucking way now she got super close to Locke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you, got, you got, like, the dead piece of shit? <laughs> what, about, what about Kappa, the gambler? Locke is a piece of shit. <laughs> uh, I, I, I love this game so much, despite how fucking easy it is to break. Eh, there's more than one way, one way to have fun with the game. Well, a game doesn't need to be super hard breaking. for me to, to enjoy it. You know? Mm-hmm. I I, uh, I know people want more strategy and element of planning when it comes to uh, RPGs, and I completely understand that. Different to, different folk strokes. Like I said, if you want to ever take a look at some Final Fantasy VIII ROM hacks, you would swear with all the difficulty tweaks some of them make, you should get the idea that some of them can only get themselves off if they pound raw, high, raw hot iron test nails through their testicles. Yeah. And there to is which an I'm sure they can cut themselves off to it, but I don't need that. Yeah. I'm not going to watch it either. Exactly. <laughs> but I will read about it on Okotaku. Guy pounced raw hot iron nails through his testicles. Slow news day. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag slow news day. <laughs> <laughs> I got to have to play Persona 4 in a while too. I want to go back to that as well. That was a really great game. Have you ever think of playing Golden? I have Golden. Oh, you have Golden. You have Golden either? takes so much fucking... Golden is way easier, but at the same time, it takes the fucking... It does away with the grinding so much. To the point where I accidentally power leveled. <laughs> They're saying, fuck Kafka. Our castle's a piece now, my lord. What do we do? Mm. Build it again. <laughs> what do you do when you're lacking a castle? You build another one. But sir, I'm the king. Build a castle. <laughs> you guys dimed on me earlier. <laughs> and find me a bride. <laughs> <laughs> Preferably over the age of 18. <laughs> And Locke probably gets him an idea. And it's like, not from the graveyard either. Yeah. yeah. Living. He just gives Locke the biggest fucking death glare. I would have loved it after the credits shot where everybody's just gambling on his casino, at his casino. <laughs> yeah, with Cap of the Gambler. Okay, guys, this is three-card Monty. <laughs> Go fish! Realm, no. <laughs> <laughs> and Gogo and Amara are still punching each other in the back. <laughs> it's like, well, it's like they, they never let up. God forbid he was a shitty father and spiked it like a football. <laughs> Touchdown! Oh my god, it's a son! It's a boy! Yeah. Touchdown! <laughs> oh, no. So what are we doing now, guys? Uh -huh. Denny's? Denny's, fuck yeah. <laughs> You're lying to us. We got more to do. Yeah, we do have more to do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're at part 33 of the Final Fantasy VI Let's Play. But before that, football! Football! Come on, everybody, football! Hey, Ragnarok! <laughs>
It's a, but it's better a, than football. No, not better than football. It's not better than football. No, not better than football at all. Sorry, no, sorry, Jim. And I, I'm happy to say, off screen, uh, I was able to get Strago's, uh, some one of Strago's ultimate blue spells, uh, Quasar. Ooh. I don't have that here just yet because I get it off screen. But oh, I, I love Quasar because it's pretty much like the. I think it's a stronger Grand Delta. A stronger Grand Delta? So what the fuck was the point of the goddamn quest? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the Dragon's Den in total, folks, is about four parts. Uh, I shrunk that down from like six hours of footage. Just Holy one. Shit. I wanted to make sure there's nothing left unturned, you know? Mm -hmm. And optimizing the route so that I don't fuck about for too long. And all you're getting here, apparently, is just um, Edgar dropping the camera. Yeah. <laughs> um, Click. Repeatedly. Click. Click. A uh, high ether. How lame. And you take a selfie with it. Click. Yeah. <laughs> no selfie sticks, though, ironically. <laughs> Uh, after you dwindle uh, Storm Dragon's HP to a certain extent, it's going to say it's in, it's veiling itself in wind, which means it's trying to give itself haste and blink status, hmm. so physical attacks shouldn't do anything. Unfortunately, due to a programming snafu, uh, Storm Dragon is immune to blink, <laughs> so it only gains haste. <laughs> oh, I have Angel Wings on cap with the Gambler. Yeah, which... but like I said, this is one of those cases where a good setup can make him trivial. Yeah. Ouch! Oh. And that was before he became enraged. <laughs> but Cap of the Gambler cares not about your physical attacks, Dirt Durgan. Yes, I said it. I know your real identity, Dirt Durgan. Oh, I thought I was being shy. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to part 34 of the Final Fantasy VI Let's Play, ladies Was that the for Charlie's Angel screenshot kind of thing? Yep. That was for Charlie's Angel screenshot sort of thing, Matt. <laughs> Glad you were able to see right past that. <laughs> Dino Zombie is also a new encounter for the Dragon's Den, besides its garish red color. Nothing special. I think it has an attack that can make you a zombie, which shouldn't be a problem because we have ribbons at this point. Set the little fire, so we'll give it a Faraga. Go, go, shall mimic. And that's all. Hey, sure, I could do folks. that too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look what I could do. But we're not getting him to, like, I think that's the last dragon we encounter for this place. But we have to flick a switch here for some reason. We don't know why, because the red dragon is behind a locked door. Why? Like, was he a bad dragon? Yeah, he was on timeout. <laughs> <laughs> bad red dragon. But so yeah. basically, red dragon's uh, blue dragon's gimmick is to nerf its own one of its own statuses here, then use Rippler to change it. Yeah, that's boring. That's it, though. Still weak to uh, thunder, still and it still can't thunder. do anything outside of water. Yeah. So, so if you can eat water, you're good. Yeah, reed cloaks. Not to mention, quite frankly, if that's the best he's gonna do. So fucking what? <laughs> <laughs> the best throwing stars are the tack stars. Uh, they're called pinwheels in the advanced translation. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Fun for hours. It also makes a good throwing weapon. The first time I ever saw... I still have the image of Seven's pinwheel weapon. I was like, what the fuck you want me to do with this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it hurts. Hurts what, the yeah. dead? <laughs> it hurts my Suck sides. on my joy! <laughs> it hurts my sides, because I'm <laughs> laughing so much. <laughs> but, uh, and again, every time you find a save point, it's always a good idea to rendezvous back after you kill the dragon so that you don't have to keep doing all this shit again. And... Good night. Can I come in? You no. Can easily, yeah. No terrorist tent. <laughs> yeah, you keep... <laughs> night watch. <laughs> <laughs> it's the no tower tent. Yeah. <laughs> And instead of, but the one tower lovers replaced with Gogo mimicking Tower's face. Yeah. <laughs> How peculiar. You know, he's behind a wooden door for a reason. So, and it's all because of his gimmick. The Red Dragon will, as the text will say as the battle begin, will begin sacrificing its life force to power itself up. So what that means, it's fucking invincible. Nothing will hurt it, nothing will phase it. Don't even think about it. And then your job is to simply survive. And it's going to lay the beat down with a lot of high-powered spells. Oh, can you runic some of this shit? You can runic a lot of it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I can't wait to revisit 5 with those with those, with those those sexy-ass enemy sprites because oh, they yeah. look so gorgeous. I wonder if they'll use the advanced version stuff. Yes, it is. Fuck right! It's the advanced version. I mean, at this point in time, you have no reason not to. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so. You can go fight your Omegas, Mark IIs, your Neo Shinryus, Enuo... The fucking Void Master himself. He's like a DJ when I put it that way. <laughs> Mix DJ Master Enuo. DJ Void sounds like a really nasty thing you could say. Yeah, DJ Void. Yeah, why don't you go DJ your Void, you jerk off? 
drop the beat into nothingness. <laughs> Is it like a reskin of the like the Time Tyrannosaurus Rex? No. In fact, that's one good thing about Final Fantasy VIII, you could say. Almost no recolors. Oh, so enemy variation is really good. Like yes and no, because they, remember, they, remember how they used like a scaling method for that game? Yeah. The enemies scale with it too, so the Glacial Eye you fight at level 1 could be fought at level 100. <laughs> well, it levels up too. It grinds for experience. It trains. It keeps up <laughs> It doesn't game. need to draw, though. Huh? It doesn't need to draw, though. Right. Ugh. So well, then again, that's what card games are for. Yeah. Up until a certain point where I find it actually faster to draw the high end magic from monsters than I do fucking playing cards for getting like six of them for ten holy stones. Fuck that shit. You, you brought the card game. I was like, I'm playing Imagine the Hexa Dragons playing the card game. <laughs> I got a card refined, man. You're removable, Tabisha. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Random and plus. I win. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> This card game is ass. <laughs> this card game is a load of bollocks. Yeah. I'm going to make a new one. People will love it. With black jacket hookers. Yeah. <laughs> Another card game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play a card game. I'll make it my own. I'm going to call it poker. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea how the fuck I'm going to be doing that shit for the 10th. How we're going to be doing that for the 10th playthrough. Speaking of Nest Slug, we may just see him in this Let's Play. <laughs> Though nowhere near is annoying. So. Well, hopefully not. Uh, if that slug was anywhere near as annoying as he is in 10, I wouldn't be able to finish this fucking place. I hate that gimmick. I, I hate Nest slug. Just <laughs> entirely. <laughs> this guy likes to divide. When so you... as soon as you kill one, you got two. Then when you kill two, you got four. Yep. And then after that, he gives up. After that, yeah. After after four, he gives up. Likes to counterattack with blaster. <laughs> yeah. He's like, fuck. <laughs> Mog, you're not doing any favors, honey. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't know. And then as soon as it happens, there you go. I love how the iOS fixed that. Oblivion! And there you go. Is that so, my friend, is how you whack a weed? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Mark, you gave the level! <laughs> Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> there was no one to land on. <laughs> I wonder if it stumbled in midair or whether it does a dance in midair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah! I block your horns. I block your I block your attack with my double swords, despite the fact that I only have one. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. That, yeah, I can definitely see it that way. Uh, it'd be ah, really, it'd be really weird if it was a second sword. <laughs> Mark, he's dead. Again? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you always kill him when I jump? But Celestriates are a relic that, when equipped, reduces all MP costs to one. Hells, yeah. And combined with the Soul of Lamaza, congratulations. He found another way to broke the game. To break the game. Another uh, way to break the game. The game. <laughs> another one broke the game. And another one down, and another one down. Another one broke the game. Ow! So the woman comes up, she's about 55, 56 years of age, and I noticed she smelled like sour milk. Ooh. So we tried to figure out the problem to see what the issue was. Turned out she wanted to connect to the Wi Fi. Turns out she was connected to the wrong Wi Fi. When we got her connected to the right Wi Fi, she then brought out, she then, her dog then came in the room. And her dog just got right up on her leg and started humping it madly. The mother, did, the woman didn't seem to give two shits. In fact, she started to go, bend down over the dog and started licking its head. Then me and my friend were like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Who the hell do you think you are? That she looked at me and said, I'm the aristocrat. <laughs> I made my job and now I'm worried about losing my job again. <laughs> You're not going to lose your job. I know, they won't do that to me. And with that said, oh, thank fucking Christ. Holy, that hand actually lines up the entire fight. I'm happy about that. Mm. <laughs> now, where's my death threat? Yeah, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> and luckily, when you beat the Skull Dragon, you unlock a long staircase, which is pretty much a shortcut back to the save point. I like it when games do that. I do, too. Too bad the Cultist Tower didn't get the idea. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, when you beat you the Cultist... not even just fall off anticlimactic. No, when you get the... When you beat the Magic Master, a fucking magic elevator should have just materialized to the right. You should have just gotten thrown off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, that's right. We got an airship. <laughs> I need an air pickup. <laughs> Drop that hook. That sensor has you gamble for it. Yeah, yeah. Why, fuck off. <laughs> I can't gamble in here. My magic... My commands are sealed. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So, and Holy's hard to resist. Holy's hard to resist unless you have the Paladin Shield or the Cat Ear Hood, uh, which I believe absorbs Holy Elemental attacks. So Realm and Terra are going to be just fine. 
Uh, Celeste and Mog, on the other hand, uh, no. 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 <laughs> <laughs> no. Hopefully he doesn't follow up with Saintly Beam. Luckily, he did not in this case. It looks uh, like Tara's ready to read us a story. Yeah. <laughs> Gather round, children, as I tell you the story of how I slain the dragon. Again. 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 Repeat. They call me Tara the Dragon Slayer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's fucking badass. Gaunt. Uh, Gaunt. Thek. Thek. Uh, Star Trek names. Ingo. Ingo. Well, that's not very Star Trek. What about you? Fra. Fra. Fusroda. Uh, maybe you know the answer to this this puzzle. This peculiar puzzle. This conniving conundrum. Either this way. bamboozling baffler. Yeah. <laughs> but this it seems is... like his physical attacks are the bigger threat. So in reality, who gives a fucking flying fuck? This battle is an outright slobber knocker, ladies and gentlemen. Fuck off! Fuck off! <laughs> As God is my witness, gold dragon's broken in half! Oh no, don't tell me! Oh my oh, god, a fucking knuckle duster in the Like, face. who is that? Like, that's gotta be luck! <laughs> that's gotta be luck! <laughs> yep, this is this all this is guy is. fucking battle. So anyway, those tombstones we read, if you remember Daryl's tomb, same thing. We're re embracing the letters to spell out the King of Dragons. Bahamut? Fuck, you're right. <laughs> but uh no th th this is this is not Bahamut this is, this is, this is, fuck it he's, he's fucking, that's trademark infringement man <laughs> <laughs> well, so that's what we're really doing we're content ID personified oh fuck yeah. sorry Kaiser you gotta go <laughs> Bahamut's making the money now <laughs> I just had his image of Bahamut in shades <laughs> I'm a disappointed that that's not what they don't do with him at 15 but <laughs> All right, so this area that I'm going through in the Dragon's Den is... Boring. Completely optional. <laughs> uh, if you physically attack Plague while the countdown's going, he will cast Haste on you. Which, which is will speed up the count. death count. Yeah, it'll speed up the death count. Yikes! Ooh. Fun Lock. gimmick, I, I approve. Hey, Locke, you ever seen the Frighteners? <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, unlike, uh, you know, the, uh, the enemy that we fought earlier forget the dragon's claw. The slug will actually retract every once in a while inside a shell. And you don't want to attack the shell like that. Luckily, Megaton Smash is physical. So, if you have the advantage... Mog didn't get the memo. No. <laughs> Where's Mog? I don't see him. <laughs> <laughs> Legendary Lance of the Gods. Guess what? S Save stick. No jump buffs. Why do they not have jump buffs? Why wouldn't you give them jump buffs? Why did you equip it? Oh, because I want to... Oh, I, I bought... I got it. <laughs> it's not like buyer's remorse. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's buyer's remorse. How's a buyer's remorse? You got it for free! I'll switch it out before we do the <laughs> Soul Shrine. That's if I decide to bring Mog to my party at all. <laughs> I, which I don't think I'll do. I think I'm rocking Charlie's Angels and... Uh, the King Pimp for, uh, the Soul Shrine. Who? Edgar. Oh, God Almighty. Yeah. King Perv is the better word. Yeah. <laughs> King Lech. <laughs> so, our final monster in the box for the right here is another callback. Flan Princesses. So that was, I just heard Cecil yell all the way from the moon. <laughs> <laughs> Man, fuck these things. Because the, they're in the middle of fucking nowhere. The first switch is right above where you fought the blue dragons. Right where Sets are standing, actually. Uh, but the other switches are like, uh-uh, you gotta go here, and the other one's gotta go there. It's like, ah, uh, shit. What architect designed this area? Yeah, who designed this? Dragons? <laughs> <laughs> We're so superior, we put our shit out the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking humans aren't gonna ever do this. Oh, fuck, humans are doing it. <laughs> That's a funny picture, though. Dirt dragon with a construction hat on. <laughs> Or a vacuum cleaner. Hey, hey, who's the slacker <laughs> in the eight dragons for construction work? Building the dragon's den. Well, it's certainly not ready. He puts his life worse than everything he does. Yeah. <laughs> he puts his back into all of it. And then he comes close to dying every night. <laughs> I would think gold dragon. Yeah. Well, no, he's the most physical of the bunch, though. I would think he was the hardest worker. No, that would be dirt dragon and red dragon. No, skull gold. dragon fucking sleeps all day. Oh, huh? Skull dragon. Yeah. <laughs> sleeps all day. He's dead on his feet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Holy Dragon prays nothing happens. Holy Dragon is the architect. Yeah. No, that's Kaiser Dragon. No, Kaiser. No, the Kaiser Dragon is the guy that funds everything but doesn't do a lick of work. Of course. There you go. The easiest job. Yeah. <laughs> the smart worker. Work smarter, not harder. Ah, the Kevin Nash philosophy. Yeah. <laughs> Preferably without tearing any quads. Jesus Christ! All this to flick a third switch. What was that, Lock Slots? Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm doing this. What an odd place to play the floating continent music. Humans and your insatiable greed. Your lust for power leads you to whatever. This place is a sanctuary for wayward sirs. What business have you filtered creatures here? You slaughter my brethren and befoul their rest with your profanity of your considered existence. You should not have come here. Take a chill. In the name of all dragon crime. I am the dealer of destruction. I am the spot with fierce freaks. I'm Kaiser. And your time's <laughs> at an end. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kaiser Channon is a go. <laughs> Kaiser Channon. Southern Cross. Southern Cross is fire elemental. So anybody that absorbs fire has nothing to worry about. Survey says everyone except Edgar. <laughs> Poor Edgar. He never gets any fucking better. And the the background's on fire too. He's sweating buckets. Because <laughs> especially in this battle where you have you can't really judge what's gonna kill you. Arliss Angel, that's... Oh, motherfucker. Not expecting that. No, I was not expecting that. Yikes! <laughs> Dick! Move Alpha. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right about that. You have to go through all this shit just for another Magistite too, right? Yeah. Yeah, the ultimate prize for all this is Diabolos. Diablos. Diablos. Well, I say Diabolos because that's kind of how it's spelled. Well, the, I think that it was supposed to be silent. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> that order's a fucking count. <laughs> when you're done with the dragons, then, no, you're not. Because now, after you feed Kaiser Dragon and leave the area, when you come back, this asshole decides to take Kaiser Dragon's spot. It's like he was waiting on the sidelines for us to kill Kaiser Dragon so that he can get the beachfront property. He was sleeping. He was sleeping? It was supposed to be a tag battle, but he yeah. fell asleep. <laughs> Motherfucker. Kaiser would still be alive if you got your morning coffee. There's nothing I can do about it until I get a good attack pattern down. Isn't that right, Locke? Uh, That's okay, take your time. Hey, this is wood. <laughs> oak. Oh, fine oak finish. Has a distinctive smoky flavor. Oh, uh, that's pretty much that's pretty much the Kaiser thing. Once he dies. <laughs> Next life. No, that would be barrier change. I wouldn't know. What the fuck does Vengeance do? Because it doesn't seem to do anything. Omega anymore. has the Omega does a similar gimmick to Kaiser Dragon, except he has three lives instead of five. I doubt Vengeance was what that represents. Oh wait, yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at the attack script. Look at that. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. And Famous last words. Yeah. Now, what did you just do there, by <laughs> the way? My TV exploded. <laughs> no shit. Ow! Lock, no! Lock finally came to his senses after batting the child around a few times. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm going to grade here to have just as a fuck you counter? Damn shit. Yeah. <laughs> if I was rocking cap with a gambler, I was like, you just unlocked his final form, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> shit, though, that means we wasted money on those ANA meetings. How many, ult how many ultimates are you casting at once here? Twice? Uh, with Realm? Yeah, it should be twice. If I'm not following up with... Um, uh, Ultima and Quick. Fucking blaster, man. Ow. Oh, wait, she got back up to lay back down the floor! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, sweetie, up and at him. It's like a stage play. It's like, you know, you're supposed to fall down over there. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, boy. Now we're getting near the end. Yeah, we're getting near the end. Locke feels it. <laughs> Realm feels it. Thank fuck. This is the only place where he shows up. Omega Drive? Blocked. Blaster? <laughs> Blocked. Is that all you got? Oh shit. Oh, what's that? You want Grand Delta? My bad. You want me to focus energy and fuck you in the ass? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Is he immune to fire? Normally we do a date in a movie first. Uh, Show you my Omega Drive. Fuck, blocked. <laughs> Omega blocked. Yeah. <laughs> Let's take a level 2 cock block. <laughs> the Omega block. He's out! There we go! Good job, Lock. I did that? <laughs> yes, you did. You believed. I uh, what? Rome, we did it. Yay! <laughs> and, uh, well, this little, this jovial-looking fellow is going to tell us pretty much everything we need to know. But just to sum up, the Soul Shrine is a 
rematch of battle thing of gauntlet. What a full of pala. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the <laughs> shrine. We're gonna be just fine. And we can get into some of the unique encounters of Soul Shrine when they appear, but 98% of the time, it's shit we already fought before. It's also a good way to fill up your best area in case you missed something already. Right. And did I just read that right? Lock, lock, what the fuck are you doing? Crusader, are you fucking mad? Alright, next question. From the real FTA, Mr. Johnny, and the itchy and scratchy CD ROM, is there a way to get out of the dungeon without using the wizard's kit? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I love you, man. <laughs> uh, Matt, have you played Tales of Asperia? If so, do you have any tips for not just starting the game? No. <laughs> That's a good question, sir. No. <laughs> Next question. How long is it until you covered a soul shrine? Well, um, guess what? <laughs> You're in it, buddy! Next one. Alright, David Owens asks, when's the next Sonic interview animation? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Tasman Vong asks, what would be the what would be the favorite SmackDown Sunday the three of you have done? I can tell you the one that's going to be done. Cards Against Humanity. <laughs> you want to make that a SmackDown Sunday? Fuck right. Hmm, I guess we could record one game, I suppose. If I want to be a tasteless shit, I could go ahead and get the Hanukkah expansions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a bit, of, but not like a whole... Huggy buggy munch. Huggy buggy buggy buggy. Karugamish! Anyway. <laughs> Fang River says, I truly th do think you are one of the greatest minds on YouTube, but my question is, are you proud of all on how far you've gotten? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I know what you, you can, you gotta like time travel back to 2008 and say, hey, you're gonna be like this in a few years' time. And I was like, really? It's like, yeah. But, you know. You I just work. tell myself to lay off some of the dick jokes. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, uh, Some Call Me John asks, what do you think, wait, The Viridian Flame asks Some Call Me John. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, are you reading Twitter questions? <laughs> I think so. What no, no, that's, that's, what, that's my question. <laughs> Have you played Animal Crossing, and if so, who's your nicest villager? Who asked that? Determinant Sean. Read the names. Oh, I forgot, sorry. Yeah. Determinant Sean asks, Have you played Animal Crossing, and if so, who's your nicest villager? No. <laughs> Anyway, Curtis Mills asks, Would you guys ever let someone let's play a game with you on SGB? Uh, unless you're Elliot or Matt, no. So, James DeBernie asks, What were your thoughts on Sonic Lost World getting a PC release? Uh, I guess people that don't have a Wii U can finally experience it. I still don't think it's that good of a game, to be honest. Do you want to see a train wreck, but you don't live in Kansas? Yeah. <laughs> well, now you can. Chris Slash Smash asks, who is best waifu five ever? My thoughts exactly, Landworm. <laughs> uh, Cyber Sonic Stars asks, "What do you think of gamers and gaming industry as a whole?" You want to take that? What the hell? I will say this: take what you will of it, but I'm saying this: both gamers and the gaming industry are in need of reform. Just to change a I change of our up. attitudes, perceptions, all of it. Something needs to wake up here. And that's all I really want to say on that. Johnny, next question. Well, it's to further answer that question. I need more data. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a country music I tend not to listen to because I'm just no, not interested. Country music is bullshit. Why is country music bullshit? I don't. I mean, I'm not a crazy about it because it's it's ugh, it's sort of oh, like. Oh no! I grew in a fish nation for that. It's playing Saints Row Three. Yeah, right. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Give me a Saints Row game of country music. I'll, sing my, I'll change my mind. <laughs> like, cause Warrior of Light kind of represents everybody. Yeah. Uh, cool. There's no character or personality in that game. Except Orn. Except except Orn. <laughs> Orn represents every Final Fantasy. <laughs> yeah, damn right. <laughs> Jack, he's the sake the bottle reminds me of the time when Golbez used to get shit faced in the <laughs> bar. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to part two of Final Fantasy VI's <laughs> Shrine. The real FTA asks, When will SGB play with me? I'm lonely. <laughs> Gareth, later. Cards Against Humanity, dude. Yeah. You versus <laughs> too me many games. and everybody else. Too many games. Be there! Be there! Jeff Littleton asks, 
Well, uh, no, I, not just Littleton. Yeah, just ask that question. Matthew Purdue asks, Why do birds suddenly appear every time you are near? Because I think I reek a bird seed. Yeah, it's like, because <laughs> you got french fries taped to your back. Exactly. <laughs> uh, Fox Chris Redfield asks, Did you and Matt try sitting the TV to Wumbo? Why? What's he going to do for the crack in the TV screen? Yeah, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Ryan McKenna asks, can you say what the next weekend RPG is after Final Fantasy VI? Five. Yeah. <laughs> We're turning back the clock, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Aside from any... Big Bourbon. I love that name, too. Aside from any of the snakes, who's your favorite Metal Gear character? You know what? I'm sure this will change as I'm going through the Metal Gear Marathon, but the one that always did leave an impact for me for, like... Funny for humorous reasons was the actually Chief, like Donald the, Anderson. The, 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 <laughs> oh man, such an Academy Award-winning performance! Him on the ground right there, decomposing. <laughs> Have a holly to jolly TJ asks, why did you cancel the Sonic hacking contest this year? <laughs> hey, fuck you, TJ. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to that man. That guy's a great guy. And for a while, me and Elliot played some games by ourselves, and then for after a bit. You know, it was New Super Mario Brothers Wii. Yeah, where that I figured, joined in. Yeah, you know, we get we get Mark and Matt, and it was like, you know what? I'm pretty sure Matt be down for this. So I asked Matt to join us for Mortal Kombat 9, and the rest is history. Memories, Memories. from the bottom of my. Let that be let that be one of the highlights of this let's play. <laughs> oh yeah, that was a that was no better way to say fuck you. <laughs> Oh, Lordy Ellie, that was funny. <laughs> and then he just jump poses to a shot of a uh, guitar stopping on Kung Lao again. <laughs> Silver anyway. to Greg Hogg asks, Name a game that most other people dislike, but you may either like or love. Maybe Final Fantasy and Mystic Quest? I uh, can't think of one. Yeah, I, 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 I'm kind of hard-pressed to think of something. Because usually, for me, if a game is shit, it goes right into draw, but it goes right into trash. No, it goes right into our Let's Play. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> the Florida kind of mythologies. Okay, what are your favorite Dynasty Warriors characters? Uh, Guo Jia. Yeah, I know, what a late entry, huh? But, but Cal P. Never... <laughs> now it's Sal P, but yes, <laughs> Cal P. Either way, it's the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> He's cold as shit, too. But, uh, yeah, Cal P. Cal P. Is one of my favorite characters, too. I like Diao Chan. Uh, Lu Bu's funny as hell. But Lu Bu doesn't count. <laughs> Why not? Because he. You talk about Brock Lesnar being the human cheat code. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Joma asks a more serious question. What game do you think really needs a sequel? Like, never got a sequel, but had potential. Flubbers don't wear a tie. <laughs> now they wear pants. <laughs> uh, I, I know this is going to sound confusing. Brave Fancy Musashi. Now you say, John, they already had a sequel. Samurai Lesnar Musashi. No, it's said, yeah, but that's the sequel I want. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the famous memorable WWE moment is admittedly one that was kind of hair raising, which is the Undertaker versus Mick Foley Hell in the Cell match. Oh yeah. Because moment. after um he choke slammed Mick on top of the cage, he fell through the cage, went down there, and according to interviews, he pretty much had an out of body experience. Like, holy shit, I killed a man! I'm going to jail! Oh my yeah. god! <laughs> If there's one thing that will shake the Undertaker to the core, it's fucking the feds. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. You know? <laughs> he's a dead man, but he don't want to be a dead he's man. dead man, but he's a legal dead man. Right. <laughs> but... Chrono Patasma asks, do you fuck young boys, boys Valdez? Valdez. Oh, <laughs> 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 Holy shit, I know. Where did that come from? <laughs> Danny, Ben, Miguel, Tristan, and Teddy. Fuck young boys on <laughs> Full lip. <laughs> no. Holy shit! No. No. <laughs> Robert Skritzbiak asks, What game will you never ever play for SGB or BSC? You know, if I flat out refuse to play a game, then I could be disappointing someone out there that was looking forward to me playing that game. Or just be or because somebody really wants to get off on you pounding hot iron nails into your testicles. Yeah, it's like, oh, they're not gonna play Barbie? Fuck. Yeah, right? Unsubscribe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Matthew LeBlanc asks, "Will you ever do a Disney-themed month one day on Johnny Versus?" Uh, Disney-themed, like a Disney thon. I'd like to, but if I can like muster up the courage to actually play through some of those old-school Disney games, have you, have you? Like, 
Like, I know you mentioned some of the Disney games you played. Yeah, I've, I could do Toy Story and Aladdin. Yeah. Well, Toy Story doesn't count. That's not really hard. I'm talking about, like, like Aladdin's up there, Lion King. Fucking Lion King, man. The Mickey Mouse games. Like Mickey Mania. They're... Ugh, they're on, like, a different... Like, kids... Like, these are kids' games! <laughs> <laughs> like, fucking hell! Kyle S. Taylor asks, Which game did you ever want to redo on SGB? A few of them, actually. More around the era where it was just me and Elliot. You know? He does want to redo Crash 3 at one point. Uh, Elliot wants to redo Crash 3 at one point. I want to redo Symphony of the Night, which I want to, uh, which we'll do after I do Rondo of Blood. And uh, I want to go back and redo the classic Sonic games, now that Matt's here. Uh, so we can get different perspectives, and maybe he can share some insight on something. I mean, because then it turns out Matt just agreed with me on yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, the, the point. just says, yep. <laughs> <laughs> and scene. Uh, but I'd like to go back yep, and... save, where's my paycheck? <laughs> I want to, yeah, you get it when you leave. <laughs> on that note, you getting, uh, you getting Gen 1 on VC? Probably. I think you should, man. <laughs> we can trade Pokemon together. <laughs> get that certificate. It's actually... Uh, Beat each other's ass? Yeah. Why not? Yeah, with, with Gen 1 mechanics? <laughs> yeah, that's going to be hard as shit for me. I mean, like... I can't hmm, go back to Who this? will break the game first? <laughs> yeah, right? Ivan Riviera asks, Do you look forward to the eventual Double May Cry 2 Let's Play on SGB? No. No. I was the one that said I was going to do that game, and I'm just like... I'm, I'm strongly thinking of just handing it over to Matt. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. That's fine. You do that. <laughs> Oh, shit, I just had one. Uh. Don't tell me I went through all the questions already. I hope we do, because we got the rematch with the Skull Dragon. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck! Oh, fuck. No. <laughs> no! Okay. Hey, Kyvy Bowie asks, Hey, Johnny, got any tips for a would-be animator and artist? Okay, not would-be. Just keep trying until you are. You got a thousand bad ideas in you. Get them out now. Yeah. And... Practice, for the love of God, draw to your heart's content. I know that sounds pretty common sense, but you'd be surprised. Like, when I went to the Art Institute of uh, Philadelphia, majoring in media arts and animation, there were people that, in the similar major as I did, it's like, wow, you draw a lot. No shit! You're in animation! What did you think you were going to do? You gotta draw a lot. You gotta know how to draw, and you just gotta be able to have the passion to draw a fucking lot, because you are drawing a fucking lot. And, you know, uh, practice your contours, uh, uh, anatomy, anything, uh, you know, use uh, uh, life stills and shit, uh, still lifes. Uh, just practice everything you see, draw everything you see. Uh, get your grandma to get buck nude and draw her naked. <laughs> That's the guy I want dinner tonight. <laughs> but you'll be fine, but you gotta keep drawing. Miguel Santiago asks that you were expecting a question, but it was me. Deal. <laughs> well played. I, I may have asked this question at the beginning of uh, the Persona uh, Let's Play, but I'll ask again. How were you exposed to the first Persona? Because you have an original copy of that on the PlayStation 1. Heather rented it one day. She didn't like it. I loved it. I kept asking Dad to rent it for me constantly for Blockbuster. So after like $200 in rentals, we were like, fuck <laughs> it, buy the game. The game. <laughs> Uh, Blaze Yeager asks, will we ever see Persona 2? Curious to know Matt's reaction to Hitler. It's not as surprising for me as you think it was, considering I know what Hitler's supposed to be in that game, but, uh, gotta confess, H it, I gotta confess, fucking Hitler becoming a Mayan sorcerer, wielding the spear that pierced the side of Christ is up there with creativity, I'll tell you that. <laughs> uh, let's will see. Matt ever not hate Final Fantasy XIII? <laughs> Ooh, that's gonna be yeah, one for a, the ages. That's a negatory. Would you ever like Final Fantasy XIII? Let me put it to you like this. If I had to accept Final Fantasy XIII to get into heaven, I'll burn in hell. <laughs> I'll take the express train. <laughs> <laughs> the bullet train to heck. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to come up when I meet St. Peter, and I'm going to be fucked. <laughs> oh, fuck. God, that was petty, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> Thou shalt not bear false, there shall not bear hatred in thy heart. I never heard that commandment. That's because you don't go to church. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I was, and then it's just a giant you know? Jake Blank. It's like, how you know? You don't go to church. Oh, fuck, he's right. <laughs> <laughs> the next thing he does a giant full thing. <laughs> uh, let's see. Some call me Johnny. Uh, Mo Moises Munoz asks, Johnny, who's your waifu? 
I don't have a waifu. Add a girl. Add a boy. I'd rather have a girlfriend. Right? <laughs> if you platinum 13, you should be able to do everything in the history of the world. <laughs> I have never done a 99 chain of Final Fantasy. Skydive while performing post-op. <laughs> well, that's because I did 13 because I was dumb. You know, and it's feasible, but it, it's just time consuming. God damn, this guy really has it out for lock. Yeah, that's because that's because he stole all the shit. This guy's sexist. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, you're right. He goes right the, the fuck the at the lock. The ladies are mine. What if it's a female red dragon? Maybe. It's a feminist. <laughs> <laughs> it's punching thieves in the face. Fuck less, you. Less feminist, more misandrist. You stole my heart. <laughs> I want it back. Uh, it, ladies and gentlemen, it has been. I mean, we we still got a fucking rematch of the Kaiser Dragon. I don't even know why the hell I'm saying all this now, but uh, it's been a crazy it's ride. It's been yeah, it's been a crazy ride uh, with one of my favorite RPGs of all time. Oh, thank God he expired. <laughs> uh, yeah, he don't want to listen to your shit. Yeah, it's like oh, this guy again. <laughs> you got to take eight weeks to upload this part, huh, buddy? Fuck you. Okay, it's called having a life. <laughs> Final Fantasy VI is one of my favorite RPGs of all time. It's easy to break as shit, yeah, but I don't care because it's still fun for me. And I wholeheartedly recommend it for those that are looking to get into the Final Fantasy series. Because it was uh, during an age of time where, you know, Square Enix was, I wouldn't say on autopilot, but, you know, we could still crank out good characters, mm -hmm. cool mechanics, and uh, interesting design without having to alienate longtime veterans with. Something that was the time when they out. cared about what the hell we put into their stories. Yeah. I miss those days. I'm back. <laughs> Hopefully it's not just going to be another one of those, hey, we're going to be really good, provided you shout out the money for the DLC. Yeah. I was like, hey, you know what? We heard about your complaints, and we think all the bravest is criminally underappreciated. <laughs> <laughs> El Nino. Oh, terrible. Oh. Fuck, he did El Nino unlock before I was able to hit him with eight times. Yeah, by the way, I should talk about my setups. <laughs> I mean, it's... Do you have a video game bucket list? Do I have a video game bucket list? No. Yeah. With anything that you've played beforehand that you love growing up with, but there's still that one thing you still never managed to do that you always wanted to do, but didn't the have only time thing, for. The only thing that comes to mind right now is uh, beating the shit out of Canary Mary, and I already did that when I got Banjo-Kazooie again from the... Um, too many games, and did I say two fucking weeks later after that I found my <laughs> copy of the damn game? <laughs> you can never be too safe. <laughs> now I got two banjo twoies. <laughs> Tui banjo twoie. Yeah. Bloodstained. Bloodstained. There you go. Dude, I invested it in like 15 minutes before the fucking thing ended. Yeah, before I was the trailer even finished. Huh? Yeah, before the trailer even finished, like, yes, sir, Mr. Igarashi, sir. <laughs> yeah, I want full out. You know, I'm hoping the game is great and that people are pretty skeptical with when it comes to Kickstarter campaigns and all that. I have faith in the quality of this game. But I just hope to God it doesn't get all... No, but Igarashi seems to be smarter than Keiji and Fune when it comes to handling products before they're even fucking released. Yeah. Because uh, I went full out 60 bucks on that one. Like, I'm getting a digital copy of that game. A physical copy of that game. Which, you know, I don't think is actually going to be a physical disc. I think it's just a physical case, mm -hmm. and there's a code for the game inside the disc, in the case. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I think that's how they I would love it if it was the code for the game in a box of chocolates. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is a man but a lovable pile of misery? <laughs> what is a man but a lovable pile of chocolates? Yeah. <laughs> a miserable little pile of sweetness. <laughs> Give me Castlevania 99! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're never going to get it. Well, what can really get through the battle justice? Well, it's not even that. I mean, Konami would no, like, most likely not give a shit anymore about Castlevania. They fucking can Silent Hills, Matt. I don't think Good Castlevania <laughs> is on there. Yeah, like, not for nothing, yo. You have Junji Ito, Guillermo del Toro, you have um, Norman Reedus, and you have Hideo Kojima, and you fuck all of that up. <laughs> That's like folding on a royal flush. <laughs> This doesn't look good. Fold it. <laughs> Bring out another pachinko machine. <laughs> What's Master's Crown? Master's Crown is a bragging rights item. Okay. Same as the like the Proof, proof of Mastery of in uh, Final Fantasy X. Or Proof of Omega in Final Fantasy VIII. Yeah, that too. Ceremonial Crown awarded for the overcoming the challenges of the Soul Shrine. Ladies and gentlemen, we have done it. Soul Shrine is kaput. 
That's it for all the optional content of Final Fantasy VI, and with that said, we are done with Final Fantasy VI. The only thing I really hate about doing the optional shit last in a Final, like in a Final Fantasy Let's Play, is that you end on a rather anticlimactic note. Yeah. You know, I'd like to end on the credits or like at the end screen. No, we're just gonna end with so let's grab the air, the uh, the hook to the airship and just go away. Our planet needs us. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> And with that said, ladies and gentlemen, we hope you enjoyed our adventure through Final Fantasy VI. And next time we meet in the RPG weekends, Matt's bringing you Final Fantasy V. And I'm looking forward to revisiting that because I want to play that alongside with you. All right. Like, as you're doing stuff, I want to do stuff. And I'm interested to see what you do differently than I do. You stole what from where? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I didn't know the Gill Turtle was a Disc 1 encounter. <laughs> I know, you could chase a Gill Turtle with three bards at a night! Yeah, I'm very interested to see what Matt does to uh, as he approaches Final Fantasy V with the job system. There are so many different ways you can play Final Fantasy V, it's nuts. But, regardless... We're gonna you be beat Shinryu yeah. with three Berserkers and a okay. Chemist?! I'm going to be looking at you with a stern eye. I'm going to see how he handles Omega Shinryu. Omega Mark II. Neo Shinryu. That's the only thing I haven't done yet, and unfortunately, because my file got deleted, I got fucked on that. Oh, uh, okay. Well, there's always next time. And, with that in mind, folks, uh, we don't know when we'll resume weekend RPGs. We want to as soon as we can. Again, it's all scheduling we're issues. We're not going to kill it like we did SmackDown Sundays. No, we're not going to kill Weekend RPGs like we did SmackDown Sundays. Because we are thinking of revitalizing SmackDown Sundays at some point or another, too. It's just that we need the time to record more of them. Preferably, I'd like to record four at once so that we have a whole month's worth of content ready to go. But saying that we'll do it is completely different than actually doing it. Hopefully, we're hopeful the best. But in the meantime, thank you all for watching. You have yourselves a fantastic night. And take care. And go play Final Fantasy VI. Why don't you listen to us talk about it? Go play the damn game. Go play 13. You know, yeah, no, just play 6. <laughs> play 6 twice and then Final Fantasy 1. There you go. <laughs> There's your Final Fantasy 13. <laughs>